Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. That's all right, Linda, don't join in. Pow! Yes, I am! Get in there! That was incredible! Welcome to Jewelry Maker. I'm Carol. This is Linda Brumwell, the Queen of Jewelry Maker, the Queen of Jewelry Making. Oh. Are you all all right? Yeah, good, thank you very much. Are you? I'm great, thanks. Oh, good. She's all all right. She's all, we're all all right here. We're all like, all right. Today. He's got all the moves. He's got them all. Hey, hey! Oh, my God, she's just the best. King is just, I don't know what she's doing. She's, oh, there we go. There she is. We love her. Oh, look at her with a lovely little pink top on today. We've got producer Nitty Nitty No 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 No. How you doing, Nitty No? He's all right. He's all right. Dirty glasses, dirty, dirty. We've got Adam Tyres, or handsome Adam, as he calls himself. Was it sexy? Oh no, that's just enough. Even for three minutes past eight in the morning. Right. You lot. We've got an amazing show for you today. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Why? Because A, we've got Linda. B, we've got the babooskas, but which I'll show you in a minute. They're doing the most beautiful things in the entire world. I've, yeah, go on, Michael. Go on, Michael. He's, he's always ready. He's always ready to swivel that camera around. I love the babooska. Babooska, 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 yeah, yeah. There you go. We've got the babooskas. Have you seen the little one on the wash bag in front of it? I love it. It's just gorgeous. Down a bit, Michael. Down a bit. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, Linda. I love doing these sort of things. They are so cute. They're so adaptable as well. Ah! It's the cutest thing. I absolutely love it. Um, so we've got the babushka kits coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Don't know why they're really, they're just really festive, aren't they? They're just beautiful. And it is the 1st of November today. Oh, yes. We're not too far away from Christmas, I'm sorry, but we will start mentioning it now. Uh, we've got Skull Sight, deal of the day. If you don't know what it is, don't worry. We've had it once uh, back in July. This is Skull Sight, and it is the most incredible gem. Have you heard of this gem or seen this gem before, Linda? I'm not sure that I've seen it. I've heard of it when I've mm. been looking, you know, in gem books. And yes. Things. It is the most amazing gem. This is the natural stuff. This is the dyed stuff. It's all beautiful. If I can just show you, I don't know, I'll just pick up this strand here. Show you a strand of it. It's got these amazing 
kind of um, a kind of needle-like inclusions going through it. So you get this absolutely beautiful kind of uh, striped, streaked surface on it. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we've got loads of strands of this coming up on the show today in purples, greens, pinks, blues, different shapes, different sizes. It's an absolutely amazing gem. You're going to want it in your collection. It's gorgeous. So that's going to be coming up. We've also got the most amazing little mini um, lapis lazuli showcase featuring this incredible strand, which has been made into a necklace by our in-house designers, which I have to say I absolutely love. I'm definitely going to be taking this one home. And um, we've also got... Beautiful nine o'clock kits with Linda with um, uh, Jade Hay Goose as well and Jade Donuts. They're gorgeous. We've also got Dave joining us today for some beautiful ruby. We've got Longido ruby and we've got um, uh, uh, other ruby <laughs> from somewhere else. I'm so sorry, I've forgotten. Um, so that Guinea mine. Thank you, lovely uh, ruby as well, which is really exciting. Yeah, this is the Longido ruby. It's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. That's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So that's really exciting. Coming up in this hour as well, we've got selenite, which is amazing. We've also got these, which are incredible. Look, check these out, Linda. Sodalite triangles. Aren't they awesome? How long is it since we've had sodalite on a show? I, it is absolutely awesome, isn't it? Yeah, this it's is absolutely incredible. beautiful. Totally natural. Gorgeous. I love that denim blue you've got there, which is amazing. And we've also got this strand here as well. Look at this gorgeous Keshi. These are giant Keshi pearls. If I, I mean, I, I would, I probably wouldn't have called these Keshis because they are so big. They are huge, absolutely huge. Gorgeous catches. So there's loads on pre-order right now. If you want to go to our website, www.jewelrymaker.com, go to um, click on watch live um, and uh, go to buy ahead or pre-buy or pre-pre, what is it? What's it called? What's coming up on the show? Whatever it's called. Scroll down. There's loads of incredible items, including an amazing, um, uh, um, and, and, and including amazing strand of Burmese green jadeite, four mil rounds, which are beautiful. Price on that strand, by the way, is absolutely amazing. Serpentine as well, selenite. It's all to play for. Get it now. Before we do anything, though, let's go to see your incredible pieces on today's Wall of Fame. <laughs> Oh, the wall of fame. We do love it. It's your uh, chance to showcase your incredible pieces of jewellery. We uh, uh, draw a winner and a runner up every single week on a Wednesday. Just simply send your entries to studio at jewellerymaker.com and you could be in with a chance of winning. Uh, number 344, it's Barbara. Barbara Hewitt. I bought these blue diamonds a while ago from JM. You've made some gorgeous earrings there, Barbara. Thank you, darling. Short but sweet from Barbara there. Elaine Day, number 345. Pearls, beautiful pearls. Hi all, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Everything from JM. Some components from my stash. Pearls purchased more recently, but everything is from JM. Here's hoping for a win. I like that. Beautiful photo, beautiful jewellery. Elaine. Oh, that's Neary's favourite so far this week. I like this. We should have like, yeah, Neary's pick. Trisha Bell, you're number three, four, six, my darling. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, dear JM, please find the attached mind to you for this week's Wall of Fame. A linked choker featuring clear quartz dumbbells. Hope you like it, Trisha. That's absolutely gorgeous. And I've got Angela Aronson, your number 347. Angela's so good at taking her photographs, and, and your jewelry's always amazing, Angela. Dear JM Curry, please find the attached mind to you for this week's Wall of Fame. Earrings made from tiger's eye and copper wire. Uh, good luck to all the talented waffers. That's from Angela Aronson. That's number 347. Who have you got, lovely Linda? Right, I've got the lovely Melanie Kears. Oh. Hi, Melanie, you're 348. And Melanie says, hi, everyone at Jewelry Maker. My entry this week is a rose quartz and mixed size spacer bead bobble bracelets. All components from JM and hope you like it. Love it. I love the, I love the way you've changed it from... Um, what, do I, what do I call... Oh, my goodness. What do I call those? Um, Waterfall? No, you bubble. Know, bubble. I, I love the way no, you've okay. changed from bu uh, bubble to bobble. That's, uh, that puts a whole new um, 
spin. spin on it. That's the word. Nice photo, Melanie. Lovely. Very nice photo. Who's your next yeah. one from, darling? Um, my next one is 349, and it's... Um, sorry, oh, I haven't got your last it's name. It's talented. Juliet. Um, wow. They're beautiful. And Julia says, morning all. Please see my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. I'm slightly obsessed with these faceted rondelle gemstones and have made these bracelets with malachite, citrine and appetite and sterling oh. silver findings. The earrings are made for some lush appetite 10 mil rounds I got the other day and the huggy hoops are from my stash. All other items from JM. Good luck to all the waffers. Yeah, these photographs are beautiful, aren't, aren't they? they? I love yes, that greenery. So in the professional. Gorgeous. Should be in a magazine. Should be, shouldn't it? Yeah. Oh! Right, and then my uh, last one is 350 from Rachel, Rachel Montgomery. And Rachel says, Hi, JM family. Please uh, find attached my entry this week. Freshwater pearls and amethyst necklace, bracelet and earring set, all with sterling silver findings. Everything from JM. Thanks for keeping me entertained while I recover from my operation. Laughter is certainly the best medicine. And they've got lots of uh, laughing emojis here. Uh, good luck to all and to me. And that's love, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Oh, Rachel, I hope you're recovering well and you'll, you'll feel back to your old self soon. Bless you, sweetie. Uh, Bronwyn, Bronwyn Bacon, you've got number 351. Oh, my word. I have not seen... Um, I've not seen rings like this for ages. This week's Wall of Fame, I'm sending in a selection of rings made with chips of apatite, labradorite and tanzanite. The bases wow. are made with 0.8 wire and I use 0.4 wire to thread onto the gem, uh, to thread the gemstones on. All components were purchased from jewellery maker. Good luck to everyone in the drawer. Bronwyn, that's lovely. I've not seen one of those rings for ages. That's so lovely to see those, Bronwyn. Thank They're you. They're on trend again, aren't they? These so-called cocktail yes. rings, as they used to call them. But, Abs... Um... <laughs> They're beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? And um, Kayla, you're number 352. Oh, Kayla! Look at this! Hope you're all well. Please find a touch to the pearl necklace I made for someone. I'm really hoping she likes it. I think it's okay. Good luck in the draw, hugs to ball. Kayla, it's a bit more than okay. That's absolutely blooming gorgeous. I'd love to get that. Are you making it for me? No? Okay. Uh, and last but not least, it's Gloria Brown. Uh, hi, all at JM. Uh, you're number 353, my darling. Please find attached to my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a gent sterling silver ring. Oh, my gosh, that's incredible. Made from a piece of sheet and wire purchased from yourselves. I put the sheet through a rolling machine to achieve the texture using a doily. What? Wow, what a good idea. That's so cool. That's and soldered the wire around as a trim. I hope you like it. My nephew did. Gloria, that is Professionale. It is beautiful. It's inspiring, isn't it? You are. You are all so amazing. And the quality of your photography is just incredible. Do you know what? Do you know what we're going to do? Do you know what we're going to do? <laughs> do you know what we're going to do? <laughs> I do now. We're going to start this morning with a stab, bye. Here we go. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, I got the giggles this morning. Here we go. So, so delight. Here's a gem that we just we just don't get very often at all. As Linda says, when was the last time we had a brand new strand of sodalite? Not only sodalite, but you've got here the most gorgeous, um, shiny, glossy uh, triangles of of um, so like we've had a couple of strands over the last over the last week or so where they've been proper triangles, not trillionth cuts, but proper triangle, you know, equilateral triangle shapes, and that's exactly what you're going to be getting here. Beautiful size, gorgeous shape. Two of the small, two of the medium, two of the uh, uh, sorry, one of the large um, uh, ones. Love this colour. It's different to lapis. Let me show it to you alongside some lapis. Lapis is richer, brighter, more vivid. If it's a bit too vivid for you, then I would go for sodalite because it's got that kind of almost like a denim blue, isn't it? Like a stonewashed denim, like slightly faded. It's, it's a little bit kinder. Do you know what this reminds me of, actually? It reminds me a bit of a tanzanite blue, Linda. It, it does, yeah. It's got yeah. that sort of um, uh, indigo. Yes. It? That indigo shape. Yes, less of that cobalt, <laughs> more of an indigo. Look at those patinations. Aren't they beautiful going through the gem? Loads of people already coming through. I'm not surprised. It's 12 99 Wow. Or is it? No, it's not. 
Victoria Maker, Rhonda Maker in County Durham, Maker Denise, Karen, well done to you, my lovelies. Loads of people coming through. Karen in Fife coming through. This is great to see you today. Well done. $9.99 for your Sodalite top drilled triangles. Now, here you've got, you know, the capacity to make gorgeous rings. I mean, whether it's a large one or the slightly smaller one, earrings, really kind of, um, I'll tell you what these remind me of actually, you know, lovely Yvonne who was on Britain's Next Gem last week. She made some really modern sterling silver pieces. This reminds me very much of her jewelry, very modern, really bold shapes. Also, can I just show you the tasselage? So you've got a little jump ring applied to your tassel. Um, so because you've got a jump ring applied to your tassel, that is a ready-made tassel, ready to go for whatever jewellery you want to put it into, Michael. You can use that in literally six months' time. It's, yeah, in your ear. as a lovely earring. Why not? Um, it's gorgeous, isn't it? We're at 9 99 25 seconds, and then we're going to go again. Love this. There's five, Neary. I think we get, we all get to an age where we can look at a strand, where we can look at a number and go, that's five. You don't have to go <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. You can look at that, can't you, Nirin? Go, five. Oh, come on. <laughs> look at it and just go, yeah, the five. You don't have to count. <laughs> and two tassels. And two tassels. Two tassels. <laughs> Six ninety nine. Well done to everyone coming through. Jennifer's got two. Denise has got two. Dawn's got two. Rhonda's got two. Well done to you, Maker and County Durham. Well done to you. Beautiful quality. What would you put this with? Would you? Do you know what? You could put it with something like your gorgeous selenite. Ooh, they both got that kind of dreamy quality. Or the possibly cashews, I think. Hey. the cashew, the cashew pearls. Oh God, that's a great idea. Yeah, like that. How lovely to see sodalite again. What great shapes. I know. I love a triangle. Six ninety nine. <laughs> Did I just say that? I love a triangle. <laughs> when of a Susan Maker Jones show. There's loads in baskets. Guess what we're gonna do? <gasps> One more. Price. I don't know how we can do this. I don't know why we're doing this. This is the early, early bird. This is the earliest of birds. <laughs> this, is a, this is the bird I think I heard the other morning at about half past four. Ah! I was like, it's way too early for you to be awake, matey. <laughs> this is the bird walking back from the nightclub when everyone else is still in bed. <laughs> Four nights, oh, but everyone's getting up. Oh, everyone's getting up and you're walking home. Not that I've ever done that. Oh. The walk of shame. <laughs> yes, the walk of shame. Still in your outfit from the night before. Uh, still with last night's makeup on. Four ninety nine. There you go. That's what this is. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Mervat, Nora, Norma. Well done to you, Susan, Helen, Jacqueline, Bernadette, Mary, Elizabeth, Trish. You've all got the city baskets. Abby, Allison. Well done to you. So much you can do with this, whether it's going to be gallery wire or it might be um, uh, your gorgeous uh, bezel strip or maybe it's going to be seed bead bezeling or maybe, you know what, with, with, with Linda's gorgeous um, babushka uh, kits coming up in the, uh, in the 12 o'clock hour, you could literally get these, glue them to your beading foundation, seed bead around them or put seed bead, uh, put a cup chain around them. Got a cup chain bundle coming up in the 12. It's all so exciting today. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Well done. Brand new serpentine strand. Another star by, star by. Serpentine. Ooh, these are big. Yes, absolutely awesome. This is autumn. This is autumn. This is kicking leaves with wanton care and abandonment in the park, isn't it? This is kicking leaves. Oh, totally natural. Beautiful quality that you're going to be getting here. I do love this colour. I love these patinations. Reds and your gorgeous kind of... Um, khaki greens beautiful kind of spanish olive colors in there they're just gorgeous aren't they beautiful uh you've got here big 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 10 mil rounds here 240 carats in total 
Yes, it does go with my top, doesn't it? With the old animal print. Um, do, do, do you know what as well? If you like wearing kind of your truffly colours or maybe your chocolate browns or your camel kind of tones or your creams, this is great with that, isn't it, um, uh, Linda? That's going to be great. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. It's, it's a sort of a winter gem if yes. you're going to seasonalise your gems, but it's it's so interesting isn't it it's beautiful isn't it lots and lots of uh lots and lots of quality uh, different qualities going through here it's quite gemmy though you normally expect something like this from a jasper maybe which is completely opaque but this is Got a bit of clarity. Serpentine covers a multitude of different types of kind of gemstones and different kind of types of colours as well. It can be purple. It can be this gorgeous colour here. It can be dark. It can be, you know, you can get serpentine cliffs down in um, down in Dorset and uh, Cornwall, can't you? Uh, loads of people already through. Fourteen ninety nine. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Every gem is unique. Every gem has got that little story to tell, that little character. And there's so many people out there who kind of suit these kind of colours here, these lovely kind of warm, um, uh, kind of uh, these autumnal tones, whether it's greens, whether it's those lovely browns, whether it's a lovely kind of um, uh, golden yellows as well. Lots of skin tones out there which really do suit this incredible palette. Christina, Susan, Maker in County, Durham, Elaine, Victoria, well done to you as well. All the way down, let's go as low as we can, shall we? 9 99 Anne and Christine, well done to you, my lovelies. Lots of people there. And these are big gems. We bring you Serpentine. I can't remember the last time I bought you Serpentine. I don't even know if I bought it to you this year. That's, you know, how, how infrequently we have it. Look at it with the sodalite as well. And maybe even the lapis. These colours do tend to go with your uh, beautiful bright blues as well. So, you know, if you're looking for another gemstone to put this with, maybe to kind of, um, uh, to kind of uh, uh, give it a bit more balance, then I'd definitely be going for blues. Um, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. Or maybe purples, like an amethyst purple. D, Julia, Marilyn, Lynn, well done to you as well. Let's bring you another price for your starry starry buy well done to you absolutely 100% as low as we can go seven pounds and 99 pence that is absolutely wow. Christina's got three Lynn's got two for all of you out there who you know like me haven't seen uh, um, serpentine for you know a good few months this is absolutely the right time for you to be getting this 7.99 Lynn in Wiltshire well done to Maureen Elizabeth in Somerset well done to you as well my lovelies lots of people buying twos and threes of these uh, because we just don't get it very often Lynn's got three well done Maureen in the Ronda Elizabeth in Somerset Christina's now got four that's great to see well done check out your baskets everyone I think this would look lovely with antique bronze don't you Definitely. absolutely gorgeous it's, it's sort of a subtle statement, isn't it? You know, it's an, what I call a noticeable piece of jewellery when you create it from, from this gem mm. because it's so unusual. Absolutely. In every way. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. Right, we're going to move on to selenite now, which is, an, which is another really awesome, interesting gemstone. These are uh, wonderful stones. Let me show you all of these together. Love all of these. Oh, wow. Love it, love it, love it. They're so wonderful. This is known as desert silk. It's known as um, uh, the charging stone. It's an incredible stone, which has got lots and lots and lots of inclusions in it. Lots of kind of needle, kind of hair-like inclusions. A bit like, actually, the skull site that we've got coming up today, actually. Um, and it gives you this chatoyancy, which is un believable it's also known as a charging stone so if you put this next to any other genuine gemstone uh, then it's uh, said to kind of charge up the gemstone it's next to with extra energy a bit like a battery almost we're at 99.99 this is such a phenomenal gem these are 10 to 12 mils in size it's gorgeous isn't it I love it love it love it um with um, you know great as a you know great with a single light source fantastic for your chakras but just a wonderful looking stone isn't it just gorgeous well done everyone go 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 99.99 nowhere near your deal today well done look at that it's such a fascinating stone isn't it isn't that cool 10 opportunities remaining that is it once they're gone they're gone here we go all the way down 10 to 12 mil these is it's probably the biggest one that we do actually 39.99 that is your deal incredible what a awesome awesome stone at 
39.99. Such an unusual quality you've got going through here. Mm. I mean, we've got Tiger's Eye. That's got chatoyancy, haven't we? We've got other gemstones like Moonstone, which have got lovely phenomena. Um, but but this is this is all the way through. This is so unusual. Um, uh, you, you really don't get this from many places on earth either. It's an incredibly rare gemstone. Very difficult to cut. Very difficult to drill. Uh, but we've got it here in your 10 to 12 mils, which are absolutely gorgeous. Well done. 39.99. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Beautiful. Okay. Eight to ten mil. Oh, look at this! Such a cool gem, isn't it, Linda? It's absolutely exquisite, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I mean, again, with those large keshi pearls, you could virtually create a bubble stroke bubble piece of jewellery. And the, those those dusky pinks within um, the selenite yes. would encourage the pink lusters in the pearls. Ooh. Oh, yes, absolutely. I want to show this to you with the skull side, actually. What is king identity? Oh, It'll be beautiful with the skull side. Look at it with the skull side, with the natural skull side. I mean, you put it with whatever colour you like, but, you know, just That's interesting. That's gorgeous. How cool is that? Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. With the keshis, I totally agree as well, with the gorgeous keshis. Oh, my gosh, that's bridal, isn't it? That is just gorgeous. OK, here we go. All the way down, everybody. Go, 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 go. Well done, check out your baskets, $29.99. There you go, an amazing stone, so powerful, so positive as well. It's just got so much going for it. It's got just, it's, it's like it's got the universe inside it. It's wonderful, isn't it? Well done at £29.99. That's your deal today. And as the light moves across it, the stone, it, you know, it's a living stone. The stone literally just uh, comes alive, doesn't it? Well done. Three opportunities remaining. Elizabeth, well done to you, my lovely bidders in Greater London. Denise, well done to you as well. $29.99. I'm going to leave those last couple of chances there with you. Well done. Okay. Seven to ten. Seven to eight. Sorry. Seven to eight. Look at this. Look, you can see all those gorgeous inclusions, can't you? Can you imagine that with some kenzite? Ooh. With some what, sorry? Kenzite. Oh, Wouldn't yes. Yeah, that would be sublime, wouldn't it? That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, there you go, everyone. How wonderful would that be? Yeah, kunzite, really calming, really peaceful. Actually, with gemstones like angelite as well, I think this would look amazing. Mm -hmm. £24.99. pence. Well done to all of you. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Superb. So much more um, uh, coming up. We've got the most amazing... Um, we've got the most amazing uh, uh, strand coming up as a star buy in a couple of seconds. This is absolutely amazing. And it is, and it is bright, it's beautiful, and the price is unbelievable. One more of your selenite. Yeah. Look at this. <whistles> oh, yeah. Nice. Look at that. Blinking, moving, changing, evolving. I think That's... these are absolutely beautiful in a Marla style. Yeah. Wouldn't they? Yeah, I think so. And uh, yeah, you know, said to charge your gemstones. Uh, so if you put it next to a, you know, a really auspicious gemstone, maybe, it, you know, uh, arguably, you know, if you believe in the myth and legend surrounding gems, this will charge that incredible guru, you know, whatever it's there for, whether it's to ground you or to relax you. It's electrifyingly good. Two opportunities remain. We've got Anthony and Kay in for this. Denise in South Yorkshire, well done to you. Francis, well done to Julie, well done to you. Two opportunities remaining, well done. Go, 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 go. That's gorgeous, well done. 75 guys. Daniel! Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, I've got the triangles. I don't have the, uh, another strand of sodalite, unfortunately. Sodalite. No. I got no sodalite. I've got her, Kuma. Yeah. Yeah, Kinga. Here she comes. Oh, guess what this is? More sodalite. Yes. Look at it with the other strand, the big strand. Woo! Yeah. 
Now that would be lovely to create that waterfall over the top point of the of that triangle where the uh, where the drill hole is. Just tumble those little ones down over it would be superb. Oh, how gorgeous! Yes, it is a different level of blue, a different kind of blue. If you were one of the 85 people who got the solar light triangles a few moments ago, you need to get this one. Sandra, Jan, Gabrielle, well unto you. 14 chances remaining, 8.99. Oh my gosh. Any of the triangles left, Neary, or is it pretty much gone? Neary. 14 left of the triangles. Ah, right, brilliant. 14 left of the triangles, if you want to get those onto your order. Well done. 8 99 for your gorgeous um, uh, soda light rondelles. We are not done with our price point today. We've got 80 of this strand available. How about we match the price of the first strand of soda light? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Eight ninety nine, not your price. Can we just remind us how much was this enormous strand of triangles? How much was this strand? Do we remember? Do you remember? Six ninety nine, yeah. Five nine, no. Four, oh, no. Surely not. Today, you can get the rondelles, and you can get the triangles for under a tenner. How amazing is that? Lynn, Karen, Wendy, Dawn's got two. Well done to you. Pauline, well done to you. Uh, Christine, Susan, Maureen, Susan, Amanda, Maker, Maker, Miriam, Maker, Jill. Well done to Susan. You've got two. Dawn's got two. Dawn, another Dawn's got two. Well done to you, my darling. Bernadette, Christine, Marilyn. Well done to you. £4.99. There you go. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Oh, my word. What a great deal. Four pounds ninety nine pence. This is so light, all the way from Canada. Wow! How unusual is that? Gorgeous. Well done, Jean and Nicola and Denise and Gabrielle. You're all there. Maker in Suffolk, Marilyn in Flintshire. Well done to you. Four ninety nine. That denim blue goes with so much. Uh, it goes beautifully, actually, with the serpentine. Look at that. Look at that with the beautiful serpentine. Yes, isn't that gorgeous? Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Superb. Gabrielle's got two. Well done to you. Great to see you, Linda. You've been away too long. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much. We do love her. Yeah, we I've had far too her. many holidays this year, making up for the last two I years. Think I think it's brilliant. You just you go, Linda. You go. Morning, everyone. Hope you're well. As it's chucking down here in Cornwall, so I will definitely Ooh. be staying in the warm watching jewellery maker, Kayla. Yes, absolutely. Definitely. It was raining a lot last night. Lots of kiddies out trick-or-treating in the pouring rain. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Well, that serves them right. Anyway. Right. Star by, this strand of jade is obscene. That's beautiful. Those are all cherry picked, aren't they, on the, this strand? They're just perfect. That is epic. Absolutely. That is, that is apple green. I'm going to take it off the bath. This is apple, 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 apple. Apple green. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love this strand. Alison's got two already. This is the very definition of apple green jade, isn't it? This is, I, I don't think I've ever bought a strand to wear which is more consistent in colour, which is more kind of vibrant and appley and uh, relaxing. And this is the color I want to see from Jadeite. 
incredibly powerful, isn't it? Yeah, for a pastel colour, it's yeah, very that's vivid. What I'm for isn't a pastel it? colour, it's really powerful. In in sort of um, a subtle way, um, it would it would if I had this strand to work with, I would immediately go with something simple. You see that double strand there that's that's going around on uh, the, in the recording. The, yeah, yeah, that is a beautiful design for this type of stone. Would you set it with the keshis maybe that we've got? Oh, yes, yeah, so I was going to set it with something that's on your desk there, the keshis I'd go to straight away. Yeah, keshis for and this, I mean, are just the absolute dream team, aren't they? Richard, Karen, Anne-Marie, Angela, Susan, Karen in Fife, Elizabeth in Somerset. You've got two. This is, this is like, the dream strand. This is the strand of Burmese green jadeite that you get every so often. You get those gorgeous colours and you go, oh, that one's really gemmy, isn't it? That one's really powerful. But it's the whole strand. They're all as powerful and as green and saturated and pure as each other. This is such an impressive strand. And I'm happy at 129.99. I'm really happy. Can I just say, though... That's not going to be your price point today. Neary, I reckon we should bring a clock on and let's just see how many people we get on the phone lines because I think, you know, one price could be, could be it. You like it. You appreciate what it is. You can see the quality. You can sense that quality, can't you? It's, it's plain to see whether you look at it here or on the recording. Put it in your basket. We've got a 60-second clock. We've got a 90... Um, uh, no, sorry, we've got a 90 quantity uh, for anyone to come through and get this. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of you with this in your baskets. What are you thinking? Now, this is a really long strand you're going to be getting here. You're getting approximately 130, approximately 130 of your jade beads here. That is a big, long strand. It's called a necklace for a really good reason because it's a necklace length. Look at the length on this strand. It's absolutely incredible. How long is the strand, says Richard? I will measure it for you in a second, Richard, but just look at that. Look at the length on that. It's absolutely amazing. Looks like it might be a 50 centimetre. Looks like it might be a 50 centimetre strand. Can I have a... a, a oh, Kinga, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Let's have a quick look. Here we go. Uh, this is a, oh, 20, 28 times two. 56. 56. Thank you. Gosh, you're good. <laughs> 56 centimetre wow. strand. 56 centimetres. There's nobody near enough people there. We need more of you there. Our, Alison, you've already got two. Uh, Anne Marie's got two. This is great. Jean, well done. Jean. I mean, I'm loving all these multi bidders, but we are absolutely nowhere near where we're going to be finishing today. 99.99 is great. Nowhere near where we're going today. This is absolutely tremendous. Uh, loads of you with these in baskets. That's great to see. Well done. More people checking out. Jacqueline's checking out. That's great to see. Well done to you. Put it in your basket. You like it. You, you, you know, you want to get this. You love that quality. Can I just advise you just put this in your basket as soon as you can. Go, 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 go. Barbara, Liz, Jacqueline, loads of you there. Somerset's got two. Well done to you, Gillian, Wendy, Iris, Barbara, Liz, Jacqueline, Margaret. Well done to you. Okay, your price point's coming in any second now. We're at 99.99. We're going to go low. Really, 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 really low. Quality, amazing. Consistency, astonishing. It's yours today. Price point coming in in 10 seconds. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. What an opportunity. Here we go. Loads of you there. What do you reckon? 89.99, 79.99, for 56 centimetres of type A Burmese jadeite. That has got to be some kind of a world record. That is amazing. Well done to everyone coming through. Alan, Anne, Heather, Noreen, Margaret, Gillian, Wendy, Iris, Barbara's got two. Liz, Maker, Patricia, Lynn's got two. Wendy, well done to you as well. Lynn, Jacqueline, Jean, Karen, well done to you. Oh, this is amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Margaret's now got two in Wiltshire. That's fantastic. 49 99 You're getting approximately 100.
130 beads here. So that's easily enough for a mala. Can you imagine, though, because it's the right kind of size, I think, Linda, because uh, they're four mil rounds, to be able to make a uh, you know loads of beady beads with. How wonderful yeah, Oh, that yeah, be gorgeous. But what strikes me is the fact, you know, we're in the season now or coming up very, very quickly to the season of what I call you know, sparkle season. Oh, yes. When, uh, you know, with, with the festive functions and things like that. Yes. And I struggle, actually, to find jewellery, really, that that doesn't clash, in a way, with all that sparkle. Interesting. And I think this is the one. Can you imagine that with the little black dress? Oh, my gosh, amazing. You know, it would be stunning, wouldn't it? Well, I think you're right. If you're wearing a lovely kind of sparkly silver or sparkly gold top, you don't want to wear something but kind of met too metallic and no, no, bright. No, no, absolutely not. It, as you say, it will clash. So but this, this still has amazing. the power that the piece of jewellery should have. Yes. You know, an accessory. It has the power for it. It really does, doesn't it? It's just incredible. Beady beads, stretchy bracelets, memory wire bracelets, whatever it's going to be, pearl knotting. Um, 19 opportunities remaining. We're at 49.99. There's so many in baskets. Maureen, Lynn, Tracy, Anne, Heather, Noreen, Gillian, Barbara, Liz, Maker, Patricia, Lynn, Richard. Loads in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Well done. Yours today for under £50. Oxfordshire, check out. Uh, yours today for under £50. What an incredible deal. Well done. Go, 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 go. Well done. Absolutely superb. We've got lots of multi-bidders, lots of people with twos and threes in their baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Well done, everybody. 56, well, over 50 centimetres in length and yours for under £50. Well done. More people checking out on West Midlands, Lancashire, Essex, Bedfordshire. Well done. That is just superb, isn't it? Well done. 13 chances. Sandra, well done to you as well. Absolutely brilliant. Almost single figures left. Well done. Uh, get involved. This is, this is it. These are the last 10 opportunities we've got in the building. Well done, everybody. So much to look forward to today. And of course, don't forget Keshi Pearls which I think look absolutely amazing with these. Absolutely gorgeous with your Keshis. Look at that. Elizabeth Kim, well done to you. Maker, well done to you as well. West Yorkshire, fantastic. Look at it with the Keshis. Doesn't that look beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, County Antrim as well. That's just great to see. Well done. We're under £50 for this strand of jade. Look at it with those cashews. Doesn't that look beautiful? And actually, as it's, as it's layered up there, you know, as Linda says, that's a lovely design on its own, um, you know, as a, double, as a double strander on that recording. But just imagine one of the keshi pearls dangled from that. How wonderful would that look? Gorgeous. Well done. Uh, Oxford is coming through. Well done. Keep checking your baskets out, everybody. This is uh, racing towards a sellout now. Seven opportunities remaining. Well done. OK, so we've got the early birds coming up now. Loads and loads and loads of, of uh, colour now. This is your chance to get one of the most amazing gemstones. Keep coming through for that. Keep checking your baskets out. Can't believe we've still got seven chances left for that strand of Burmese jade. That is absolutely amazing for four mil rounds over half a metre. Don't go anywhere. We've got your lapis lazuli early bird special coming up now. So we've got the most amazing gemstone now. This is one of my all-time favourite gems. Um, it is, of course, lapis lazuli. This gemstone is such a uh, special gemstone. It's more than a gemstone. It's a bit like your jadeite, a bit like your pearls. It, 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 um, it kind of surpasses gemstone notoriety. It, it's kind of, it is a part of, of um, it is a part of our culture, of our history. It's got such a rich, illustrious history. Um, and where we get our natural lapis lazuli from is the absolute finest location the world, um, the world uh, uh, knows. It's absolutely incredible. Have a look at these slides. I've got a couple of slides about lapis. Uh, for centuries, Afghanistan has been an important source of top quality lapis lazuli. Historians believe the link between humans and lapis lazuli stretches back more than six and a half thousand years. Uh, the gem was treasured by the ancient civilizations of uh, me um, uh, Mesopotamia. <laughs> Mesopotamia, Egypt, China, Greece, and Rome. Um, now, where we get our lapis lazuli from is 
um, the Saraseng mountain pass in Afghanistan and places kind of around there as well. We're talking about a place which is at, uh, 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 sorry, a gemstone, which is mined at altitude. Um, so Badakhshan, a province in present day Afghanistan is a forbidding, a forbidding wasteland of mountains, bare of any vegetation. The sheer mountain faces rise up as high as 17,000 feet and are scored with treacherous ravines. Humans make their way to seek only one thing. The azure treasure is the fine lapis lazuli. It's one of those places that um, uh, you don't really appreciate how difficult this gemstone is to mine until you actually go there and you realize that really that th these kind of mountain passes are almost impassable for most of the year. However, a lot of the ancient trading routes, which kind of came from China and then, and, and then across to um, uh, mainland Europe, um, went through this, this particular mountain range and it's because of lapis lazuli. Um, is an image of of, of some uh, guys um, uh, using using the trails, the ancient trails in that incredible mountain range, and you can see how dusty and how dry and arid it is. It's not necessarily very hot; it's just very very dry. It's uh, definitely at altitude. My next slide that I want to show you is all about how this gemstone, um, uh, why this gemstone was kind of traded. Ultramarine is a deep blue pigment which was originally made by grinding lapis lazuli into a powder. The name comes from the Latin ultramarinus, literally beyond the sea, because the pigment was imported into Europe from mines into, um, um, in Afghanistan by Italian traders during the 14th and 15th centuries. Now, uh, when you had uh, Michelangelo, who would have indeed, uh, um, uh, you know, been, uh, been been very very famous at the time during the um, uh, during the kind of 15th century, and uh, doing these incredible frescoes, not ne not necessarily the Sistine Chapel, which is what this is, but other frescoes as well. The artists would um, uh, would quote, if you like, they would quote um, uh, their customer on doing the piece of art, and also they would quote them separately if they wanted any blue ultramarine included in the artwork. It was kind of more valuable than gold at the time, and it was the kind of thing which you would quote people separately for uh, because of its incredible value. If you do go to the Sistine Chapel, if you're lucky enough to go there, um, it really is quite an awe-inspiring place. It's, uh, you, you have to be completely silent when you go in there. You can't take photographs. It's one of the most protected um, uh, 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 kind of... Um, sites of, 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 of religious significance in the world. Uh, and all of the blues that you've got there, uh, all of the blues that you've got there are, are derived from ultramarine. It's interesting, actually, when you do look at these kind of older pieces of artwork, you'll notice that the other colours fade, but the ultramarine colours really do stay nice and vivid, and it's because it's derived from uh, your lapis lazuli. Um, it really is a gemstone which um, has enabled us to date pieces of art which until and until re relatively recently have been undateable um, uh, and it's because of the introduction of your lapis lazuli. Um, the quality of what we've got here is amazing because it's from that original location so from the same location that the ultramarine would have come from that uh, painted the Sistine Chapel or the same lapis lazuli location uh, that was used uh, to mine the pieces of lapis lazuli that are in Tutankhamun's sarcophagus. It's the same location, and that's what I love so much. You can't get much more location specific than this. A bit like with the Canadian Labradorite and the um, and the um, and the Spectralite we bought you yesterday. It's all about the location. It's all about the providence. It's all about the history. Um, we're going to give you thirty seconds to your graphics. We do have a few strands of dyed lapis lazuli coming up, and I'll make you aware which ones they are. I've got two brand new strands of natural lapis lazuli. It's an incredibly hard gemstone for us to get hold of now. It, it's just one of those things. You know, a lot of things are harder for us to get hold of because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But what we've got for you today are two brand new strands. I particularly like this one here. I love the shape, the size, love the jewelry that's made um, that's been made by our in-house designers. The color is, for me, it's so powerful. Brilliant in a necklace. This gemstone is attributed with the throat chakra as well. It's meant to be, it's meant to make you into a better, uh, a better speaker. It's meant to help you get your ideas over to, uh, your arguments over more eloquently. Um, and it's, and it's meant to make you a more impassioned speaker. It's also a 
blooming lovely gem and it and it and, and the colors just so intense it's beautiful isn't it um lapis as you like a pigment more precious than gold oh i like that oh that's from october 2022 Lapis lazuli, once more precious, once more precious than gold, has a history of over nine thousand years. The earliest artifacts found in uh, Berera, are the oldest sites of Indus Valley civilization, date back to seven thousand five hundred and seventy BCE. Nowadays, it's still being used in the uh, in, in the art world for pigments used in restoration works. Gosh, that's that's fascinating, isn't it? Isn't that wonderful? It's just so cool. The very name lapis lazuli means blue stone as well. You know, lapis meaning stone. Lazuli, if you think of as azurite or azure, that's a blue colour. So obviously lapis lazuli literally meaning blue stone. Now, because you've got natural lapis lazuli here from the original location, the Saraseng Mountain Pass in Afghanistan, it's going to be a little bit more pricey, yeah? No, 20 quid. A gemstone that was more valuable than gold for hundreds of years, for centuries, more valuable than gold. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the gorgeous, look at the beautiful, uh, look at the beautiful faceting you're getting there. This, for me, um, uh, Linda, there are a few gemstones out there which are, they're more than just gemstones. Yeah, this, this is... most definitely. I mean, the more you educate yourself about gemstones, mm. the richer the person you are, to be yes. honest. If you love gemstones, then <clears throat> do, do some research on them because they're fascinating. Um, what I particularly love about this strand of lapis is those absolutely stunningly beautiful pyrite inclusions. Yes! I mean, those are absolutely magical. See, that's yeah. a really good call. Lapis lazuli is kind of one of those funny kind of slightly hybrid gemstones, which is made up of other gems. So you've got, as Linda quite rightly says, pyrite, which are the metallic inclusions. Look at this, by the way. You've got your azurite, uh, which is your uh, blue. And then you've got your sodalite kind of calcite inclusions. $12.99, not your price. 30 second clock, we're going lower. You can get lapis lazuli from other locations but it looks quite white and wispy and a little bit too calcite -y. If you want to get the very best, if you want to get the absolute premium, if you want to get the highest saturation of colour, you've got to go for the Saraseng um, Afghanistan um, uh, source. It's the original source. It's the only source that I'm really interested in. Um, and, it is, and, it is, and it has been used and prized for thousands and thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians would carve scarab beetles out of this, a symbol of immortality. Isn't that fascinating? What a gem to do this with. 9.99, amazing, brand new, go. You've got to get it today. Well done, that's your early bird price today. That is amazing. Loving this strand, loving what it's been put with. Look how many in baskets, it's crazy. Alan's got two, Mary, Gabrielle, Lynn, Jan, uh, Anne, uh, Karen's got two, Robert, well done to you as well. Brenda, Jane, Nora, Caroline, Mary, Claire, well done to you. Wendy, Iris, Carol, Caroline's got three, Patricia's got three, well done to you. And of course, our in-house designers here, they're wonderful. They, they, they are wonderful and they, and they, and they um, uh, are, are given various strands and deals of the day and it's their job to kind of, you know, make big pieces, you know, to show it all on show. But, you know, there's nothing to stop you just using that as individual pendants or, or, or breaking it up into little pairs of earrings, is there? It'd be superb as a drop opera length earring, you know, the shoulder. Oh, stuff. yes. Just with some chain. I mean, it's I've indisputable. Sorry, Carol. Not at all, It's Levy. indisputably a gemstone. Yes. Just when you cast your eyes on Very it for good the point. first time, you know, you know it's special. Yeah, you know it's not glass, it's not crystal, it's not plastic. Mm. It's, it, it, yeah, as, as Linda says, it's, it, it's a genuine gem, so indisput indisputably so. Um, well done. We've got to move on. There's still chances left. I've got loads of you with this in basket. We've got to move on just purely because of time. Tumbly, tumbly, tumble of your lapis lazuli. This is also completely natural. I love it. Absolutely adore this gem. This for me, um, you know, this is a, a gemstone which was used as a form of currency for thousands of years. Um, the, the mining methods for this gemstone haven't altered for centuries. And the reason for it being is it's a two day trek to the nearest form of civilization from the mine. You can't get big heavy machinery there. You can't get trucks down there. You can only either walk there or go on there on the back of a horse. Um, so for that reason, because you can't physically get to those mines because it's so remote by, by car, 
The great thing is, is that the mining methods have not changed for a millennia. Whereas you look at somewhere like the, um, uh, the uh, Minas Gerais region in, in Brazil, where you can get bulldozers, you can get big vans, cars in there because it's much more accessible. That's the beauty of a gemstone like this. And that's hopefully why this gemstone will continue to be mined for another thousand years. I really hope so. Eight ninety nine for your lapis lazuli smooth tumbles. Beautiful pyrite inclusions in here as well, Linda. Absolutely stunning. Those gorgeous fool's gold inclusions that you're getting there. Not your price today. Let's give you an even better deal. Slightly more unisex strand, this one. Beautiful. Why isn't this a birthstone? I don't know. Four ninety nine. Oh my Whoa. gosh! It's brand new. Ah! Gosh. I, I, do you know what? I was just thinking. Would I set this with silver or rose gold? I can't even. I, I mean, this for me, you have to set this with gold. I think so because of the gold sort of sheens of the pyrite. Yes. You've got the different coloured natural pyrites in there. Mm. But for me, I would be inspired immediately to do a station type necklace, oh, you know, a long necklace, if not double mm. uh, stranded with the lapis as stations every couple of inches. That's a nice, that's a really, really nice idea. Maybe with your keshi, something like that. Because this kind of color as well, this is kind of going towards your nautical theme with the white and the blue. And you've got your gorgeous, um, you've got your gorgeous kind of um, stonewashed denim quality. I'd consider putting it with something like your keshis and then doing a big station necklace or something. It's gonna be long, it's gonna be statement. It's gonna be reasonably lightweight, but it's gonna be so powerful in color. And you're gonna be able to wear that with literally anything. Gorgeous. I put it with pyrite and pearls. Oh, yes. So here it is with the gorgeous Keshis. I think it looks amazing. A real winning combination there. Gorgeous. Anyone's going to love that. We're going to do these Keshis right now. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing strand. Now, when I saw the details for this this morning, I read Keshi. Yeah. What I didn't do was read the size of these keshis. So I came into the studio looking for a strand of keshis, which were going to be, I don't know, I reckon at a guess, kind of seven, eight mil in size. 17 to 20 millimeters wow. in size. They are gigantic. Look at that beautiful recording that the team have done. Thank you so much, gang. That is gorgeous. I love that. Thank you, Adam. Um, Keshi pearls, what are they? I've got a little slide, but I mean, I can, I can just explain it to you. Keshi pearls are a non-nucleated pearl. So they don't have a bead in the center and they tend to be, and they tend to be free forming. It's very difficult to kind of culture these. They tend to form completely on their own and completely separate to another pearl that forms inside a mollusk. And what you get is a pearl which forms in the, in the outer kind of shell of the mollusk. And it tends to echo the shape of the uh, of the uh, of the shell, um, they're absolutely beautiful. The actual word keshi means poppy in Japanese, so you get these kind of poppy leaf shaped gemstones. Well, sorry, not gemstones, organic gems in your gorgeous pearls. This is amazing. And um, on this strand, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 21 on the strand. Now, as far as, we're way over allocated, by the way. Way, 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 way over allocated. We've only got four chances left. Um, can I give you, a, can I give you a, a bit of a price comparison here? Just because I love Monica Venada's work. I really genuinely do. And this isn't really a price comparison. This is just a bit of inspiration, really. Have a look at these price comparisons just very, very quickly. But like I said, it's more of an inspiration rather than a price comparison. Love that necklace. Adore that necklace. That is pearl. That's modern pearl jewellery. I adore that. Love that. I, th I actually think that's an incredibly uh, apt point, modern pearl jewellery, because mm. that's exactly nice. what these, um, these sort of pearls are now giving us. They're opening up the opportunity for younger people Absolutely. to want to wear pearls. Gone are the days of twin set and pearls. I mean, say gone are the days, but it's not just about twin set and pearls. It's about modern, fashionable, current, beautiful statement jewellery. Embrace the Baroque nature of these. Two left. We've got to crash the price. Right, there's, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen in baskets for the last two. That's it. Your deal today. This is amazing, by the way. This is incredible. Yours today. This is way too low. One nine nine. 
Gee whiz, £199 at individual split payments of £99 and £50. That is absolutely astonishing. That recording is, is dreamy. Well done, Rennie, Maker in County Antrim. Well done to you, Angela, Liz, Sheila, Christina, Caroline, Maker, Maker, Hazel and Linda. All in baskets, all to play for. Two opportunities remaining. Check out, otherwise somebody else will and they'll take it from you. You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee, don't forget. I, I think that's an absolutely beautiful strand. And do you know what? Each one of those pearls on its own could sell for that price point, couldn't it? Uh, easily, yeah, easily. I mean, the thing for me is that um, this strand can be incredibly inspirational for a beginner in jewellery mm. making, as it also is for somebody far more advanced in jewellery making. Yes. ...in design, because you need very little design with something like this, because it's already there. Yes, definitely. The shape and the undulations of the, these pearls, you know, it's there. And it, it just simply restranded, perhaps onto some um, silk. Oh. Um, you know, it's just majestic, isn't it? Really it really is, I mean, isn't it? I absolutely love this type of pearl. Yeah. You know, it's just the optimum piece of jewellery. It really is. To be is. lucky enough to wear, because on the high street, if you could even find them on the high street, yeah. um, you know, th these pearls are incredibly expensive. Oh, they are. They're and so we're just lo very lucky to get them because pearls are quite... Well, they're not quite. They're really rare to be able um, for jewellery maker to buy at the moment and getting yeah. rarer and rarer. So it's it's right place, right time, really, Absolutely. with something like this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I think we've got one chance remaining if you want to come through and get the final one. Do not go anywhere. Beautiful kits coming up after the break. We've got Jade Donuts, Jade Hagoos, and, of course, we've got a lovely demo from Linda as well. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. We're going. We're going. But we're going. We're, we're all, all going. going. To the Creative Craft Show at the Birmingham NEC from Thursday the 3rd to Sunday the 6th of November. We'll be bringing goodie bags, a tombola, and a chance for you to meet your favourite guests and presenters across all channels. Not to mention the opportunity to shop and to be inspired by some of the best crafting brands around. And because we're going, you can get discounted tickets of up to 40% by using the code BIRMINGHAM40. And logging on to creativecraftshow.co.uk. So, come and meet the family. Between the 3rd and 6th of November at the Birmingham NEC. At the Creative Craft Show. See, See you there. there. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. 
Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Oh, we're just talking about Cornwall. <laughs> so it's someone to chat about Cornwall. Oh, I love it down there. Uh, right, um, Linda, mm -hmm. you have you've done it again, haven't you? Well, the thing about um, these uh, couple of kits here with mm. with um, the jade and the sterling silver wire is. Um, again, it encourages simple jewellery because, I mean, look at that jade donut there. Oh, I mean, beautiful. it's, you, you know, you, don't, you feel automatically that you want to keep it simple again. You want to keep yeah. the background um, techniques mm. and then just let the jade really take centre stage. Yeah, this, this piece here, I think, is probably my favourite. I love this kind of slight asymmetry you've got here as well. It's just... Stunning with these slightly smaller pieces as well. It's just gorgeous and beautiful bracelet. It's just gorgeous. Simple jewellery, but my word, it um as in it looks as in it looks simple, just you know, chain, wire, uh, these beautiful donuts, but it's just it's so um it's so uh uh it's, it's kind of a modern day. It, it, it's a classic, isn't it? It's iconic. This yeah, again, um, like uh, the lapis and that, this is an ancient, ancient gemstone. Yeah. Um, so I, as a jewelry maker, feel that I need that to be the most powerful part of the design. Yeah. Your eye goes to the gem. The texture you've got there as well is so nice. The texture of the chain next to the pure smoothness of the of the donut, then with the little addition, the flash of silver. So, so, so nice. It works together beautifully. Um, two kits, um, both absolutely incredible. We're going to start with this big one here. Now, um, you've got some brilliant things in this kit. You really genuinely do. You've got two loads of sterling silver wire. I'll be honest with you, I can't remember the last time I bought you a kit with sterling silver wire in. This is just the kind of thing which is constantly, constantly, constantly um, selling out. And the kind of thing, whenever we bring it to air, it just goes. So to be able to bring you two lots of sterling silver wire is absolutely brilliant. Um, you've got two different gauges here. You've got what looks like 0.4 and 0.8, is that right? I'm not sure, actually, because I didn't have a breakdown on it. 0.6, 0.4. 6, 4. Well, so, there you go, then. I mean, 0.4 is like literally chasing gold dust. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A 0.4, which is this spool here, where you're getting five metres of 0.4. And if you speak to any of our guest designers who use wire and you ask them, oh, what's your favourite wire for, for weaving, for kind of connecting things together, for rosary linking, for, oh, gosh, I don't know, for, um, uh, for, for kind of creating swirls and patterns and, and filigree work and definition, 0.4, that's it. And we, uh, as Linda kind of suggesting, we constantly sell out of a 0.4 millimetre gauge wire. It's absolutely, um, it's absolutely ridiculous. You've, there, you've then got your 0.6 millimetre gauge sterling silver wire as well, which is just the, the absolute icing on the cake. We don't do 0.6 very often at all. It's really nice to see that. Um, graphics are live. You've got over 10 grams of sterling silver in this kit because to go with the wire, you're also going to be getting this gorgeous toggle. I seem to be missing the actual mm. T-bar of the toggle, but you are going to be getting a T-bar as well. Uh, gorgeous sterling silver chain style toggle. Oh, have you got it there? Thanks, love. Now, what I love about this, if I just hold it like this, you can see... It, it's not just like a suggestion of a chain link. Can you see you've got the actual kind of holes in the ch in, in the chain link? It, 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 it's such been so beautifully made, this, hasn't it? Absolutely, and it's so um, such a great clasp to use with the Hego beads, isn't it? You yes. Know, the, um, it's just perfect. Yeah, it really, really is. Oh, King has found the T-bar for the toggle. Thanks, darling. Um, it, it's a really, really lovely clasp. If ever there was a clasp which really highlighted the lengths that we go to to bring you amazing quality clasps, um, this, this is most definitely it. Um, now, 
Let's have a look and see what else you're going to be getting in this kit. You can see there you're getting two smaller donuts. These are really lovely. And I have to say, what I love about these, you've got a green and a white jadeite donut here. They're 15 mil in size. What I like about them, um, they've got really lovely big drill holes going through them. Um, they're not as puffy as the ones we've got coming up next. Um, I kind of, we've seen a few more of those, I think. They're quite flat as well. So if you wanted to wear one in, in a ring, I think that would be absolutely yeah, perfect. perfect. Yeah. It's not going to sit too proud. It's quite flat, which is nice. You could make a great pair of cufflinks using uh, these as well. Beautiful flat coin. Uh, 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 sorry, I beg your pardon. Donuts of, of jadeite. And then you get the mothership. Mm -hmm. 216 carats of green, what can only be described really as spinach green jadeite. This is a humongous piece I mean, for me, that's of a specimen museum um, type piece of jadeite. It's got everything that you want from it. You know, those gorgeous different greens that are going through it. Um, it's a stunning, stunning piece. Do you know something? Um, uh, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday. She works at a, uh, a big house uh, near where I live called Compton Verney. Mm -hmm. And it's famous for having a really, really big collection. Well, lots of collections of lots of different things. One of the biggest collections they've got is a big collection of Chinese kind of artifacts, kind of ancient Chinese artifacts. And we were talking about buy symbols. And um, uh, it's one of the biggest collections of Chinese artifacts and um, the Chinese history outside of China. Um, so I definitely recommend a visit. It's, it's, it's absolutely fascinating. We were talking about these Chinese buy symbols yesterday, actually. And we were talking about kind of how, how many people are interested in them. And people travel from China to come and see this collection. And one of the exhibits which they're constantly looking at and crowding around is a symbol with a Chinese buy symbol. It has is, is, it is captivated the hearts and minds of Eastern culture for thousands of years, thousands and thousands of years. And it's all to do with the cyclical nature of, of, of heaven and earth, the connection between the two worlds, heaven and earth, or the two states of mind, conscious and subconscious, to do with living and, 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 and death and us kind of appreciating and remembering our ancestors. And you're getting it in a 216 carat piece of jadeite, the most prolific the most um uh the most you know the most special gemstone uh in eastern culture it's absolutely fantastic now i don't know if you've got any idea what price point we're going to today but for me this piece here this is a 200 pound piece right there that's gorgeous i mean look at the jewelry that linda's made it's so beautiful it's so simple it's so um it complements that Hegu symbol so beautifully. It's very a very sympathetic design. And it really, um, you know, you don't have to be uh, really kind of interested in Eastern culture for you to wear this. This is just a lovely gemstone to be able to wear on its own, isn't it? Oh, that looks really nice like that. It looks gorgeous like that. Um, uh, it's just a lovely gemstone just to wear mm -hmm. on its own. You don't have to be kind of in touch with your Zen side, do you? No, absolutely not. No, it's a double whammy, really, isn't it? But I think it might encourage, perhaps, um, you to research, I said earlier in the show, to research... Mm. Jade and jadeite mm. more, and then um, you know it's it's a real sort of learning curve, yes. um, and it puts you in touch with such incredible um, eras of history. Oh, ab absolutely! It really genuinely does. Um, if we're looking at this large Hegu symbol and we're thinking a couple of hundred pounds. Then you're looking at the donuts, the two smaller donuts, and you're thinking, oh, I don't know, the very, very least. 80 pounds for the two. And then you're looking at all of the sterling silver white. Did you say there's over 10 grams of sterling silver in this? Over 10 grams of sterling silver in this kit, which has got to be, you know, another kind of what, 30 odd pounds. You're going to be looking here at a price point of what, 250, 260 pounds? Nowhere near that today. Neary's saying, oh, brilliant. Okay. So I was kind of right. Okay. So the start price on this kit is 229 pounds, okay? So 229. Now, um, you've got here an amazing deal already, but what we're gonna do today, imagine getting 
10 grams of sterling silver and these two, these two donuts for free. All you are paying for is this Hegu symbol. That's all you're paying for. £129 on individual split payments of £64.50. Oh my gosh. Christine Maker, Hazel in Leicestershire, Karen in Five, Kent coming through. We're not done. We're not done. Put it in your basket. We're about to give you something absolutely amazing. Already at £129, that is an amazing price point. I mean, take away the Hegu for the 10 grams of sterling silver and for the two gorgeous donuts you're getting there. That's a brilliant price point just for that, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, sterling silver has been at an all-time high. Absolutely. In recent weeks, hasn't it? And then you're kind of almost doubling the price point by adding in this enormous Hegu, aren't you? You really genuinely are. Lots of people there. Just put it in your basket. You don't need to check out till you're happy with the price points. Barbara's there. Well done to you, my lovely bidder in Leicestershire. Fantastic. Well done to you. More makers coming through. Well done. Yeah, the Beijing Olympics, um, uh, the medals uh, were based on buy symbols. So you have the gold, the silver, and the bronze medals, uh, which were all based around the Chinese buy symbol. Uh, and just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. £129, not your deal. Patricia in Hampshire, blessing in Surrey. Can't believe we're doing this. I literally can't believe it, but it's yours today. Enjoy. This is a giveaway at 99.99. Oh my word. Yeah, you can get this kid home today for 49.99. Renee in Greater London, Suja in County Durham, well done to you. It's 99.99. It's a discount on the buy symbol, uh, sorry, on the Hegu alone. The 10 grams of silver you're getting, let's just say that's free. And then of course the two incredible donuts you're getting there are effectively for free. Jackie in Greater London, Alan in Bedfordshire, Maker in the West Midlands, well done to you. That's your deal today. It's a huge Huge saving. Well done. What an incredible opportunity. Tons in baskets. Oh, my word. Check out everybody. We don't have many of this kit. It's an incredibly uh, beautiful kit with so much potential. So much as well that you can add on to this. So maybe the jade from the last hour. Oh, maybe definitely. The, the, four, the four mil jades um, to go around the neckline with that large donut would just be absolutely amazing absolutely i mean you know if you create a piece of jewelry like that please get it valued oh my gosh yes and also i'm just looking at the tassel coming out the bottom there if you wanted to kind of suspend that hegu on on that chain as as linda's done oh, yes. but then instead uh, uh, kind of underneath have a tassel coming out the bottom maybe just with red red yeah, eslon cord or yeah. something yeah. Oh my gosh, that's going to look absolutely beautiful. Maker in the West Midlands has bought two. Goodness me, Patricia, Pauline, Maker, Jackie, Renee, Barbara, Christine, Maker, Hazel, Karen, you've all got this in your baskets. We've literally, um, uh, we, we, we've literally given you absolutely everything with this kit today and a huge saving as well. It's beautiful. And I can't imagine that this would, you know, any of this jewelry would have taken you hours and hours no, and hours not or at days all. and days and days no, to make I, um, I've had the kit for probably a week. Both of these kits were probably about a week. And um, I actually made all of this jewellery last night. Oh, God, is um, that's it? it? I was just sort of thinking on design for a few days uh -huh. and that, but then obviously came, came to the conclusion that simple again mm. and let the gemstone, you know, do the, um, the jewellery making part mm. of it. Mm. But... I see these kids also as being not just a kit to make your jewellery with, but also an opportunity because I would not, and I've been making jewellery for years, I mm. would not know where to go. There's nowhere I can think of the top of my head to go to to get that big oh, jewellery. Oh, absolutely. And to know that you're getting it in, in a genuine gemstone capacity, not fake, not synthetic. We've literally, I think we've got about eight chances for that kit left. Loads in baskets. Check out when you can. Well done. That is brilliant. One final kit. Uh, this one is beautiful. This one has got some really, really, really lovely components. Again, um, you've got two lots of your wire. Looks like it's the 0 0.6 and the 0.4 millimeter gauge again, which is great. So that's six meters of wire in total. Um, you're also going to be getting a sterling. 
excuse me, a sterling silver, a sterling silver magnetic clasp. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I, I like this. This isn't too big. Some of the magnetic clasps we do are absolutely gigantic. And although they're wonderful, they're a little bit heavy, especially when you get your kind of lighter gems or, or smaller gemstones or gemstones that you want to be the center of attraction, which is exactly what you've got here with these incredible jades. Now, have a little look at these. These are stunning. You've got here two of your green jade Donuts. Now, these are proper donuts. These are gorgeous. These could go directly onto a chain. You can feed them onto, um, uh, feed them onto a leather cord. Beautiful. You've got two of your gorgeous jade um, 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 uh, fei shui gray, uh, grade green jade, which basically means the best of the best of the best. That is very much like the four mil strand that we bought you in the it last is. hour, that yes, apple green. Is. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you get two lavender jade oh, donuts as well type a lavender jade 14 mil hegu symbols they are absolutely stunning um i love what you've made here linda this is so cute i love this necklace it's a little interchangeable one isn't it i suppose yeah it is actually i haven't used the um the clasp as a clasp i've used no. it as a sort of a tassel top Yes. Um, which you could create if you've got the four mil jade, you could create a tassel. I have this sort of asymmetrical and then use that as a, as a uh, tassel top. Yeah. Um, or obviously you can use it as it says on the can, um, as a, as a class. Yeah. Um, but this is an opportunity in creating, um, jewelry with a lot of sentiment, a lot of meaning. Oh yes. Um, which I can't think of any other, other than card craft and things like that, where you create the sentiments with your card toppers and things. I think mm -hmm. this is very much the same as that. It's, it's a, a gem sentiment with yes. such a lot of meaning. Hear, hear. That's, and it's, yeah. it's alive, with, Jada is alive with meaning and it just looks like it is as well. Yes, yes, it's you're like right. It's like it's living and breathing sentiment. Gorgeous, that's so beautifully put. We, we've got, um, if you bought everything separately in this kit, it would be £129. Yeah, so it'd be about £130 if you bought everything separately. So that's um, easily got over 10 grams of sterling silver here. You've got your t uh, four Hegu symbols, £129.99, which, let's face it, that is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? That's absolutely amazing. Individual split payments of 43 33 This is great to see. This is absolutely brilliant. It's a winning combination, yeah? OK. It's not your price today. Oh, Gee whiz, 30 second clock. Put this in your baskets, check out when you can. This is absolutely gorgeous. Use it with the sterling silver wire. Absolutely wonderful. But if you want to get these and literally just set them with um, a red S long cord and do a lark's head knot here and there, and you know, but wear that as a beautiful wish star bracelet, you, you go That's for it. That would be very um, Chinese, wouldn't it? With that Chinese emperor red. Yes. Absolutely. I, I, I think that'll be absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Price point coming in in eight seconds. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. 0800 644 Here we go. Taking this below £100 for you today. Well done. 10 grams of over 10 grams of sterling silver. Four of your Hagus all the way down. You're going to love this. Way below 100 Well done. Go, 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 go. 79 pounds 99 pence that's on a three-way split pay of 26.66 oh my gosh that's amazing that's on a three-way split payment of 26.66 that is amazing each one of these jades, yeah, it could be a central piece to a design couldn't it just, absolutely of course it could real it's real statements here. just literally down to creating a design that you want to create, but you've got mm. lots of opportunity within the design range. Yes. Yes, you absolutely do. Gloucestershire's, um, Essex, well done to you. Yeah, all the stunning silver's free. I mean, yeah, that's an absolute, yeah, it's a good point, that. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 655 Now, Linda, what are you going to make for us, lovely? Well, I'm going, the kit that you've just presented, that's yeah. the one I'm going to be working with. Nice, and lovely. And really, it, the techniques I'm going to be using, you can emulate with the large 
jade di di <sighs> donut as well. Yep. Now, as Carol said at the beginning of the presentation, you've got the centre drill hole, mm. um, very smoothly and finely created. There mm. isn't anything going through um, the depth of the jade then, so that's the hole that you need to um, think about when you're doing the mechanics. Now, there's lots of, there's lots of ways, uh, and the more you look at the jade, the more you will be inspired into using different techniques. But because we've got the silver wire, what I decided to do was I've cut from the four mil, I've cut two lengths of uh, about six inches. I don't know what that is in centimetres. What's about, what, six inches in centimetres? Uh, oh, 15 uh -huh. centimetres? I, no, I don't know. I don't do, I don't do metric very <coughs> easily. I can, I'm still in. Anyway, about mm. that length, okay? Put the two lengths together and just slightly warm them, right? That just makes the silver a little bit more malleable. Um, for you to use and bend and shape. So just literally the oils in your in your skin and the warmth from the skin yeah. will um, create the, um, a much more viable way of using them, a malleable way. And then just bend them again in half so that you have now got four parallel lengths. And what we're going to do is just going to pinch that little bend in um, because it's nice and warm, it's easy to manipulate. And then we're going to push it through the hegu bead. I never know how to pronounce that. Hegu. Hegu bead. Hegu. And then just separate the two loops, but keeping them, um, keeping those two pieces of wire in their separate lengths, but on top of one another, if you can see that. And then it's just creating a lark's head knot. Lovely. So we're just going to gently bring the four lengths of wire from behind and just... I, sh I needed to have cleaned my glasses this morning. I've got a oh. little bit of a, a s bit of a smidge on my glasses, which is stopping me seeing the lengths of wire going through you need to get all of those four legs yeah, through through if i sorry if you can't see that that's okay don't worry I'm lovely you're pushing it through but just catch it then mm. and then again gently gen gently see it won't break because sterling silver is very strong um but you don't want it manipulated too much that you get any bends in yeah, it that you kinks. can't yeah. um, get out so gently Bring that through and push the loop down and at the same time pull down um, on the residue of the length of wire. Mm -hmm. So if you pull that down Lovely. and then you've got, essentially, you've got your two loops um, sort of flowing uh, on the top Gorgeous. as um, a link. Yeah, lovely. So I'm just going to get my curved... Uh, my bent flat nose pliers and just push that down a little bit more. Uh -huh. um, the secret is to get the wire and also with plated wire to get your wire um, warm and then it will it will respond much better than if it was cold, uh -huh. much, much better. And then just push that end of that loop slightly down behind the jadeite. So now we've got yeah. these four lengths here and do my um, half a wrapped loop. Yeah. So about a centimetre down the pliers, just push those four. Imagine that that is just one, that those wires are just one and treat them like they are just one piece. Uh -huh. And then flick the wrist over and bring the plier to the top and then bring it back and then just push down on the wire to create um, that nice sort of question mark. <clears throat> uh -huh. shape and then take a length of now obviously the length of chain that you're going to take this is yeah. a full meter here um which i'm not going to cut just at the moment yet because you know you don't really know at this point how long you want this to be and then pop the residue of the wires through oops through the last link on the chain and let that drop into the question mark mm. okay 
and then pop your pliers back in sort of a little bit awkwardly upside down and pinch together and then the residue push it towards before you start to bend it push it towards the jadeite and then making sure that you've got let gravity help you out here yeah, by lovely. keeping that in there and then just create a couple of turns trying to make the wire um I don't know whether you can see, but the wire, trying to keep that wire a little bit sort of in line, parallel to one another, it will mm. then create a nice wrap. Because don't forget, it's a very lustrous, it's the most lustrous metal on the planet, and it will catch the light. And then just trim off the residue. You can, if you want, continue all the way around, obviously. But I'm just going to take off those few little bits, but I'm going to hang on to those because I use them in resin pieces. And then just push that down. We've got a metre of sterling silver brilliant. chain Absolutely on the screen, brilliant. actually, a metre of it. It's not exactly the same as the chain that you're using there, but it is a metre of sterling silver chain. No, the sterling silver will, will go absolutely perfectly with this because of the lustre and the yeah. translucency of the jade, the lustre on sterling silver. I mean, if I had any sterling silver chain at oh, home, which well, I we haven't, just never have any. Um, then I would have definitely used it, but yeah. I'd only just got this plated. So it just That's gives okay. the effect. Yeah. Um, but it will step up a lot. Right, so now we've got, that just needs to be trimmed off a little bit more, which you can obviously come back to at a later stage when you do your finishing touches. The first thing is to just get that in place. So now we've got our first... Hago bead annexed. So the next one is to, on the asymmetric design is to just work out where you want that length of chain around the neckline to be. And it's you can try it over the over your head and get it in exactly the right place if you want, but I'm gonna leave it at about there and then just cut a link, just a little uh, cut in the link of chain, and then if I just pull that link I've cut, I can slip it out and again, hang on to that. So now we've got exactly the same again. So I won't bore you with going through it again, but I'll just have to do it because to yeah. finish off the piece. So I'm now bending it into my loop and taking the smaller bead, mm -hmm. popping it through. And then the best thing to do, I've just had a light bulb moment, mm. is to use my mm -hmm. round nose pliers and just open that a little to give me more of a um, ah, tunnel. Well okay, we, we'll take it through. It always goes right at home and wrong on air, so um, you'll be fine. <laughs> so we're just going, we've got some air conditioning going on here today and that's cooling the wire down quite a lot. Mm. So I can't tell you how much um, it does make a much, big difference, doesn't it? It does, um, how much helpful. It's just warming the wire between... Um, between your fingers. Between your fingers. And it's the oils as well in your, in, in your skin mm -hmm. that then come off on the wire and the oils are warm as well. So again, now we've got our lark's head knot, which if you wanted to, like I've done on the original, is I've then separated there to form... Um, you see, when you... You just put your nail in and pull those two apart just to get a little bit more detail. It's just one because it really does need to be warmed mm -hmm. a little bit more. And then again, exactly the same again, using the residue of the wire, treating it as mm. one, bringing it back and then pulling that, smoothing it out. And then the other end of the chain, we're going to pop that on to actually we won't because what I need to do is to do exactly the same again um, so I've just got to cut myself two more lengths of about six inches of wire the sterling silver wire we just bought sorry the sterling silver chain we just bought to air by the way a meter of sterling silver chain for 11.99 that is brilliant brilliant it's absolutely and that's really figure of eight please chain. take it from me it. and when we have sterling silver chain here um, for me, irrelevant of the prices because you know you're always going to get great bargains at Jewelry Maker. Just snatch it up. We sold 196 of them last time they were on air. Just 
just to just you know, that just shows you how many people love these and want these and you know react to these it probably would have been a star buy obviously but um yeah amazing just get it yeah, definitely well do because i have none at home whatsoever mm. yes that's trust it. me i would have used it in this design so i've just done exactly the same again with the wire two lengths of wire bent together giving me a little loop at the end mm. and now i'm going to do exactly what i've just done before but missing that loop from the other one mm -hmm. and then um creating another one so we've got two anchor points Lovely. now on the hagu bead mm -hmm. and again giving that a pull always use your tools mm. rather than fingers when you've got something a little bit sort of fiddly yeah, is the only okay. way to yeah. explain it because your tools are just another um it just adds length and power mm. to um to your hand Absolutely. So just give that a bit of a pull there and then you these are the bent nose pliers there mm. have a look on the website um we um you can always tidy, you've got more time at home to sort of make this a lot more tidy. So I'm just here really to show technique and mechanics. Um, and then I would tidy this up mm. before anchor it into place onto the actual finished piece. So what I'm going to do now is just yeah. again is warm that wire and just try and get it as parallel as possible. Because as you can see, some are shorter than the others. Mm -hmm. And then taking my round nose pliers, which I've got generally tangled up in my wire, is again mm -hmm. take my round nose pliers and half the wrap loop again. Yeah. And then let's pop that onto the other, the it's mirror image, the other end of the chain. chain. Lovely. Thanks, Carol reading my thoughts when I can't find my words. <laughs> I don't think I've got that through. And then again, finishing that off to keep it in place by twisting it around. Mm -hmm. Just keep twisting. This is a little bit messy. I would not put this on air, um, but it's just the technique, yeah, exactly. as I said. Yeah, exactly, get the idea, yeah, definitely. Exactly. So then keep that nice and tidy. So we've now got that anchored mm. onto the one side of the hego, hego bead mm -hmm. and that's just irritating me so i've got to just get rid trim that off don't throw away please don't throw away your bits of stuff no oh my gosh, because, definitely don't do that you know if you do polymer clay or if you do uh, and also solders etc Right, now all I'm going to do now is do exactly the same again, which is the half wrap loop on mm -hmm. the other side. And then bringing round the chain oh. is just go one, two, three, about four links up. Yeah. And take the wire mm. through that fourth up from the previous Hago bead. Yeah. And then just repeat. That's then, awesome. And this is the same technique, whether I've had to do it on one side of the bead or on both sides of the beads. It's the same technique that I've used on the large um, jadeite donut or on the other necklace with the other kit with the Hago beads in. So again, trim off. And then you have an over the neck. Um, See that I, I need to make. I, I will finish that off over the head after necklace. the show. But you've just got an over-the-head necklace then, with um, with just just that little bit of powerful jade yeah. detail on it, which so is nice. all it actually needs. But trust me, that that necklace will look so much finer and so much more professional and so much more it belongs in bond street mm. or wherever mm. if it's done in that silver chain yes really Gorgeous. trust me on that it will that's stunning thank you so much that's a pleasure gorgeous right star is coming up now here's something else you can put with both of these kits this is gorgeous The most amazing strands here. We've got a little showcase. Just have a little look. Oh, my word. Whoa. Boom. Oh, boom, my word. Boom. 
That's beautiful. That's like Imperial Jade. It, it? Do you know it is, isn't it? It's Four beautiful. strands, different sizes, same shape, put them together, you've got yourself a graduated necklace. I mean, wow. Graduated jewellery, yes. Everything you need for the Marla there, isn't it? Oh, one, sizes. 100%. Um, something about round jades, I think. I think they, they have always been very, very... Uh, popular they've you know you see them quite often cropping up in uh, auction houses across the across the world across the globe you see them on websites like first dibs which is a fantastic website where they've got lots of beautiful pre-loved antique jewelry um this is lovely new grade a jadeite jade 12 to 13 perfect beads link man and woman lucky bracelet expensive right okay lots of keywords in there uh, 3,286 pounds, 19 pence and 466 delivery. Nice color. Yeah, I prefer, I prefer the, oh, I prefer this with the, with the various greens. Me too. It, definitely with the texture. Me too. It looks real, doesn't it? It does I think look real, yeah. It's almost like the jade that we've just seen in the, in that image is almost like an aventurine almost. It's kind of got a... A different kind of quality to it. Uh, oh, this is from First Dibs, isn't it? Yeah, bright apple green jadeite jade necklace, certified and treated, four thousand six hundred and nine wow. pence. I reckon that's a closer kind of match to what we've got here. Obviously, you've got a graduated one here. Obviously, uh, that's a very very long necklace. That's an incredible piece of jewellery. You can see actually on the photographs on the left hand side, it's a very 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 long piece of but jewellery. But you can make that with these strands without a doubt. Precisely. Can I make you a promise as well? The combined, of course I'll keep it, the combined price point for all four of these strands is not going to be 4,609 pence. And that apparently is 20% off. Wow. Goodness me. Taipei Burmese Jade 12 millimeter rounds. I can probably count on one hand the amount of times I've bought you 12 mil rounds of jade. This is amazing. You've got that lovely smoke grey. Yeah, or what's it called? Lavender. It's called burnt chicken skin, isn't it? That, that, that kind of, uh, kind of charcoal-y quality there. Gosh, I'd be horrified if uh, my chicken skin was that colour. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It's what yeah. it's called. It, 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 I, I don't know whether something gets lost in translation. I don't know. You get mutton fat. Do, you yeah. get, I think um, it does get lost in translation. I think it must do, yeah. yeah. Um, the price point you've got here, absolutely superb, gorgeous quality, all the way down, 450 carats in total. Wow. 199 pounds. Oh my goodness me. 199 for 12 more rounds. And on the strand, by the way, just look at this. You're going to be getting approximately two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32 on the strand. That's absolutely superb, isn't it? We're not done today, all the way down, taking over. I can't believe we're doing this, but this is a ridiculous price. 99.99 that is obscene for 12 millimeter rounds of your genuine natural type a burmese jade amazing oh and we're still not done put this in your basket do it now put this in your basket now do it now you've got 12 mil rounds of your multicolor jade rounds these are incredible quality pieces we've got the other sizes coming up as well which is just incredible they're cut from the same kind of um uh, kind of quality aren't they they've got that incredible kind of consistency of tone going all the way through there price point coming in in four seconds i can't believe we're under 100 pounds already for your type a burmese jade but we're going to go even lower you today look at that look at that split payment of 33 33 it's about to go down about to go lower 79.99 no idea how we can do that individual split payments of 26 66 i honestly have not a clue about how we can possibly do a deal like this for your type a 12 mil rounds of Burmese jade. That is absolutely incredible. Eight, seven chances remaining. That is it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Moving on. Right. 10 mils. Okay. 
Eight mils. Woo! Here we go, eight mils, these are beautiful. Now this, I, you know, the 12 mils for me might be a little bit too big for an entire necklace. You know, great for markers and gurus. This though, as a necklace, absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. I mean, if you bought the uh, um, the previous kits, I mm. mean, the small uh, Hagu beads just as little spaces, perhaps either Ooh. side symmetrically or asymmetrically, with the same technique, you yes, know, um, would look incredibly decorative, wouldn't it? Yes. I mean, that's the thing about jade; it is decorative. Yes. At this level. Yes, absolutely. Of the textures of it. I really like that idea because, of course, you have the lavenders and the apple greens and those mm -hmm. gorgeous hagus. I would absolutely uh, take Linda's advice and do that. I think that would be brilliant. Already under a hundred pounds, nowhere near our price point today. Well done, lots of you there. 27 seconds and we're taking the price point down even though we're going to give everybody the same opportunity which is why we bring you these kind of 30 and 60 second clocks because we don't want to um uh, kind of um uh, we don't want to uh, cut anybody out we want everybody to have that same opportunity 29 opportunities remaining in the building that is it well done for 220 carats of your taipei burmese jade absolutely gorgeous here we go price point coming in in three in two in one this is way too low look at those split payments of 49.99 that's amazing isn't it and your price today 49 pounds wow wow type a not type b not dyed not polymer filled not impregnated with anything not acid treated or you know anything like that you are getting completely and utterly natural burmese multicolor jade eight mil rounds these are just incredible well done everybody go 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 superb for under 50 pounds well done check out your baskets well done everyone go 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 um we've got some gorgeous pearls coming up as well which will uh, which we'll move on to in just a couple of seconds as well. So just add these onto your order. Go as, as quickly as you can. Beautiful. Now we've got Skull Sight coming up as your deal of the day. Very, very, very excited about this incredible gem sun. I'm just going to show you very quickly a necklace we've got made out of this. I love this. Love the colour. Love the patinations. It's an awesome gem. Oh my gosh, it's like an oil painting. I love it. Isn't it beautiful? It's coming up at uh, 10 o'clock. So after our break, it, it, it's absolutely wonderful. Well done. Right, which one are we doing now, Neary? Okay, let's very quickly do these six mils. Very, very popular size. Look, you're getting all sorts of different colors in here. You're getting the greens, you're getting the whites. Beautiful kind of um, uh, patinations going through these. It's just a feast for the eyes. This is, uh, the quality of this is almost incomparable to what we uh, originally saw. This is full of that incredible color. Yours today, well done everybody. Go, go, go. 100 carats of Taipei Burmese uh, jade rounds. Six mil inside, love that deep dark tone you're getting running through here. Okay, all the way down, 79.99 for you today, well done. This is incredible, 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 incredible already. Beautiful. Great size, this is a six mil rounds yeah, are perfect I mean, size you know, for so much. In, I mean, in deference to the jade, uh, I mean I'm gonna go on the most mm. on, on the most simplistic way mm. of making these into jewellery would be stretches. Oh, absolutely, because Linda. Jade of this nature looks absolutely superb as, as a stretchy because of yes. its variance in colours and textures. Um, and you can have one of the little, um, yeah, with the... Use your magnetic clasp yeah. if you don't want to make a stretchy, if you want to exactly. kind of incorporate it with exactly. some precious metal, that would be really lovely. But I agree with you. There's you know, something stretches. about Jay, though, as a stretchy, well, let's face it, as a bracelet, you mm. can admire it yourself. Exactly, yourself. that's a good point, yeah. $29.99, oh my word, what have you done? Oh my gosh, $29.99, that's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what's just happened there. Gee whiz, um, star by coming up now, time for some papaya Baroque pearls. These are gorgeous. <laughs> Ah. Wow. Ah. 
I think this is the right strand. Um, this is... Oh, my word. I Ooh. love the decadence of these. Understated decadence, I should add. That is absolutely... Are breathtaking. <laughs> they really are, aren't they? They are absolutely incredible. That wow. is colour like nothing else. It's like satin sheets. It's, mm. it's not apricot, it's not, it's not peach, it's papaya coloured pearl. So that pinky, corally, orange kind of qualities. Goodness me, the quality on these is absolutely exceptional. No, I mean, this pearl just makes makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. It re they really do. I mean, gosh, look how bright they are. They're magnificent, aren't they? They really are, Linda. They are illuminating my hand. Illuminate it. They're like, it's like a strand of light bulbs. They are absolutely, the reflectiveness of them, the... They are lit from within. They are mm. exceptional. You have got here what can only be... I mean, these are literally the best of the best of the best. Uh, to find pearls like this any better than this is nigh on impossible. No, they're the, they're the elite, aren't they? Yes. Definitely unique and elite. And, and, it's, and it's everything. It's, it's everything that you look for in a pearl. It's the size, it's yeah. the shape, it's the, it's the nacre, it's the orient, it's, it's, it's everything. And then it's just got this veil of something which, is, which makes these so, uh, so unbelievably, I mean, you, these scream for your attention, don't they? Definitely. Definitely. Now, when we first played this strand of papayas, this is what Dave Troth had to say about this. He's going to be joining us later on today, actually. Uh, talking to our supplier, it says, uh, to replace pearls like this in the current climate isn't impossible, but it's very expensive. Strands of this grade are likely to retail for around 10,000 US dollars today. Uh, next year, you could be looking at double that with the way the farms have been affected. And this is by the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, these uh, pearl farms, the pearls, the oysters were literally just kind of left uh, and there was no one to tend to them. So it means that a lot of the pearls were either spoiled or the mollusks, or, or the mollusks got rid of the pearls. Uh, so we've had to really start again. There aren't any more strands right now in the world as it's more valuable to sell these as singles on this, uh, mm. sorry, at this size. That's a really valid point. Uh, we won't be able to offer anything like this for maybe five years. And even then, it wouldn't be financially viable. So basically, because there is a real shortage of pearls like this because of the COVID-19 pandemic, you know, the knock-on effect of that, it means that it's much more financially viable for our, for, for our pearl and uh, suppliers to sell them as individuals. Two of them in this gorgeous pair of Sophie Billy earrings um, uh, 900 pounds. I mean, they're very big. They're very beautiful. They've got gorgeous uh, kind of other pearls there with your 18 karat gold. Can you imagine being given a kit like that, Linda? I mean, that's just like the dream, isn't oh, it? Oh, it would be for me, without a shadow of a doubt, it would be the, the dream. dream. Um, Single figure oh. quantity of these. Now, Linda, what have I... Uh, it, it, I become a little bit pearl blind when I get strands like this. And I think it's a shame because... You're looking at this whole strand, you're thinking, my gosh, it's, it, 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 it's almost overwhelmingly yeah. beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And you try and focus on each one of these pearls as an individual. When you start to do that, you start to go, goodness me, look at the hot pinks. Goodness yeah. me, look at this. I mean, initially, what I would do is, because as Carol's quite rightly Amazing. said, you just become bamboozled by yes. that strand. It blows oh, you away. Yes. You become overawed, overwhelmed by it. So... Take them off that temporary strand. Yeah, you've got to. And lay them out. And then you'll see immediately what you want to do with them, whether you want to match a couple up as an earring drop, whether you want to have a few of them as, you know, with that silver chain. Yes, lovely. Just, been on, uh, just as a pearl drop. Because that is uh, one of the most 
traditional ways of wearing pearls like this is a single drop yeah. on a chain. I think um, when they're such beautiful, individual, organic, unique pieces, you've, you know, you've got to appreciate the beauty and majesty of each one of these on its own. You know, if you've got perfect round pearls, then the beauty of perfect round pearls is when you see them next to the other perfect mm. round pearls, they all look the same. And that in itself is, an, is a marvel. It's incredible. But if you want to wear Baroque pearls at, the, at, the, at their very best, if you want to show them off at their very best, in my opinion, Linda's opinion, wear them as individual I mean, pieces. The thing is, if you um, were able to go to a wow. jeweler's and mm. see a single pearl oh on, um, on a, a sterling chain or, mm. or a gold chain, whatever, then, um, you know, they may have several of that particular piece of jewellery and mm. you'd want to see them all to choose your pearl, wouldn't you? Absolutely. Because they are diverse. We've so. had, we've had um, interesting uh, conversations with, with, with pearl suppliers, with kind of relatively new pearl suppliers to us. And this is a, conversa a WhatsApp um, a conversation between this gentleman, uh, Salim and, um, and Dave. Great to meet you. Oh, yeah, there's a gorgeous shipment of pearls there, kind of an offering of pearls. Same here. Uh, this lot has sold uh, to my friend. Sorry, uh, such a shame. If you ever find any more, please let me know. And, and you're looking at $4,000 per strand for selection or 2500 per strand for the entire lot. So basically, you know, there are two different prices. You know, if you want to select the strands that you get, you need to pay four grand per strand. Um, you know, when we, when we start our auction at this price here, this really makes no sense. So if we bought the entire lot, which we would do, um, our cost price on each strand would be two and a half thousand pounds. So what would we have to sell this for? You know, upwards of three, four thousand, you know, it would, it would be, it would be, one of them, it would be the most considered purchase on Jewelry Maker. We're at 999. Karen in Fife, well done. Maker in the Ronda, well done. Of course, this is a single figure opportunity for you today. One minute clock, not your price. I cannot believe we've got this. I mean, every time I'm looking at this, I'm seeing different colors. This one here is throwing out the most amazing hot pinks. I mean, this is, um, a a one-off opportunity in some yeah. respects, really, because I don't know, other than with our supplier, mm. where we would go to find a replica of a strand like this. Oh, again. yeah. And, and also, we have to build, you know, this extreme trust in a supplier yeah. to supply us with exactly what you guys want. Yeah. Um, yes, and yeah. if I was at the other side of the screen and this is the pearl, I covet Yes, exactly. That's exactly it. Your price point is coming in in literally 12 seconds. We're not going to be able to replace this. And as, and as, and as Dave quite rightly said, you know, and um, 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 we showed that slide a few moments ago, for another uh, potentially five years. You know, and that's not only just down to, um, it's down to logistics, it's down to obviously yes. COVID. It's down to the fact that they've lost a lot of pearl farms, yes. let alone the farmers. Um, but it's also down to Mother Nature, oh who is, gosh. you know, we, we can't sort of go direct to her and, and um, order. We have to wait. But the big thing is it's supply and demand. Absolutely. Is really seriously affecting pearls like this. As it now. said, as it said on that slide. China and the East are keeping them all for their own Precisely. domestic Precisely. And, it's, and, and, and as it said on that slide that we showed you, it's not necessarily to do with the lack of, you know, you know there are few, far, 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 far fewer of these pearls now, but it's all to do as well with the, with the cost of how much it would cost us to source these. Um, yeah, six chances left, Margaret, maker in Gloucestershire, another maker, maker there as well. Well done to you, Gloucestershire's there. Well done to you. Um, 
you know, if I, you know, if, if you're happy to pay upwards of three to four thousand pounds for a strand of pearls, we can potentially bring some more to you like this. But as it stands at the minute, you know, we're not going to be able to do this. And, 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 you know, these incredible, these incredible pearls that we've got here, we would have almost definitely sourced kind of either during the pandemic when we had the pick of the bunch, because, of course, nobody was buying. There were no big gem shows and we were in a lucky position where we were still buying. We either bought it then or we bought it pre or a pre pandemic. Now, oh, you can kiss goodbye to deals like that. This is, this is the end of an era on Jewelry Maker. And let me tell you, uh, you know, we will be able to source these if you, uh, Lancashire, check out my lovely. If you want, if you're happy to pay upwards of three to 4,000 pounds for a strand of pearls, I may be able to get some for you. Uh, but as it stands at the minute, at these kind of prices, not a chance. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we've got over a dozen people with these in baskets for the final four. You've got to check out. There's a load of you there. Well done. It could go to County Durham. We've got you there. Well done to you. Could go to Jackie. Well done to you in Manchester. Oh, my word. Three chances remaining. That is all we've got. Yours today for two, four, nine. Amazing. Three opportunities remaining. Right. Do not move a muscle. You're about to see a gemstone we have had on Jewelry Maker once. It's an incredible gemstone. It's a very, very unusual, very rare gemstone. We've had it once back in July. We've got it again now. This is your chance to get the incredible gem that is Skull Sight. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. We're going. We're going. But we're going. We're, we're all going. going. To the Creative Craft Show at the Birmingham NEC from Thursday the 3rd to Sunday the 6th of November. We'll be bringing goodie bags, a tombola and a chance for you to meet your favourite guests and presenters across all channels. Not to mention the opportunity to shop and to be inspired by some of the best crafting brands around. And because we're going, you can get discounted tickets of up to 40% by using the code BIRMINGHAM40. And logging on to creativecraftshow.co.uk. So, come and meet the family. Between the 3rd and 6th of November at the Birmingham NEC. At the Creative Craft Show. See you there. Interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. 
Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Oh my gosh, I, this is this is absolutely tremendous. There's so much colour here. I love it. Um, this is a really exciting deal of the day gemstone that we've got for you today. Uh, we've had this gemstone into my knowledge. We may have had a strand actually about two years ago, one strand. Um, but this gemstone was properly launched back uh, kind of towards the end of uh, July this year with lovely Zena and... Um, yeah, and uh, and uh, Debbie Kershaw. Just to let you know as well, the pearls that we played just before the break, we've organised split payments for them. Um, I, I did look at them and I thought, well, why is there a split payment? But we have organised split payments. So a boiler, Lancashire, Maker, Gloucestershire. Looks like another one or two have gone, actually. So um, if you do want to add them onto your um, uh, order, please do. We've organised split payments for you. Just speak to our call centre team and we'll get split payments organised for you. Um, so this incredible gemstone, we launched back uh, properly in um, in. Oh gosh, I love these recordings. Back in uh, July, it it was very very popular when we launched it. I think it was just that right kind of time. It was kind of Christmas in July that we launched it, and to me, it just seems like the right time to bring this gem to you. Just look at all of these colours. It is. You're absolutely right, Neri. Happiness in a strand. It's so cool. All of those patinations, that journey, that story you're seeing there, it's just, it is invigorating. It's got texture. It's got the most amazing definition. It's got a crystal structure like almost nothing else on earth. It's super, super, super cool. This is skull sight. It's an amazing stone. If you were joining us, if you joined us during the show uh, back in July, you'll be kind of maybe aware about what this gemstone is, how it forms, what it looks like, because it is a completely bonkers gemstone. Um, and Linda, you were saying not a gemstone you've worked with, but a gemstone that you've you've heard of. Oh, yeah, definitely heard of it. Yeah, when you're looking through, you know, uh, gem uh, books and that, you'll, mm. you'll come across this gemstone. But for me, it's a very wearable Jim. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. We've got a, we've got a different varieties of it. And what I mean by that is we've got dyed varieties and we've also got the natural varieties as well. Um, I, I love them all. I, I think that they're all brilliant. Um, have a look at this. We've got some slides for you um, about this incredible gem. This is how this incredible gemstone forms. You've got these beautiful kind of rod, shard, uh, like inclusions, uh, kind of crystalline structure, which all interlink, which all kind of go um, against each other. They, they juxtapose. Um, it's almost like straw-like inclusions you've got going through uh, the gemstone here. It's absolutely superb. The next slide goes into a bit of detail about what the stone is. Oh, look at this. It's so cool. Scola, um, Scolocyte's unique structure has made it a firm favourite among geologists. Obviously, I mean, it's such a wicked looking gem, isn't it? It forms in clusters of stunning, sharp, prismatic, needle-like points, which often radiate outwards or alternatively crisscross with each other to form sculptures that are truly a natural art form. There's no other crystal in the world that, scare, uh, uh, sorry, that shares... Skull sites, um, exact formation, making it highly distinctive and dramatically unique. Now you can see there, it's got these crazy inclusions. It, I mean, it's absolutely, it's almost like one of those fiber optic lamps, isn't it? Where all the light goes through it. And do you remember those from the 1990s? Well, they're absolutely gorgeous. It's got that kind of look to it, hasn't it? Next slide. So, um, hey, oh, this is beautiful. This is what I love. Uh, when sanded and polished into a gem form, the streaks of these needles remain visible. If the stone was to be cracked in half, they would reappear. That's to say, even a smooth um, skull site stone is not solid inside. Um, uh, when the needles are exposed to heat, they twist and they curl up, which is where the name of this stone comes from. Uh, Skolex means worm in Greek. How cool is that? Now, 
the natural ones that we've got here, and I just want to show you, I mean, that, that's a beautiful handful of skull sight that she's got there. But just look at the ones that we've got here. Look at the natural ones. And I'm going to show you the dye ones as well. They're just, oh, that is so cool. I absolutely love that. I love how uh, genuinely kind of shabby chic that looks. I love the whites. I love the creamy colors in there. I love those peaches. It's like a cross between shell and a stone. It's got... I mean, that is a beautiful home decor interior design kind of uh, kind of palette, isn't it, uh, Linda? It is, absolutely. It's almost like a, um, you know, um, an alcoholic pour. Yes, 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 yes. And you just let it, do, and there's nothing more beautiful than letting something, wow. particularly like a gemstone, let, you know, it just does its own thing and yeah. it forms to something so beautiful and again going back to something so interesting and listening to you talking about it then you know it just sort of absorbs the brain it does doesn't it because it's just so it's a miracle it, isn't it it's it is a miracle it's so different look at this one up here i mean, I mean any of them whether they're the dyed ones or the natural ones this one up here you've got the most amazing kind of physical layers inside the gemstone here can you see that it, oh, look at that. It's so cool. This one here has got the most beautiful kind of spots. When you turn it over, you can see, look at all kind of juxtapo uh, juxtaposed. It's absolutely beautiful. The contour, this one here is a beauty as well. If you turn that over, it's got the most amazing um, inclusions going through. And you can sense the direction, the, the kind of the incredible intensity of the stone. Um, skull site is mainly uh, found in India, although there are deposits of skull site in Iceland. Wow. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Most skull site crystals are white or clear, but the presence of trace minerals within the crystal matrix can also turn them pink, red, or green. Now we've got, we've got, um, we've got, uh, uh, a, uh, we've got dyed versions of this, which is absolutely brilliant, which I'll come to in a second. Have a little look at this. This is from Hazel in Leicestershire. Now it says I have these in blue, uh, and I made pendants, and I made pendants for my sister and my niece, and both said wow at the same time when they saw them. Now do you know what? This is really really interesting. When we, when it comes to the and this is supposed properties. I don't want to get bogged down with kind of oh look at that. Doesn't that look gorgeous? I don't want to get bogged down with kind of going into the myth and legend of gemstones too much because it is all kind of myth and legend. It's not necessarily factual. There aren't many gemstones out there which we can say this will do this. Certain gemstones you can. This is supposed. You know this is myth and legend. But I think this is fascinating. And some, so, well, um, uh, so do you remember um, uh, gorgeous Hannah Stewart who presented on uh, Jewelry Maker for years? When she was first, when she held this gemstone for the first time, I remember her saying, this has got, su this has had such an effect on me. And ever since then, she's worn this gemstone in pendants, in rings, and it's an incredible gem. And it's interesting what you say, Hazel, because look at this slide here. This is only supposed, but I think this is fascinating. Skull site is referred to as a gem of deep inner peace. Skull site is a powerful rebalancing stone, especially for people who've spent a large amount of time in a high energy, stressful environment, making it the perfect stone for anyone looking to unwind, especially after a long day. This is a very comforting feeling for those who believe in crystal healing. I don't know, you know, if, you're, if you've had a stressful day either at work or you've had a stressful day, you know, running around doing whatever it might be or a stressful day with the kids or the grandkids, whatever it might be, it's suggested this incredible gemstone is a gemstone of deep inner peace. I think that message you sent in, Hazel, is absolutely f fascinating. And I'd be very interested to find out if your, if your niece and your sister are, are kind of interested in crystal healing because I, I, I think... I just think it's fascinating. It's wonderful. Now, we've got a whole array for you today. We've got um, natural ones. We've got dyed ones. We've even got a multicolored strand. Have a look through this and just kind of cut, kind of feast your eyes on these. I mean, look at these beautiful green ones here. Love that. Radiating out those incredible, almost like iron filings being attracted to a certain part of a magnet, isn't it? The, the kind of the spray, the movement of kind of tone you're getting here. It's interesting, certain gemstones, when you dye them, they get certain, um, uh, certain areas of the gemstone will be attracted, sorry, certain, uh, 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 the dye will be attracted to certain areas of the gemstone more than others. 
And it's interesting that with this gemstone, because of its unusual crystalline structure, when you do dye it, it just, it becomes something really quite magical, quite beautiful, totally unique. Little bit like um, charite, little bit like seraphonite, little bit like, um, uh, you know, gemstones, which have got the most amazing kind of amount of, of, of kind of myth and legend attributed to them. Starting off with this strand here, I'm wearing a necklace which our in-house designers have made. I love this gem. These are just gorgeous. Yeah, the triangles of soda light we bought you this morning went absolutely crazy. Here are your triangles of skull sight. Now we put them on pre-order. All the skull sight has been on pre-order. Started with 112 of these. How many do we have left? Go on. Oh my gosh, is that it? 29 chances left. Oh my word, that's absolutely amazing. This is a tremendous stone. Oh, look at that recording. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? So you're going to be getting here the most amazing gem, the most amazing quality. And um, even when you get it in a dyed quality like you've got here, you've got such interest, such beautiful patination. On the strand, approximately 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 on the strand, 28 chances remaining now. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? I do actually have as well um, a, a skull site that we have sacrificed for the purposes of today's show. Because I just want to show you. So if I do this and it's well worth it, it is well worth it, little skull site. Don't worry. So if I show you this. Beautiful. Okay. If I just do this, yeah, don't do this at home for goodness sake. But if you do break it in half, look at that. Isn't that the most incredible thing? Seeing the internal needle-like inclusions. You can see the bars. You can see how this has grown. You can see the creation of this incredible stone within it. It's absolutely fascinating, isn't it? Now, of course, with a gemstone like this, which we've had, I think, one strand of uh, about kind of two, three years ago, and a gemstone which was only properly launched back in July. We've only just got it in. It literally arrived in the building. I, th I think it was Friday it arrived in the building. That is it. Um, what kind of price point would you expect to see? Would you expect to see under 100? Would you expect to see under, I don't know, 50 pounds? What would you expect to see? How about this we're going to do something really exciting for you do something really phenomenal we're going to give you um, there's i mean there's a lot of people there already this is great to see well done check out your baskets as soon as you can look at your start price how about we start off under 50 pounds oh my word 49.99 and yeah, it is like your spectralite. Uh, you know, we just haven't seen it. It's like so um, uh, many of the gemstones, a bit like the gorgeous papaya pearls. You know, we just cannot get those anymore. But like grandidiorite, the mine has closed. You know, we've got gemstones which are incredibly difficult to get a hold of. And this gemstone here, we've had it kind of twice in the last 12 years. That's it. Claire, well done to you as well. You're literally, um, uh, you are literally getting a gemstone which uh, hardly anybody else will own, hardly anybody else will have. It's absolutely incredible. And I love the energy, the quality, the patinations, the character. 25 opportunities remaining here. We go, everybody. Price point coming in in three, two, one. All the way down, you're going to love this. Absolutely amazing. Love the shape, love the size, love the quality. $29.99, an amazing price point as well. And you've got so many on this strand to work with as well. So many on this strand, different sizes to make earrings, necklaces, bracelets, cufflinks. Triangular shaped gemstones are really making a big comeback to jewelry maker as well. It's such a modern shape to work with. Um, and just and just such a uh, a wonderful gemstone to put it in as well. Um, absolutely gorgeous quality. Twenty two chances remaining. Okay, we've got another clock. We're not done. Deal of the day. First strand. Twenty chances remaining. More people coming through. This is great to see. Well done, everybody. 
Here we go, all the way down. I love this colour. I love this positivity. So many colours and qualities um, uh, coming up in this incredible little showcase. Go for it. Add it to your order. <clears throat> your price point coming in in eight seconds time. Oh, my word. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely jam-packed full of energy. Yours today. This is your price point. Go, go, go. Pick your shape, pick your colour, pick your size. We've got them all coming up. Here we go. $19.99. They are all on pre-order for you today. Isn't that amazing? For a gemstone that we bought you twice in, what, 12 years? Over 12, almost 12 and a half years. It's amazing. Well done. Bidders coming through from all over the country. Well done, everybody. Absolutely incredible. And multi-bidders as well. Great size to use for so many different pieces. Nice you're getting the different sizes of triangles, isn't it, Linda? Absolutely. And you can you can choose the way you want to dress that piece of jewellery. You can have the triangles with the points at the top um, attached to, say, a chain. Yeah. Um, you can thread them as Carol's necklace made by the Inhabitants. Yes. Designers. You can thread them. So there's lots of different ways to present that piece of jewellery. But what I love about these dyed ones is it just um, the dye is creating on the surface, the inner personality of the gemstone mm. with those shards, those crystal shards that Ooh, are yes. fascinating. So you can see the integrity of, of the gem. That's a great, that's a great thought actually, isn't it? That's a really, really great um, uh, kind of way of looking at a gemstone, isn't it? You really do become transfixed, don't you, with the, with the integrity of the gemstone here, with the quality. You can see the ones on the recording there are slightly different. They're slightly darker, aren't they? Linda, Maker, Mary, Cheryl. Oh gosh, there's so many in baskets. Claire, you've got too many baskets, my lovely. Check out when you can. Go, 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 go. Under 20 pounds, literally down to almost single figures. Barry, well done to you as well. Oh my word, go, go, go. Absolutely. Oh, nine chances remaining. Well done now. This is so great. And if you do want to multi-buy, just speak to your call center, speak to the call center team or just alter the quantity you check out in your baskets on our website or on our app. Uh, well done to everybody. Go, 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 go. Well done. Super. Right. OK. Next strand. Let's do let's do the pink ovals next. Oh, these are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, these are going to be really, really popular. I believe we might have Already had a couple of a, a, a couple of these going. Oh, look at this! It is like tie dye, isn't it? Tie dye has made a really huge kind of resurgence over the last over the last couple of years. You know, people doing tie dyeing at home. You know, my kids love doing tie dyeing now, and it's it's so much fun, isn't it? And and what comes out is something truly gorgeous, truly organic. And um, these are bright, and you know, together they're really really bright. If you wanted to kind of make it a little bit more subtle, space them out with other gemstones. Space them out with kind of lighter colour gems, or even your amethysts. Um, this is just so gorgeous and vibrant, isn't it? If you're having a day where you're feeling a little bit, uh, a little bit under the weather or a little bit washed out or a little bit tired, put this gemstone on, you're literally going to feel on top of the world or you'll look a lot better anyway, won't you? That is gorgeous. What a gorgeous colour, like a magenta, isn't it? It's a Ooh. little raspberry ripple ice cream, isn't yes. it? Yes! It is, isn't it? But what's so cool, Linda, is that the dyeing process, you're not yeah, exactly. missing out on any of these inclusions. You're still seeing all these needle-like inclusions. You're In fact, seeing. they're more highlighted, aren't they? Yeah, you know, absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with, with a dyed gemstone in any way, shape oh. or form, because in my book, jewellery is an accessory. Yes. So, you know, Good I point. mean, it's horses for courses. If you are a purist and you want your natural look, we've got them. Mm. Um, if you want something that's a little bit more um, dressy, I, I, I suppose yeah. I should say, um, or your favourite colour even, mm. um, then go for them and don't worry about it because all it, jewellery is an accessory, whether it's a fine diamond or, or whether it's a piece of glass, it is to accessorise yes. your outfit. Yeah, it's a great way of thinking about it. You know, jewellery, jewellery is there to accessorise uh, you and to kind of give you that oomph sometimes or to make you feel a certain way uh, or to completely reinvent an outfit just literally by changing your jewellery. It's so awesome. 49 99 that's where we're starting. Not your 
a deal today. No way near your price today. You know it. I love the fact these are graduated as well. Slightly graduated in size, 10 to 7 to 16 by 12. So, of course, you've got gemstones, which are going to be more suitable for earrings, rings, as a ring. Now, these would be incredible in rings as single pieces. But I love that tie-dye thinking. You know, I, I, I would love to wear these. That is such a cool, cool gemstone. You know, if, you've, if, you've, if you're an old hippie, this is absolutely perfect. But also, it's bang on trend as well. Silver gold, rose gold, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Or even gunmetal might look good with this as well. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Well done. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Well done, everyone. I love that colour. Now, other colours that we've got coming up, which I think this will go with, you know, the green, most definitely. What about, what about the beautiful blues? I mean, this is filling the gap yes. for me that's been left by not being able to um, find any imperial jaspers. Mm. Um, you know, this is... I mean, that, that blue one there... Yes. Um, immediately, I see that going with the uh, sodalite. Oh, gosh, oh, yes. The sodalite the triangles beginning. we had earlier yeah. on. They were amazing, weren't they? Maker, Janet's got two. Well done to you as well, my lovelies. More people coming through on the phone lines there. This is absolutely brilliant. Do you know what? We've got this gorgeous multicolour triangle. I think we may do this one in a couple of seconds, actually. Um, we've got... Yeah, let's do this multicolour strand. Do you know what? This is an absolute... Be this is just positivity on a strand. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've got your beautiful bright cobalt blues. You've got your gorgeous kind of more azure blues. You've got your beautiful hot, hot, gorgeous magenta pinks as well. That is seriously, seriously vivid and bright, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. And don't forget, this is such an unusual stone. It's a stone that we've had, what, twice in the last 12 years. It's absolutely I love it. Just on the skin, it looks amazing as well, doesn't it? From over here, looking at you with that around your neck now, it looks like a strand of little beach huts. Oh, yes. Oh, so my gosh, cute. you're so right. Slightly bleached, slightly kind of shabby chic, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely oh, yeah, that's beautiful. a great point, actually. Can't wait to get onto the natural ones as well. They're stunning. They really genuinely are. Here you're going to be getting three, oh, I can't, oh hang on, uh, three, that's all right, six, um, seven, eight of them in the, uh, on the strand. Look at this one here. Look at that. Restrand them up, no problem whatsoever. Use them by themselves, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Like beautiful surfboards, aren't they? They're so cool. Love them, love them, love them. We're at 29 pounds and 99 pence. We're not staying there though. Oh no, 75 carats in total, multicolored. So of course you've got the, the whole uh, kind of, uh, you've got even more choice with these. Yeah, beautiful quality. Not like any other dye gemstone I've ever bought to wear there because of course it's got that really incredible crystal structure which just gives you so much definition, so much character, so much personality. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant quality. Well done, everyone. 19 pounds and 99 pence for you today. Hang on, we're not done. Oh my gosh, we're not done. Okay. Can we do this? Should we be doing this? Probably not. Okay, okay, right. So 19 seconds. Price point's gonna be going down again. Oh gosh, okay. Phone lines and web are absolutely stacked. Baskets are stacked. Loads of you there. Price point coming in in eight seconds. Get this in your basket. We're already matching the price point of the previous two strands at 19.99. We're gonna go even lower for you today. This is amazing. All the way down. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Go, go, go. Yeah, this is one you have to get this home. Skull Slide is such an awesome gem. I love it. 14 pounds, 99 pence for you today. Absolutely incredible. Well done, everyone. Dorothy, well done to you, Mary. Gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. Go, 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 go. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Don't forget you got your 30-day money-back guarantee. Oh, we've got multi-bidders coming through. Well done. Uh, you're only paying 3.95 P&P per order as well, which is just absolutely fantastic. Well done, everyone. Less than 50 opportunities remaining in the building. That's absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Under 15 pounds for you today. Go, go, go. Cambridgeshire and Bedfordshire already through. Merseyside, you've got too many baskets. Check out. Now, we've got the natural skull sites now, which are uh, off the scale. Now, we've got one, two, 
three natural strands. These are off the scale. Look at this. They are beautiful. Different shapes, different sizes, all absolutely gorgeous. That is awesome. They're almost conch-like, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Linda, you're so right. They're like a conch pearl pink, aren't they? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what they're like. They, they, they remind me a little bit of um, a sand dollar where you get yeah. those beautiful, almost like little paws uh, 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 going through them. Uh, almost like when you get a sand dollar or you get a piece of coral, you can see the kind of little pores of the organic uh, material. It's just incredible, beautiful quality. Um, We've got three strands of your natural quality. Just let me just remind you what this looks like on the inside as well. This is so cool. Don't do this with yours. Um, uh, this is just literally for the purposes of showing you all of those incredible inclusions you've got going through it. That is seriously cool, isn't it? Absolutely amazing quality. Now, which one are we going to do first, Neary? Let's start with the marquee swan. Okay. Oh, yes. They go well with Thula. Yes, with that beautiful pinky stone. Yeah, lovely cufflinks. Yes. This colour is so pretty, isn't it? It is like that conch shell pink, pinky corally, orangey kind of tone. Actually, this would go really well with the papaya pearls that we bought you in the last hour, wouldn't it? Gorgeous. 95 carats in total. I love this. I really do. You know, when you, that recording you're looking at there, or even actually, I assume it's probably, yeah, it is, it's this one here. Here we go. Look at this. If you get sunlight shining through clouds at kind of sunset, it's that kind of quality, isn't it? It's that sunlight shining through clouds at sunset or sunrise. That's what you're looking at there. That beautiful cloud formation quality. Loads of you there. Oh, wow, brilliant. Well done, Amanda, Sheila, Maker in Somerset, Vera, well done to you. Totally natural skull sight. This is gorgeous. All natural. Yours today. Oh, my word. Look at these gems. They're incredible. $29.99. Oh, my word. Love it, love it, love it. Well done. Oh, my word. But guess what? We are going to be giving you a proper deal of the day price point today, as low as we can possibly go. Oh, my gosh. I love this. 30 second clock. Don't forget that gemstone um, of the gemstone, supposedly, of deep inner peace. If you've had a really stressful day, or if you've been working in a high energy, stressful environment, this incredible gemstone is meant to be the gemstone to wear, to keep you, to get you in touch with that deep inner peace. I don't know about any of that, but I think it's absolutely incredible. Uh, 29.99 looking absolutely amazing already today. Price point coming in in three, two, one. Go, go, go. Superb. Such a beautiful color all the way down. Loads of you there. Oh, wow. $17.99. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well done, everyone. £17.99. Do you know what it reminds me of as well, Linda? It looks like a really high quality uh, moisturiser, that kind of really Yeah, I, I rich... know. Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, mm. totally. Yeah, it's just a beautiful gemstone to wear. Um, mm. and, and with these shades like this any skin tone any yes. fabric i mean i can see this you know with the say the on what i call the little lbd season yes that we're coming into and that where we sort of get you know christmas festive parties and things but this would look great with lace wouldn't it yes 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 oh yeah you're absolutely right but as you say linda absolutely perfect with um oh gosh absolutely what did you say? Absolutely perfect with any skin tone. Yeah, with any absolutely skin tone. any skin tone, yeah. Claire, Mikey, well done to Mary, Julie Maker, the Wirral, Amanda, Hampshire, West Yorkshire, Cambridgeshire. Well done. Loads of you there. £17.99. pence. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. OK. Moving on now. Smooth pairs. This is my favourite strand. Oh, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. You can see all of those inclusions so clearly. Love it. It's fibrous, it's soft, it's delicate, it's calming, it's soothing, it's exciting, it's warming, it's, it's, it's got everything. 
got a touch of sort of pink Peruvian opal, hasn't it? About yeah, it. yeah, it does, doesn't <clears> it? <throat> mm. But with kind of incredible crystalline structure going through it. You know, not like a solid milkshake kind of quality, but like fibrousness. It's so, that's so cool. Look at that. Like a chocolate flake in a... Yes! Ice cream. Like, like thousands of layers of pastry almost. Oh, look similar to Larimar. Oh, Janice, now yeah. you're talking. It definitely takes you to that beach type. Yes, feeling, that, well, the conch shell yeah. connection, I think, is, is, is a brilliant connection, Linda. But yeah, I think you're right. It, it does take you to the beach, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at this. God, look at this one. Just look at this one. That is the cool, one of the coolest gems I've ever seen. Look at that fleshiness, almost like um, grapefruit, isn't it? You can see oh, the ends wow. of those, those crystal structures. You can see the very tips of them there, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful Linda, Cheryl, Amanda, Maker in Somerset. Julie, well done to you, my lovely. Lanarkshire, East Riding of Yorkshire, Janet through. Well done to you. 30 opportunities remaining. That is it. 17.99 for you today. Carolyn Devon, well done to you as well. Somerset through now. That's gorgeous. They are beautiful. Oh, I've actually got a price comparison for this shape as well. Neary no. Here we go. Price comparison. £54.56 for one. In a wire wrap pendant. Very nice. To be fair, they've probably got their skull site from us. There's not many places out there that sell it. Uh, you know, 54 pounds and 56 pence. Oh yeah. The whole strand with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 on for under 20 pounds. That's where you make your money. That's incredible, isn't it? Gorgeous. Sorry, say again. Oh, the, oh yeah, the Joy Rock Company. They've sold nine at 54 pounds, 56 pence. 486 pounds. Uh, I did look at uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, you could, could you? Yes, pounds. that's amazing. Yeah. Valentina, Carol, Anna, Mikey, Janice, Patricia, Margaret, Yvonne, well done to you. Amanda, Linda, well done to you. Lincolnshire, London, well done. Check out. Last strand, it's the, it's the gorgeous coins. These are epic. This is abs. Oh, now, if somebody, if you didn't know, you might think this was moonstone, this one here. Look. Doesn't that look like moonstone? Mm hmm. Woo! But it's not. Oh, my word. Yes! Look at all of this. Look, you can see the way that is formed. You can see those inner crystals. You can see that. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, Nate, Mother Nature's paintbrush. Yes, Neary. There's something a bit koi carpy about these as well, isn't there? Don't you think? It's that corally colour. That one is beautiful. It looks like a flower, doesn't it? Absolutely stunning stones here. I, I just, so much interest, so much quality. Okay, 85 carat of your skull site graduated coins. These are lovely. 11 to 15 millimetres in diameter. These are really, really lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous colours. Here we go, right the way down. Loving all of those. Look at those different directions there, juxtaposing each other. So cool, just terminating each other. That's just gorgeous. Whoa, 14.99, goodness me. There you go, Lincolnshire, Manchester, Lanarkshire, the Wirral, Kent, Tyne and Weir's got two, Hertfordshire, well done to you. So brilliant. And each gemstone, completely unique, completely beautiful. And nothing else like it, is there? South Yorkshire, Angus, Fife, well done to you, my darling. Hertfordshire, well done in Manchester and Suffolk and Conway. Well done to you as well. Another bidder in Fife. Well done to you, Cambridgeshire. Gorgeous. There you go, everyone. What a treat at £14.99. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Well done. Teresa in Nottinghamshire, she's through. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Well done. What an awesome, awesome chance for you today. Well done at 14 pounds, 99 pence. We've had this gemstone twice, literally a cup, two, three times in the last 12 years. Um, it's amazing, difficult to get hold of. Um, an amazing gemstone, an in a truly interesting gemstone. And yours today for under 15 pounds. Well done, Helen in Martinshire. Well done to Rachel in Cheshire, Cambridgeshire. Well done, Jennifer, Teresa, Joan, Helen, Maker, Rhonda, Linda, Julie, Caroline, Julie, Helen. Well done. Cheryl, you've got six in your basket, darling. Margaret, you've got two in your basket. Well done. 
Cheryl's now got seven in her basket. Check out my lovely, well done at 14 pounds and 99 pence. Well done, gorgeous. Okay, beautiful. Um, we've got a little showcase coming up now. We've got the most amazing, amazing, amazing uh, pearls. These are all last in stock. And my word, they are once in a lifetime pieces. Check them out. This is the most amazing, amazing, amazing showcase we've got for you here of some of the biggest pearls we have ever had in jewellery maker history. These are, these are huge. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm just going I'm just going to say very quickly uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, it was it was they were truly exceptional times. And I don't mean that in a in a positive way necessarily. I mean, you know, it was it was an incredibly uh, difficult time for a lot of us, for so many people and for many businesses out there. It meant a complete and utter kind of uh, a halt on um, things like manufacturing, gemstone mining um, uh, gemstone uh, shows, um, none of that really happened. But with the best one in the world with gemstone mines, if you leave those mines and they lay dormant for a couple of years, what's going to happen? Well, not a lot, really. Might become a little bit overgrown. You might, uh, you know, you know, a couple of other things might, you know, happen, but nothing really massive is going to change. What happens when pearl farms are left unattended? Because, of course, people have to stay at home to stop the spread of coronavirus. Um, to, to kind of stop that spread, people stay at home and the pearl farms lay pretty much unattended. Now, what will happen is after a, after a mollusk is growing a pearl in its, in, its, uh, in its shell, if it gets to a certain size, the mollusk will simply um, um, reject or, or eject uh, uh, the pearls. So those pearls are lost. Occasionally, you're going to be getting uh, mollusks that unfortunately will um, will uh, perish uh, during uh, during long periods of being unattended to. But what it's meant for uh, for pearl farmers out there is that. Pearl farms, which were already under a lot of stress, particularly uh, where these pearls would have been uh, would have been sourced due to really adverse weather conditions over the last five, six years or so. And um, they were already in a tight spot. And then and creating these, you know, culturing these incredible pearls again came to a complete standstill during the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, so you've really had to start from scratch. Now, also, because there was no Hong Kong gem show, there was no Tucson gem show, there were no, none of your big kind of uh, uh, gem shows, it meant that none of the big kind of trade fairs were happening where most uh, pearl, um, uh, pearl farmers will sell their wares. That's where they go to sell their wares to uh, people like us here at Gemporia Group um, or other vendors or, or other um, um, uh, people elsewhere in the world. And people travel from far and wide to the Hong Kong gem show or, or the like. Those, per, those, those gem shows were non-existent for a period of kind of two, two and a half years. So, of course, it meant that um, a lot of people were, were sitting on lots and lots of stock that they needed to shift to create money, to create, you know, so they could forge a living. We were in a very fortunate position here at, at the Gemporia Group. We were very much still open for business in a slightly different way, in a COVID safe way, but we were still very open for business. And of course, what it meant was we were still in a very fortunate position of being able to buy gemstones. So, of course, we had access to some unmissable, never to be seen again, close out deals like these. And I do mean all of these. I do mean every single strand we have in front of you right now. Every single one of these strands was bought because we could buy them. Every single one of these strands were bought because nobody else could buy them. Believe you and I, strands like this would have been snapped up by huge names. You know, if we're talking Mickey Moto, if we're talking Yoko Pearls, if we're talking um, um, 
uh, Missona, if we're talking some of the biggest pearl retailers in the world, they would have snapped these up. But of course, they weren't necessarily in a position to do that. We were. What we've got for you today are uh, literally, I've got a showcase of the biggest, the best, and the last few we have available. These are your white freshwater Baroque pearls. They are a massive 13 by 22 millimeters in diameter. Um, now, the word Baroque comes from the Portuguese word Barocco, which refers to a pearl which has an elaborate shape. When you have something which has got an elaborate shape, what is it not? It doesn't play by the rules. You can't put it in a box as in physically, you know, you can't pigeonhole it is what I mean. You can't. You can't kind of uh, say, ah, this is one of this is one of those. This fits into this category. It's its own. It's a master of its own destiny. And when you get pearls which are cultured and farmed, which look like this, you really get a sense of what a, the definition of a pearl is. And that definition is unique. Each one of these, a unique specimen, a unique individual piece much like what we were saying in the last opportunity. Now, Linda, you've been very fortunate over the years with Jewelry Maker to be able to go to uh, the Far East and source some of our gemstones and pearls for us back, you know, kind of, you know, almost a decade ago. And I know that you have experienced some really phenomenal pearls, but I know that you've also experienced some truly dreadful pearls oh, as well absolutely. and been offered absolute yeah, rubbish. You, can, you know, it, when you work with... Um, pearls and you see them sort of on a weekly basis etc or when any and that applies to gemstones you get a little bit blase about absolutely them, you know and and you will be affected more particularly with pearls you'll be affected more by one strand than another now when I first went with Sheila to China to buy um, kit components yes these pearls were just about uh, making their mark on the gemstone markets. So, Linda, I remember you saying when we had a strand like this a few weeks ago, actually, when I was mm -hmm. working with you, that they didn't really have a name for these pearls. No, they didn't, they didn't have, have a, a name. name. They couldn't with them describe what all. they were. No. And also, um, it was it was actually quite odd because there wasn't a lot of information at yes. the time about. And that's only we're only going back twelve years. Well, not that long, 10, mm. 9, 10 years. Um, and in a few of the, um, the sort of little shops within the gemstone market, mm. you would see these and they'd be basically hanging over a door. So you wouldn't see them until you were on your way out. Uh -huh. Now, whether that was for effect, I don't know. But I can honestly tell you that Sheila and I were blown away with them. Yes. But at that point, nine, ten years ago, we thought it was a little bit soon to introduce this sort of pearl to jewellery maker. But now this is where all the big designers, Absolutely. all the pearl buyers, whether it's in Asia or whether it's in Europe or whether it's in the UK or the States, these are the pearls that are, um, you know, the top of the list on any pearl buyer's list. So you've got here about 15 pearls on this strand. And when you've got a uh, such a unique organic quality here, and, you know, when you've got something which is truly, truly unique, um, and you've got 15 unique quality pearls on this incredible strand. It is magnificent to think or even entertain that these pearls could ever be the price point you are about to see today. This is the very definition of what a pearl should be. Unique, completely on its own, completely free form, completely and utterly beautiful. And yours today for a sense sensational price 
299 pounds 99 pence i'd pay that for one i'd pay that for one every single day of the week and people do look at this 129 pounds for this one baroque pearl pendant you've got 15 on this strand i've got jackie in northumberland elizabeth kim in midlothian maker in lancashire it could go to you i've got so many people there one chance remaining at 299.99 for the most incredible quality genuine baroque pearl this is the definition of what a baroque pearl should be free form flamboyant layers a complete and utter symphony in a pearl it's absolutely beautiful it's incredible deborah and lincolnshire could go to you my darling i've got one chance left one two three four five six uh, six people for the last one it's nice. absolutely amazing sorry carl to be honest not at all if these uh, uh, and I think somebody made a comment earlier about these pearls are taken off of the temporary strand and sold as st certain individuals, you know, individual pearls. And that's how the market sells them. Um, if these were taken off the strand, these individual pearls would be at a premium because they'd go under the term flame ball pearls. Yes, yes. Um, without a doubt. And each one um, is, you can see that round bulbous part yeah, where exactly. the pearl is forming. Yes. And then due to Mother Nature, due to the, the mm. ocean beds where the mollusk is sitting, due to yeah. all sorts of Mother Nature sort of elements you yeah. can then see that the nacre then has gone a little bit wild yes yes and yes, that's yes, pure nacre that is that's just sort of um flame balling off but these are the sort of pearls that would be taken off that strand and sold individually oh, totally for possibly that 299 pound per pearl Absolutely. And just to let you know, split pay was available on that strand. I don't know why it wasn't showing, but split pay is definitely available. It should be available on all of these strands. Right. Next one that we've got here is uh, a very, very, very special strand in the box. This is, oh yeah, this is, this is completely different. This has got all the incredible colours that you want to get with your metallic pearls. But I tell you what it's got as well. It's got a shape which is the polar opposite to this. If you want to get big, you want to get range of colour, but you want them to be as close to perfect round as possible, this is the strand. Coming to you in a beautiful velvet lined box. Let me just open it up for you. Just check this. Look at this as we open the box. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's tremendous. Absolutely tremendous absolutely incredible luster almost a mirror shine luster now everything that linda said is absolutely right you know with 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 pearls and the way that they form and isn't it amazing when you get this incredible kind of organic quality and this baroque quality can you imagine how difficult it must be to get pearls which are matching in kind of size, matching in kind of shape. And, and you've got this incredible color quality as well. You've got those purples, you've got the blues, you've got the steely grays. And of course, you've got these gorgeous kind of buttermilk, uh, kind of almost papaya tones in there as well. Karen and Fife, I can see you there already. I'm gonna get this out of the box because this is beautiful. This also comes with a clasp as well, a sterling silver magnetic clasp. Let me pop that there. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me get that so it closes correctly. There you go. That's better. Um, and it and it, it is perfectly round. With a strand of pearls like this, I don't think you'd really, I personally wouldn't want to go for any other clasp other than this because otherwise it's just going to interrupt the shape of the necklace, the shape of the pearls, the shape of the individual pieces. For me, that is absolutely brilliant. Let's suggest, yeah, well, yeah, start price 799. Already lots of people interested. Look at the flawlessness of this strand. I'm using words that I didn't use for the last strand because the last strand wasn't about being flawless. The last strand wasn't about being uniform. It was about being individual and it was about being so organic and wonderful. This strand, yes, it's about being organic and, and wonderful and individual, but really it's about that consistency of tone. It's about the consistency and flawlessness and that kind of near on blemish free skin that you are getting with these incredible pearls. Now, I was suggesting with the last strand, yes, yeah, split them up, use them as individual pendants. For me, it would be sacrilege if you did this because there must have been 
thousands upon thousands of pearls that didn't make the grade for this incredible necklace. What can only be described as a necklace. Individual split been, payments oh, sorry, available. Okay. Not at all, Linda. Um, there wouldn't have been many of these oh, strands. Wow. Um, there just couldn't have been. And that would have then pushed up the price because of the unique Absolutely. Content. But uh, also, with a, with a strand of pearls like this, you can see all those gorgeous natural colours. Um, when a pearl farmer is lucky enough to reveal any one of those pearls, yes. he will hang on to that mollusk. Yes, of course. And it again. Because it's, it's a good one. It's mm. a good one. It's cared for like a thoroughbred racehorse. We're at £399. Individual split payments of £99.75. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Down to the last, what, three chances. Oh, my word. Well done. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Gorgeous quality. Absolutely beautiful. Super luxurious. Super luxe. Absolutely beautiful colours. Beautiful shine. Beautiful luster. Incredible size. And totally natural in their tone. Yours today for under £400. Well done. You know, this could be thousands of pounds couldn't it? it really genuinely could be but it's yours today for under 400 pounds today you've got your papayas your purples your gorgeous steely grays it's wonderful isn't it we're going to leave those last couple there for you uh well done Let's do these gorgeous lavender pearls next. These are beautiful. Now, this is all pretty much one colour. This is about being kind of uniform, one colour. <clears throat> amazing, amazing strand of pearls. Um, these are naturally coloured. Naturally coloured. Simon, I can see you in uh, Rutland. I don't know whether you're coming through for this strand or the previous strand, but I think we've got one chance available if you want to get it, my lovely. Um, this is... Uh, I... I, 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 it's absolutely incredible that these are 100% natural. They're be, I mean, they're beautiful. They're incredible. We haven't gone for the three colours, you know, the tricolour quality, which we went for in the previous round. We've gone for one colour. So now we're narrowing it down, not just to the size and the shape and the quality, but to one colour. It's, um, it's almost, un, you know, we're making life so difficult for ourselves. But look at the end result. Look at the end result. Look at the end result. You've got to admit, that is undeniably beautiful. That is Oscar worthy. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. There's about 39 pearls on this strand. My gosh. I'd want to take out the middle one, make a great big pendant with that and then put something big in the middle you know a big drop maybe or something you know just and it, that is incredible you know big piece of uh, jade big piece of clear quartz maybe i love clear quartz um abs oh big smoky quartz that would look amazing with this wouldn't it that smoky kind of color uh with this would look amazing now we were talking previously about yoko pearls weren't we yoko london they are amazing at what they do they 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 they, they supply the um uh, no they don't supply the market i mean they sell the most exquisite pieces of of uh, pearl jewelry that i have ever seen they are absolutely incredible this incredible piece you can see there three thousand eight hundred pounds what would you say are the differences between theirs and ours is there a difference would you say i can't what? i can't i mean you really need to see them in the flesh but mm. from that picture yeah to ours obviously i'm going to say straight away i as have got more vibrant, more personality. Well, I would say so. More, more, more of everything really that you want from a pearl. So, so, so the necklace you can see on on, on the Yoko website that is um, three thousand eight hundred pounds. That's set with an eighteen carat. That's set with an eighteen carat gold clasp. Okay. Well, ours isn't set with an eighteen carat gold clasp, but but really, where's the value? Is it in the eighteen carat gold or is it in the incredible thirty nine? superb naturally colored lavender pearls i think we all know where the value is you know pearl, pearl size 11 by 9.3 our pearl size 9 by 11 and a half so almost almost exactly the same size so if they're exactly the same let's go to the same price points okay let's do it three thousand eight hundred pounds amazing one pound cheaper but okay, hang on. Ours don't have ours don't have the eight, ours doesn't have the eighteen karat gold clasp on it. So maybe we should go a little bit lower. What do you reckon, Neri? A little bit lower. A little bit lower. Go on then. Thirty seconds. We'll go a little bit lower. Don't worry. Don't worry. We will definitely look after you with this opportunity. 
absolutely the color is amazing that's a proper mother of the bride color don't you think mm -hmm, that's a wedding party color you that's can a... still see that gorgeous gold coming off of that yeah you can you? can't well, you as you say the so vibrancy only mother nature can create something like mm. that you yeah. know to look so uh what's the word i'm looking for i used it integrity yeah absolutely so what are we saying that the 18 karat gold clasp is worth about three and a half thousand pounds oh my gosh look at this yours enjoy we've got the last few chances 299 pounds on split payments of 74 75 that is a ridiculous deal maker karen and five maker in surrey they are naturally colored genuine pearls genuine freshwater cultured pearls not dyed not bleached completely naturally in color and that is yours today i know you know this is a crazy 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 deal um amazing well done if somebody was wearing the yoko necklace and somebody was wearing a necklace made with ours would you be able to tell the difference no i don't think so for a minute nope Nope. Marion in Middlesex, well done to you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Absolutely superb. Well done. Jacqueline in Norfolk, I've got loads of you there for the final few. We are way over allocated. Well done. Check out as soon as you can. Absolutely beautiful. They are the absolute cream of the crop, aren't they? Uh, they really genuinely are. Norfolk, Middlesex, Surrey and Fife, you're there for literally the last couple of chances. More people with us in baskets now. Gee whiz, in uh, Manchester. Why don't you? London. My word, yeah, that is most definitely a closeout deal. That really genuinely is. And if you think we're going to be able to get pearls like this moving forward at these kind of prices, you can think again. I mean, Absolutely the thing about amazing. a pearl as well is if you sort of move its box into um, a gemstone, which yeah. essentially that's exactly the box that it, you know, it sits in. Yes. Um, it is the most simple but the most perfect of gems for yes. me. Absolutely. It really is, isn't it? It's got it's got that kind of capsule, hasn't it? That circular mm. shape is kind of it's got no beginning or end. It just is. It just is. It's absolutely brilliant. Well done, everybody at 299. Lynette in Worcestershire, you could take one of the final couple of chances. Do not go anywhere. That is absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Oh, my word. Right. Coming up next, we have got a ruby showcase, the like of which we have never seen before. Dave is joining us for it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Prepare to be amazed. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. We're going. We're going. But we're going. We're, we're all, all going. going. To the Creative Craft Show at the Birmingham NEC from Thursday the 3rd to Sunday the 6th of November. We'll be bringing goodie bags, a tombola and a chance for you to meet your favourite guests and presenters across all channels. Not to mention the opportunity to shop and to be inspired by some of the best crafting brands around. And because we're going, you can get discounted tickets of up to 40% by using the code BIRMINGHAM40. And logging on to creativecraftshow.co.uk. So, come and meet the family. Between the 3rd and 6th of November at the Birmingham NEC. At the Creative Craft Show. See you there. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. 
You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Oh, we have the most incredible coveted collection showcase for you now uh, with the most beautiful, beautiful uh, ruby. We've got uh, Dave Troth with us today. How are you? I'm very good, Carol. How are you? This, Yeah, amazing, thank you. And amazing to be sitting next to these incredible pieces. Yeah, so we've got, uh, as we mentioned, uh, an incredible ruby uh, showcase for you this morning as part of the coveted collection. For me, this completely defines the coveted yes. collection. Yes. Um, as we know, coveted, what is it, greatly desired or envied? Well, we're talking about ruby, and when you get natural ruby, uh, I'm, I'm not talking like a genuine ruby, I'm talking no heat ruby. Mm. It is the most valuable gemstone in the world. It's the most desired gemstone in the world. And this is why kind of relationships are so important. We have two different varieties coming to you today. One is extremely old mine, uh, which is from Tanzania, from Longido, um, from the, the John Saul strike in the 1970s, which is just outrageous. And the other one is brand new, and it's from Western Af Africa. So we're talking East and West Africa. Yes. I genuinely will stand by this right now, and only time will tell on how, how commercial of a production this turns out to be. I think this is the most important ruby discovery for over 100 years. Oh, wow. So we, we know that when kind of uh, Monte Pues or, or the Northern Mozambique mine was discovered, yep. like loads of publications, The Guardian was one of them that says, this is the most significant ruby strike yes. in like 50 years. Vincent Pardue is out there on behalf of the GIA. And that is true, it is the most significant. And, and the reason that it's so significant is because of the volume of rubies that exist there, okay? So you've got a mine in Mozambique, You've got two mining entities there now. So you've yeah. got uh, Gemfields, as we know, and there's another one called Fura, Fura Gems. So just to give you an idea of the scale of that mine, um, there was a massive gem rush in, in the early 2010s. So you had all the Tanzanian miners mining places like Windsor. You had like uh, Tunduru. You had yes. Songi. You had all these beautiful finds on the southern border of Tanzania. And they were mined out within like a year, two years. And people yeah. still tell you there's still stones come out of there, which is great. But if you're a miner and you want to feed your family, yeah. you can't wait and wait and wait and go, <laughs> maybe today I'll find something. Uh -huh. So all of a sudden, this, this stir was caused around 2012. Uh, there's these rubies being found just over the border in Mozambique. And you had like a city overnight. And today, the Gemfields mine is the size of New York City. Goodness That's me, how large really? it is. Yeah, it's massive. That's not even it. The Fura Gems mine, which also owns a, a mine there, which is like hectares and hectares, is the size of Singapore. Okay? These are, this is how large the, the, the commercial mining is for these rubies. Okay? So it is the most significant. Nothing will ever top that. We're talking about some of the largest, well, probably the largest uh, commercial producing ruby deposit ever. Mm -hmm. um, Gemfields just spent over $20 million on their ruby sorting plan. You're talking about... Rubies that might be there for decades and decades and decades. And <coughs> it's great because they're really high quality rubies as yes. well, which is fantastic because in Madagascar, I'll just be honest, um, everyone has their own favorites and, and that's down to you guys. You can be collectors, but just in the eyes of like grading, if you mm. just, if, if we're like grading them like diamonds, 
every other Ruby deposit doesn't come close to kind of uh, Myanmar, Burma at its best, and then Monte Puez. Okay, so we, it's absolutely true. You'll find beautiful rubies in Madagascar. Yes. You'll find uh, beautiful rubies in, in Greenland. You, you'll find uh, beautiful rubies in Tanzania and around these areas. But in reality, the consistent fine quality of rubies from Burma and, Mo and Mozambique just won't be won't be surpassed. Yeah. Okay. And there's a gentleman that we know really well uh, across both the channels, a gentleman that we know extremely well, actually. His name is Seth. He's based in Bangkok, mm. and he is just a ruby dealer. Okay, he's a ruby buyer, ruby dealer. He's also a manufacturer. He manufactures a lot of our gold jewelry uh, next door. I've spent a lot of time with him. He's the gentleman that helped me gain access to some of the finest ruby mines in Myanmar. Yes. He actually came with me. Um, wow. just, just to give you an idea of the history, Steve, Steve Bennett was invited to his daughter's wedding. Oh. They go back a long, long way. And I remember speaking to this guy in the Bangkok airport when we went to um, Myanmar. And here I am sat down with one of the world's leading ruby buyers. Okay? Yes. Uh, so wow. obviously I'm going to ask him questions, which is, you know, uh, we, we buy rubies. We buy like volume of rubies. Yes. Gemfields, just so you understand how it works, you guys know that they do their public auctions. Okay. So it's invite only. And what we get is through cutters and vendors that are invited to that. Yes. Okay, so we, we're never going to be invited to the... The, the, the Singapore auction event every year that they do twice a year when they offer their finest ruby lots. Yes. Set is invited, this gentleman. And uh, I was wow. talking to him in Bangkok and I was saying, you know, what's your favorite ruby? What, what do you think? Where do you buy your rubies from? What's the best deal out there? And he said, look, he buys ruby for investment. Just so you know, I don't, he mm. does. And like he was telling me he just spent $6 million on a ruby. Okay, on one ruby, by the way. Oh my God. And he says to me, he's obviously extremely wealthy, but he said to me, I don't keep my money in a bank. He's Indian um, origin. He's now based in Bangkok. He says, I never keep rubies, um, money in the bank because I get higher returns in ruby. Yes, so whenever he course. makes money, he just buys yeah. rubies. And he buys all grades because when you get invited to the Gemfields auction house, you don't just get to buy the best rubies. What they do is they mix the lots. Yes. Okay, because it makes sense. Of course they do. So if they find like a 10 carat gem ruby rough, they're going to mix it with all the different grades. Yeah, of course. And so if you want it, you've got to buy everything of course, in this yeah. lot. And that's how it works. Otherwise, you know, they'd just be left with loads of rubies at the end of the day. Mm. So that's what Seth does. He buys his rubies. Then I'll be really honest with you guys, we buy the lower grade. Mm -hmm. but he, he goes in, he spends millions just to get maybe two or three rubies. And then he cuts, his team cut and sell the rest to us, okay? all the different grades, which wow. is great because we bring rubies in silver, we bring rubies in gold. I remember asking him, I said, what's, what's the best like, kind of investment advice? I was asking him personally, but I don't mind sharing it with you. And he said, I'm telling you right now, the best, this was, when did I get a Burma? It was before COVID, say 2018. Mm. He said, the best investment advice is buy Mozambique. And I said, why is really? that? He said, because I've just spent $6 million on a ruby, a single ruby from Mozambique. He said, if that was Burma, it's 20 plus million dollars. Goodness me. And he said, so th th there is no room for the kind of investment growth of Myanmar. It's top of the yep. tree. He said, true, they're, they're the finer rubies. But if you're talking solely for investment, he says Mozambique's still going to grow. It's still going to grow. And he sees that his returns on those rubies. Wow. OK, so, so this is the kind of the, the, the caliber of the gentleman that we are talking about. When I was just most recently in Bangkok, which was probably two months ago, he showed me two rubies. And then like, I want you to understand when you're thinking of million dollar rubies, in our minds, probably, we're thinking these huge rocks, you know? I'm mm. talking, you had two rubies. I think one of them was three carats. Another one was sub two carats. as a cushion cut. There was two gems. And he had his booth, and he had all the rubies that we buy on there. He had, like, the heated rubies. He had everything. And he said, Dave, come here. He took me into the back. He showed me these two rubies. So total carat weight's under five carats. He said $3 million. $3 million. These, these top pigeon blood, no heat. Rubies you've never seen like that. I've never seen like that. I mean, I bring Burmese rubies next door. They're always heated. I can't yeah. bring no, no heat Burmese rubies. Yeah. Anyway, whilst I was in Bangkok, he said, um, because he's the guy that people call, because they want him involved. So Gemfields call him. You know, he gets to go to Myanmar. If they find ruby, yeah. he knows about it. Um, this, this is the kind of caliber of the gentleman. And he told me, when Van Cleef want a ruby, they ring him first. Okay, he's <laughs> like, he, he owns these rubies. He has his return on the rubies. He's bread and butter business. He's dealing with people like me, selling 80% of the inventory that he really doesn't want. Yeah. But like, if, you know, I don't know, Van Cleef, Tiffany, Cartier want a ruby. They want like a 10 carat gem ruby, yeah. a five carat ruby. He gets a call. So in reality, he probably sells two or three rubies a year, like top gem. Oh. Unreal. You know, price isn't ever negotiated. It's like, that's the price. I'm the only one with it. That's it. And they'll buy it because they can sell it for whatever. Goodness He told me, me in Bangkok that he's one of the earliest people to hear of a new mine. Mm. Okay, it's in Western Africa. 
And I was like, oh, incredible, you know, would love to do, you know, tell me about it. They are identical to Myanmar. He says, wow. and, and, and it's really because they form in marble. So even in Montepuez, the rubies don't form in marble. And you're probably thinking, well, why is that important? Marble, as a host rock, when there is a gem grown in it, mm. is so low in iron, okay, that it allows the chromium, which is the value factor, to yeah. do its thing, okay? Problem is, um, as you guys know, marble is really dense, really mm. tough. So when rubies crystallize in it, they tend to be really good crystal mm -hmm. because they're protected. Yes. Okay, so if there's over a million years of this geology, they're cushioned with this incredible hard rock. Yeah. So they're super clean. It's impermeable, isn't but, it? But yeah. they don't usually get big. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they, they, that's the problem. In Montepuez, it's very, very different. In Mozambique, it's very different. In Madagascar, it's very different. Every other ruby deposit, that's why Burma sits top of the tree. Every other ruby deposit doesn't form in bar a marble. So there's two, really. There's um, Myanmar, Burma, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Magok. And there is Lutian in Vietnam. Those are the two locations that form in marble. Any other ruby you've, we've ever bought, sold, or you've seen usually forms in uh, basaltic host rock, which is very high in iron, very high in iron. But your rubies get bigger, but they tend to need heat yes. um, to, to, to withdraw the purple color from them. When you get fine Burma, fine Lutian, they're the most expensive rubies in the world. He's telling me that this material coming out of West Africa is, is forming in marble. And he's the first guy that's been offered it. His team are cutting it right now. Wow. This is like less than a year old. There is no literature on it. There's no, no one's talking about it. I'm about to bring you one epic auction of what could be the finest ruby in the world. This is, I'm not a ruby expert, okay? I'm passionate, I buy rubies. Over 10 years, probably spent millions of dollars on rubies. I know enough to do that. I'm talking about this guy's job is just investment rubies. He's saying, you know, when you talk, and I'm not talking about investment, but he was saying about investment for Mozambique yes. is really important because the growth. I'm telling you right now, I'm about to offer you 25 carats of a ruby that he says, he says is finer than Montepuez. The only problem wow. is we don't know if it'll ever be a commercial deposit. We don't know if the mine will ever be as big as New York. It might just be one small pocket like we find in Vietnam and Magok. It seems that happens when you have uh, marble uh, forming rubies. So first of all, I'm going to take you to um, Lotus Gemology. Okay, yeah. They're based in Bangkok, incredible lab, owned by um, Mr. Hughes, Richard Hughes. I'm just going to change my microphone. Yeah, okay, one second. You guys read this while I uh, change my mic. This, uh, uh, this red glow is key. It tends to cover up the dark areas of the stone caused by extinction from cutting. Thai Cambodian rubies uh, might possess further reds, a less purple body color, but they lack the strong fluorescence. Uh, these uh, favorite rubies uh, display good color where light is properly reflected off the pavilion facets, internal brilliance. However, where facets are cut too steep, light exits through the side, returning uh, to the eye, uh, creating darker areas of extinction. It's sort of like the... Sorry, is my microphone better? I think so, yeah. Adam, is this good? Oh, uh, so uh, it then goes on to say all stones possess uh, extinction to a certain degree, but in fine ruby, strong crimson fluorescence helps to mask it. The best Burmese stones actually glow red as though Mother Nature brushed a broad swathe of fluorescent red lipstick across the face of the stone. How wonderful. Uh, this is... Um, the carbuncle of the ancients, a term derived from the glowing embers of a fire. Indeed, the king of Ceylon was said to possess a ruby that shone so brightly that when he uh, bought it out at night, it would light up the entire palace. Um, Am gosh, I back? Poetry in motion. Amazing. Am I all good now? Thank you, guys. Sorry yes, about that. Thank you Not for reading that, Carol. So that is Richard Hughes of Lotus Gemology, and Carol's yes. doing a wonderful job of, of talking to you about that. And essentially... <clears throat> He's talking about rubies, and this guy is positioned in Bangkok where all the finest rubies are cut. And he's talking about how the, the red glow is key. Okay, yes. fluorescence is key. That's why when you go to Bonhams or Sotheby's, if you ever do, or if you like me, just window shop online, <laughs> when you see like rubies like the Sunrise Ruby or oh, some yes. of the most incredible rubies ever sold, mm. they will show you two images. Okay, they'll show you the, the, the normal image, the kind of mixed light, the daylight, and they'll show you under a black light because the fluorescence is key. So yeah. they're saying there, and I don't mind if I just skim over it again. It's no, like go that. for it, uh, Dave. So they're talking about let it glow. That's the passage of this. And they're talking about how the red glow is key. And the reason it's key is because it covers up the areas of the stone that, that are you know, caused by extinction from mm -hmm. cutting. 
And as I mentioned before, Thai or Cambodian rubies possess a purer red, less purple body color, but they lack the strong fluorescence because they're iron rich. That's what FE, FE means. So they are iron rich rubies display good color where light is properly, uh, properly uh, reflected from the pavilion facets, yes. which is the internal brilliance. Um, uh, and then if we go on to the second passage, all stones possess extension to a certain degree, but in fine rubies, mm. which let's just say is Myanmar. The strong crimson fluorescence yes. helps mask it. The best Burmese stones actually glow red. So not all even Burmese rubies glow red, yeah. but the best. Yeah, the best, best rubies ones. fluoresce red. And if I can just borrow the, the clicker, thank you, uh, Neri. Then they, this is uh, an article that was written you know, within the last five years. They do oh, a quality so ranking nice. of rubies by country, okay? And... Um, as with all rubies, you can find fine rubies anywhere. You know, the provenance or, or pedigree or the location is secondary to the actual appearance of the ruby. But yes. I'm talking about the consistent quality. So top of the tree, you can't split them, is Myanmar and Lukian. Okay, Magok and Lukian. Um, we just know that Magok is, 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 is a bigger deposit. It produces more. Yeah. Then number two is, is Montepuez and Tanzania. Mm. Three, Madagascar. Uh, four Thai and, and Cambodia, and then everything else falls into the other bracket. Yes. They, they're not even ranking this material from West Africa there because it has only been on Earth within the last year. Oh, it's only wow. been on Earth within the last year. And like I said, this is why relationships are important because when they find this new ruby in West Africa, they don't ring me. They don't know who I am. They ring my friend, Seth. And because I speak to him all the time, like I said, I was with him two months ago. He's let me in on this. He's let me know about it. And I can't bring a whole showcase because we don't know how many rubies are going to come out of this deposit. He's just finished cutting phase one. Okay, he's had a, you know, a few thousand carats or a few grams of rough. Yes. He's cut through it and he's offered you right now 25 carat strand of ruby from this location. Even the GIA references uh, you know, the, the fluorescence. So the GIA says the strength of a ruby's red depends on how much chromium is present. That is the rock star. The more chromium, the stronger the red color, which let's just cut through the fat. The, the, the more chromium, the stronger the red color, the more valuable the stone. Yeah. Okay? Chromium can also cause fluorescence, which adds to the intensity of the red color. So again, they're using words like can cause fluorescence. Yes, can. It doesn't exactly. always. Yes. Now they say the most renowned rubies, like those from Myanmar, the Himalayas and northern Vietnam, like Luk Yen, mm, yeah. form in marble. They're found in layers that are distinguished, uh, dis distributed irregularly within the surrounding marble. Mm. Marble forms as part of the metamorphic rock process when heat and pressure from mountain formation act on the existing limestone deposits. Essentially, the best rubies ever mined form in marble. And we know why. Because it's low in iron and allows the ruby to be high in chromium. Again, they say marble has low iron content. So the rubies that originate in marble which are called marble hosted by gemologists, they, yes. they lack iron. Because of this, many have an intense red color. Oh, in wow. addition, rubies found in marble typically fluoresce red under ultraviolet light, even the ultraviolet light in the sunlight. Oh, wow. Uh, fluorescence can make a ruby's color even more intense and increase its value. Mm -hmm. In other locations, rubies can be found in basalt rocks. Rubies from these sources can have a higher content which can make the rubies darker and less intense in color. High in iron content in the chemical makeup of a ruby can also mask the red fluorescence, eliminating that extra glow of red color seen in marble hosted rubies. And what I've got here right. is a real treat. When I was in um, Magok, when I was there with Set, I, I acquired a, a wonderfully formed a ruby this is beautiful. In, in the marble host this rock. Okay? So I'm going to show you this like close up. This is, uh, well, I'll be honest, Steve Bennett bought this. I couldn't afford it, but <laughs> it's a specimen, right? But I said it'd be important to show play. everyone. So this is the marble that you get in, yep. Magot, in, in, in Myanmar, where yep. the most valuable rubies grow. And you can see a perfectly crystallized ruby there. Can I dim the lights, please, Adam? And show you why these rubies command the most money in the world. Oh my gosh. You get this element of fluorescence, okay? Yeah. Which is sensational. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, let me just do that and then that. Right. Now I'm going to introduce you to the legendary new material from um, Guinea, from West Africa, okay? 25 carats. I can't wait to see. I'm going to manage expectations and I'll tell you I've got less than 200 of these. I've got about 150. It's 25 carats of oh, no heat ruby. It. Never done a deal like this in my life. It's cut in this wonderful cabochon, oh, of which my, my friend gosh, Seth beautiful. says is as good as it gets, okay? 
Oh my gosh. Right, you haven't seen anything. Can we yet. dim the lights again? Let's dim the lights. Can we? Oh my gosh. This is natural. I can't wait to see this. <gasps> oh my gosh! That is insane! Okay, and just again, showing you how important it is to get <gasps> to, to be first, to get like the oh. first. That's insane. From from literally the top here. From the top yeah. all the way. That's amazing, Dave. Down. I'm gonna do it one more time because it is outrageous. Oh okay. my god. Thank gosh. you, Adam. You can bring the lights back up. I really appreciate it. Right, this is the ruby you're gonna get the chance to own. 25 carats. Just to put this into perspective, if I had 25 carats of no heat, mine might ruby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Okay. We'd probably be talking. Well, I mean, it's going to sound insane, but you're probably talking six figures. 25 carats <laughs> of Bur no, uh, of like no heat Burmese. Wow. 100%. And you're probably thinking, no way. I'll show you. These are cabochons, right? They're, they're completely clean. They offer yeah. incredible color. This is a cabochon, Burmese ruby necklace. Half a oh, that's ins oh, that's Half incredible, a million Dave. Look at that. Half a million. And this. Good this three. is going up for auction in Sotheby's this month. Yeah, go on. Again, Burmese rubies. Well, I mean, it's going to be millions. Yeah, going yeah to be of millions. course it will. They're decolored diamonds. They're, they're internally flawless diamonds, but no one cares about the diamonds. No, All about those rubies. legendary rubies. Oh and my God. I'll never bring you 25 carats of Burmese ruby. There's no heat and does what this just did. I won't even be able to bring you Montefiore's ruby, 25 carats, no heat that looks like this. Oh. When you are first, when you get in early, you get an incredible deal. But I have to tell you, you have to... Act fast, as we have done. One moment right now. Probably the most important auction that will take place in the coveted series. Okay, this is it. Um, and I'm thing. telling you that, knowing full well I've got another beautiful ruby from Tanzania coming up very soon. This is, the, this is next level. So I'm going to wow. ask for a minute clock, uh, Neri and uh, Adam. And we're going to start the clock. And this epic ruby. Thank you so much, Zarina. Beautiful name. Um, it will be available. I've got how many exactly? 157 opportunities or something? 157, yeah. Okay, 157 opportunities. You can see it even with the lights on. Gee, well, sorry, I'm just, I'm just absolutely blown away by this, Dave. No I've problem, Caroline, seen, in Greater Manchester. I've never seen Ruby do this before. I've and you may never, never see it again. You may no, never, never see it again. I've never seen it before. Right. I've seen it fluoresce occasionally. I've never seen it. This okay. is... In 24 seconds, oh I'm telling you gosh. now, I'm warning everyone, there's going to be 147 people on the lines. Okay? There will be. It's Ruby. Oh, it's, it needs no introduction. It's the most valuable coloured gemstone on the face of the planet. The only thing that competes with this is fancy coloured diamonds of the, the highest calibre. Trust your own eye, okay? When a new deposit arrives, you need to, to have an educated but unprejudiced eye and capitalize on it. The graphics are gonna be live right now. I've got 157 oh. opportunities. First phase of cutting of the brand new West African Ruby, possibly the most important auction we've ever brought to you. That's the mine and material. I'm, I'm literally telling you right now, there is a very real possibility that we look back in, in, in five years, in 10 years, I, uh, well, and we've saved you, I don't know, tens of thousands? Well, see, this is it, Dave. We, we, we are very rarely, we are very rarely on the, on the, on the, you know, the dawn of a new nope. era for a gemstone. Yeah. I've never really been in this position before. You know, we were talking briefly in the last hour about the incredible Baroque pearls that when Linda saw them kind of 10 years ago, there wasn't really a name nope. for them. There wasn't really a kind of, you know, you couldn't really label them. And I feel like we're at that kind of point right now with But, but rubies. With, with, with rubies. This they is need no introduction. Incredible. It's not like a new gem. No, it's the precisely. Ruby. It's, ruby, it's the ruby. Yeah. And it's Burma grade. It's, it's no heat. It, it, uh, 25 carats. It fluoresces like no other ruby insane. you're ever going to see. Okay, just so you know, we're, we're talking about uh, an incredible new deposit from West Africa. Oh, it's beautiful. It's everything that I want in a ruby. It is absolutely. It's everything that, that the world wants in a ruby, that yeah. abs want in a ruby. It's so impressive. And, and if you multi-buy on this, you get 50 carats of this. You yes. get 50 carats of, and, and remember what we say, location is, is immaterial, okay? It's all about the quality of the ruby. Yeah. But what I will say to every single one of you, every single one of you, is that will you ever see a 25 carat, oh my God, fluorescent ruby like this again? They're like Jacqueline, jelly you've beans. got 50 carats. Yimei, you've got 50 carats. Look at no, that. That's a joke. That's a joke. 
It, it's like, they're like jelly bit. They also, I've never seen a gemstone fluoresce like this, ever. Nope. Ever. This is a once You've got, in a lifetime you know, I'm bring opportunity. This over. I'm going to bring this over. This is Burma. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can put it in shot. Yeah. Let's get, try and get it. Try and get it Sorry. all in. No, not at all. This is okay, I've got Julie. There you go. Oh, what for us is more? What for us is more? Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right, Dave. Yi Mei's got 50 carats. Jacqueline's got 50 carats. Oh, Sorry, Julie, you've got wow. 50 carats. This okay. is one of those strands, isn't it? You're gonna get you're gonna get a couple of them, you're gonna make jewelry with one of them, and then the other one you're just gonna you you know, you're gonna keep. You're gonna keep and not do anything with and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna ask for a minute clock, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this. You, this is like one of those um, glow sticks. It's it, it, fluorescing like nothing else I have ever seen in my life. This is yeah. incredible. Only the finest, <laughs> you know, very fractional percent of rubies mined in the world do this. They are humongous. They are. Just for perspective, and let's just be frank, just for perspective, and I'm, I'm going to probably get in the way here. This is no heat ruby as well. Yeah. Okay. And look at the size of that. And that's coming up, so don't worry, it's incredible, yeah. but I Beautiful. just want to show you how big these rubies are. <laughs> 25 carats. 25 carats. Good. Massive. And, and, you know, we've, we've created, the in-house team have created that wonderful kind of bracelet. Yeah. Which you can see there, which mixes both these rubies. The, the Longido material and what you're getting the chance to acquire today. Some of you in monumental characters. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, I've, Neary, oh. I'm, I'm going to go straight away to two grand. I'm going to go to 2,000 pounds, which is for 25 carats oh my of no heat, no heat, fluorescent ruby is outrageous. It's actually outrageous. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell all of you, I'm nowhere near done. Oh, wow. And wow. this is what happens when you have fantastic relationships in the industry, yeah. being the first to know. There you go. So on the left, far left, that, that stone in the marble hosting is classic Myanmar. Classic yep. Burma, no heat, pigeon blood red, fluorescent ruby. Mm -hmm. Next to it is about 70 carats or 60 carats, whatever it is when oh. we add all that up of this new material from West Africa. Just out of this, out of this yeah. world. And like we said, even in, with the full lights up, if you show the, the light on the bracelet, look at that. Yeah. And that is what the sunlight will do with these wonderful rubies. This cabochon, yeah. this cabochon look as well, this kind of slightly river-worn yeah. kind of look you're getting here. This is such a huge look, which is, uh, employed by so many major. Um, yeah. These are these are the original rubies. Are you ever seen the Black Prince ruby? Yes, of which course. Which in fact is a spinel. We yes, know, yes, yes. That's the cut. That's the cut. You know, that's your, the you cut. Know, the, the original Golconda that's co the cut. Uh, diamonds. That's the, the Bulgari mine. cut, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's organic. That. It's beautiful. Mm. It gives you the the, the, the full carrot way. Oh. You know, these these rubies are obviously so beautiful. You don't need modern lapidary. No. To, to cut away and give you better return of light uh, and brilliance. No. We are allowing these rubies to speak for themselves. Now, I'm going to wow. ask for another minute clock. I'm going to say to you, it's probably now or never at this point, okay? We only ever had 157 oh, wow. of these opportunities to acquire yourselves right now, you know, 25 carats. But, um, and between how many have gone and how many we've got in baskets, we are actually at a stage where we are almost over-allocated. This is... A reaction, uh, which 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 is just, I mean, I, I mean, it makes complete sense, doesn't it? But yeah. we are. Well done to all of you at the bottom, and a lot of you are multi buying, which is so important to be able to do. You want the drop earrings. Oh you, yeah. You want to be able to create the, the bracelet. Uh, you want to be able to work with this, and maybe create a full strand yeah. of natural West African, you know, no heat. Oh my God. Oh my God. It really is, and this is what you're acquiring today on Jewelry Maker. This completely, <laughs> completely defines oh. what the cover oh. is all about, yeah? Burning embers, Yes, as it said in an article. That's yeah. what the fluorescence should look like. And Burning very rarely embers. do we achieve that anywhere with any ruby. Oh, all right. my gosh. Um, those of you with your basket, I'm going to urge you to check out right now. Okay. Because I'm not taking like 200 pounds off or even 500 pounds off. Oh my I'm actually just going to cut this price in half straight away for you. And again, I'm telling you, I'm nowhere near done. So this is what we do. When we get a great deal, you get a great deal. This is a, the, 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 the material that you can go and ascertain value from. It's ruby. 
Yeah. It's no heat. It fluoresces. They're massive stones. They're very, very gemmy. And I've just cut the price in half. Yes. yes Alternative yes. with jade, well, uh, white jade or pearls with a gold clasp would look something. Yeah, Michael, that would, would be absolutely gorgeous. It would look uh, something out of antiquity, wouldn't it? Yes, it, it definitely like, it would. would. Be, uh, something out of maybe the Altani collection that featured at Christie's yes. from the Marahajas. You are getting the opportunity right now to acquire what has always been the most valuable gemstone on the planet from a brand new source. Yeah. It doesn't need to be heated. It doesn't need to be, you know, uh, um, anything administered to it. And it offers you this sensational, wonderful pigeon blood glow. Mm. The ultimate, the value factor, the value decider, the fluorescence. And you've got it. And when you consider so many rubies out there nowadays, the percentage of which are going to be heated or they're going to be filled or they're going to yeah. be diffused or they're going to be coated. Even, you know, even the, the greatest number, you know, I'd probably say 80% of the rubies that we bring you next door, actually more, 90% of the rubies that I bring you next door, I'm talking about finished jewellery now, will have some form of treatment. Yes. And, uh, you know, heat sometimes is not seen as like a major treatment. Mm -hmm. And I get that. Just, have, I mean, I see thirty, forty thousand $40,000 rubies that will say just heat, which is amazing. Yes. This is no heat. Yeah. This is no heat. I'm going to ask for a minute clock. This is it now. If you want to buy three or four, I'm going oh to your gosh. final price. Wow. Because I can see how busy it is. I'm, I'm being told everyone's got it in their baskets. If you want a reason to check out, it's coming now in 54 seconds. Oh I'm going to give you the best deal that I can on this. I'm going to give you a sensational deal. And you guys get to own this. You get to work with this. You get something that I may never be able to bring back. I yes. hope I can. We don't know how productive this is going to be. This is from the first phase of the cutting process. Mm. You know, like I said, a few kilos of this was brought out of West Africa, sent to the facility in Bangkok and wow. cut like this. I don't know if or not I'll be able to create a collection for next door. I don't know that. But I've got 25 carats and I'm bringing it to you right now. And I'm going to give you a sensational deal. Oh my gosh. You're already acquiring 25 carats at a thousand pounds. Exactly. I'm going to take hundreds off the price. The dawn of a new era here at Jewelry Maker today. This is a sensational opportunity. This is giving you access to gemstones which literally have just come out of the ground. It's such an exciting proposition for you today. Okay. Um, to our contact centre who will be watching because they have all the screens up, yeah, yeah, I yeah. apologise, I'm very sorry for this. I'm going to ask you right now, if you can use the web or the app, then yeah, please so do that. Yeah, there's so many people on phones. <laughs> there is going to be a massive queue and I want you to be able to get it. If you fall in love with this, if you want to own the newest, uh, probably most incredible ruby of the last hundred years, then I want you to get it. I only have limited op opportunities available, so if you want to risk it with the queue, then, then stay on the phone lines. But I'm going to call a price right now, and if you can use uh, the, the, the website or the app, oh then gosh. that would be the best way to make sure you get it. For every single one of you, and for oh. all of those of you that have multi bought, um, Neary, take it to £199. Oh my and gosh! It's going to go wild. £199 for 25, I can't believe I'm saying it, 25 <laughs> carats. And it's not just 25 carats in tiny gems, like melee size. I'm talking 25 carats in big solitaire stones of no heat, brand new, epic, pigeon blood fluorescing ruby. £99.50 oh. on split pay. It's yours right now. And if you want to wow. multiply, if you want to buy, you know, huge quantities of these, then go ahead. Go for it. Do whatever you can. We had oh. loads of you at £2,000 saying, look, I want this ruby at whatever cost. I'll multi-buy. Yeah, well, we've gone to our incredibly low deal here oh my when you gosh. get in early it pays and I, this is your opportunity i cannot believe what we've done here virginia's bought two ye may's got two jacqueline's got two bidders are buying threes collectors got three jacqueline it's coming literally people coming through from far and wide to get this I absolutely cannot this is the the, the, the most sensational gemstone in the world Look at the quality of what you are privy to today, what we are lucky enough to bring you today. This is unbelievable. The phone line, the web is absolutely rammed, or I should say baskets are absolutely rammed. It is the most incredible deal for you today and joy to be able to bring this to you. A tremendous opportunity uh, to add ruby like we have never seen before into your collection. Virginia's bought another one. She's now got three. Wiltshire's got two. Well done. County Durham's got two. Well done to you. Loads of multi-bidders coming through to get this. Well done. 0800 644 Rupal, you've just come through. Well done to you, my darling. Loads of people there. This is absolutely brilliant. Just incredible. Oh, my word. Okay, Virginia's got three. Yes, Wiltshire's so got two. Durham's got two. Greater London's got two. Can I have a minute clock, please, uh, guys?
Let's, what do, for? let's do what we're all about. Let's do what we're all about. We're a reverse price auction, aren't we? <laughs> material like this walks into auction houses where the price goes up. In 52 seconds, I'm going for it. I'm being told there's more in baskets than we have available. It's time to check. <laughs> it's time to check out. Imagine oh, those yeah. three mil zircon rounds from a few weeks ago. Yes, Lisa. Guys, now if you talking. know me, you know I'm not taking 10 or 20 pounds off. If I'm going to go, we're going to go in a big way. Oh, my gosh. So you've got half a minute now. It, it, it is one of those where uh, Miri's telling me there's lots of you with several in your basket. Yes. This will disappear in 24 seconds. Maker's got three, kathy has got two in her basket. There's literally, there's so many people with twos, threes, fours in their baskets. Caroline in Greater Manchester, oh my gosh, she's gonna be putting it with Jade. You just know she is, don't you? Absolutely. Um, there's so many people. Oh, Michael's come through to get another one. Well done to you. Julie's now got three. This is fantastic. Well done to you. Linda in Staffordshire coming through. Absolutely awesome. Go on, Dave, what do you think? Okay, so we, we, we started at 2,000 pounds. Oh gosh. And we halved it. Yeah. We're now at 200 pounds. Half it. Half it. Every single one of you, I'd jump on the phone lines right now. We are going to do it, Neri. I've said it. Um, <laughs> and, and to every single one of you that wants to multiply, every what? single one of you on the phone lines, everyone in their basket, go for it. 25 oh. carats of unbelievable, unparalleled, oh glowing red, fluorescent, no heat, guinea mined ruby from West Africa. 49.99 on split pay is absolutely outrageous. This is your opportunity. We only ever had 157. Think about how many of you, Virginia and Hampshire, you've got four. Wow, yes, Oh my yes. God, you've got 100 carats of this material. Exactly. 100 carats of this brand new material. Jacqueline, you've got 75 carats. Oh. Uh, Alison, you've got 50 carats. Michael, you've got 50 carats. Caroline, you've got 50 carats. Oh, um, yes. Ag again, this is, this is your, there's nothing else like this. There's no other strand featuring these rubies coming up. If you want to get involved, if you want to be able to create these wonderful pieces of jewelry, if you want to work with jumbo sized fluorescent, yes. oh my gosh, no heat rubies, then your opportunity is before you right now. Look at the quality you are getting here today. Experience the quality. Honestly, this has left all of us completely and utterly speechless with its fluorescence. Michael's got another one. 49.99 on, on split pay. Zero percent interest. If you want to spread that cost, go pay. for it. Michael's got another one. Maker's got two. Well done to you. Oh, Jacqueline's got another one. Alison, well done to you. Uh, Michelle, Karen, Susan, Shirley, Janet, Joan, Maker, Maker, Amelia, Elizabeth, Gillian, Maker, another Elizabeth in Lanarkshire and in Norfolk and Michelle in North Yorkshire. You've all got these in your baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. That is utterly, 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 utterly brilliant. Uh, well done. Somerset's got another one. You've now got three. That's absolutely phenomenal. Alla in New York. Well done to you, my darling. Janet in Yorkshire coming through. Tracy in Norfolk. Essex coming through. Well done. Hertfordshire. Uh, this is absolutely unprecedented. Yours today for 99.99. Absolutely. Leonard, well done to you. Janet in Merseyside. Elaine in Yorkshire. Maker in Lancashire. Well okay, done. okay, okay, okay. The, uh, there's what 200 or so in baskets, including At the multi. Least. Okay, I'm, uh, I, uh, you guys obviously want another deal. You want that? I'm, I'm happy to do it. This is our ethos. You know, if we lose money, we lose money. If we do what we do, we do. Oh gosh! It's a reverse pass auction. These are no good in my vault. I'm gonna ask for a minute clock. I want to see all of you on the phone lines. I'm gonna go again. I've, I've got 75 carats. Uh, silly not to absolutely. I'll be making that ruby white. Uh, well, oh, Michael, what, I want to see it. Dave, what, are see we, what are we I'm doing? I'm going again. This is what we do. We go again. And it, it is what it is. What? what? what what's, the, what's the alternative? It's crazy. What's the alternative? We take these incredible rubies and we put them back in the vault. I'm not happy to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to put it in your collection. I know that you want it because it's in your basket. Because it's in your basket. So yeah. if, 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 if we have to lose on some auctions, then we do. Oh, 35 seconds you've got. And I'm telling you right now, I want to see every single one of you snap these up. These are no heat rubies, okay? These are uh, marble hosted rubies that offer the, the, uh, an even more incomparable, intense fluorescence than those of Manamar, as you can quite clearly see in this, this picture on your screen, yes. this video, where you can see the legendary Burma ruby on the left in the host rock, and it has the fluorescence. Look at this neon fluorescence. You've got eight seconds, um, and I want to see every single one of you capitalizing on this legendary ruby. It is. No, 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 no. How many do we have left? I want to see. I'm going to ask for another clock because these are all going today. Oh, gosh. How many do we have left? Literally. 40, 50, what? 
Oh, gosh. Okay, another minute clock. I need to see 50 of you on the phone lines. Oh, gosh. More than 100 of you with these. I want to see 50 of you guys. I'm going again. I'm going again. Absolutely shouldn't. Absolutely shouldn't. So come through on the phone lines. Add it to your basket. Do whatever you can. There was, when I started this clock a moment ago, there was already 100 or 200, I think, with the multi-orders in baskets. The amount of multi-bidders we have got coming through now is absolutely unbelievable. In fact, you know what? I don't think I've ever seen a strand with so many multi-bidders. And the it. size of yes. these rubies, though. Yeah. The size of these rubies, someone they mentioned are before. They are, they are massive. They've, uh, Enormous. I knew to take my 4.30 break for this amazing deal. Thank you. Thank you, Gigi. It's always <laughs> amazing to hear in from California, you. In California, Gigi. Yeah, um, oh, my word. Uh, uh, loved meeting you when you came over to the UK. Uh, oh. What an incredible experience. 15 seconds and you get another incredible deal. Oh, my word. I can't wait for this. Uh, so many multi bidders. I can't name you all. Uh, Lancashire's two, RuPaul two, Margaret two, Jacqueline, Virginia four, Jacqueline three, Alison two, Caroline th uh, two, Julie three. I can't believe what's happening. Okay, and li crazy. literally, we're losing on this. Yep. Okay? We're losing on it at this price. But this is what we do. So, um, 79.99. But make sure you check it out. Get it. Oh take it. Oh, my God. Take it and run. Take it and run. You have got an exquisite <laughs> opportunity right now to own these rubies. I've just gone to 79. That's crazy. 99. And, and we're going to allow you to come through. I'm going to put like a minute clock on the screen. In we're going to have to. And, and allow you to get involved, allow you to check it out. This is ridiculous. Absolutely unbelievable what we have done. We've got collectors from New York mm. to Norfolk, Bristol, Highlands. We've got uh, Tyne and Weir, uh, Wiltshire, uh, Greater Manchester, Greater London, Staffordshire. Yeah. Virginia and Hampshire has just got five I of these. I know, she bought three, then four, now five. 125 carats yes. of these sensational roots. 39.99 on your interest-free split payments. Yeah, that's incredible. I mean, incredible. what am I doing today? What am I doing? When I, I spoke to Seth, and he's like, these are Burma grade. This yes. Is a, this guy only buys ruby. And we're like, we'd love to share it with our collectors. We, we, we've got this coveted oh. collection that we can bring it in. We'll be bringing higher caliber gemstones. And I'm here at 80 quid. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. In fact, you're going to get a minute to own these. I'm going to put a minute on your screen right now. Thank you, Adam. We're going to start that clock. I am not... Not, not putting this on the screen past this minute. This no, is and you know what, Dave? I'll probably keep this deal a bit of a secret um, uh, and, and, not, uh, and not tell your friend about this. We had only had 157. Yeah. I know they're all going today. I yeah. know they're all going today. Yeah. If, if, if you are one of the ones, I can see someone on the phone lines trying to get seven of so these. So over 100 in baskets. Well, it's there's incredible. not 100 opportunities, so you just have to be as fast as you can. Well done. You've literally got 35 seconds and we're going to take the deal away. We're going to take the uh, graphics away. It, 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 is, it is an opportunity which I can't even, I can't even put into words no what way. we've just offered you. That has rendered me speechless, the quality of what you're getting here, the size of what you're getting here. Yeah, as Dave says, these aren't kind of... Uh, yeah, the collectors have got five, uh, Jillian's got six. Lots six. of you getting these kind of quantities, which is, what, 150 carats to Jillian? Gee whiz. Wow. 10 yeah, seconds, well done. and we're moving this on. If, you, if it's available on the web, then take advantage of it. Guys, uh, I'm gonna put these with, my, uh, with oh, a mad, mad mix of gems, gems and jade. And jade. Yeah. Yes, Caroline. Right on, Caroline. We knew that you would. Love it. Well done. Let's move this on. It's available oh, online wow. if you want it. I don't want it on the screen. Um, now we move to something really important. Now, these were mined in the 1970s. In the 1970s, uh, this material oh. comes from Longida, one of the most famous mines, but very fleeting, could never be a commercial deposit. I'm going to show you what these command. Okay, so this is a ruby, ruby cabochon for what they call a rare locality. Oh. Okay, beautiful color. Nice. Pre-sale estimate on that is between five and seven thousand pounds. That was in 2017. And, and I want you to understand, John Saul Mine, who was the geologist on the ground when Tanzanite was first discovered. Yes. And they say the first gemstone deposits found in East Africa were in Longido, Tanzania. Their production was generally small or poor quality gems. However, a fantastic mid-1970s discovery of chromium-rich rock yielded not only some of the most wonderful green tourmalines, but some wonderful rubies, mm. also colored by chromium, which required no enhancement. Uh, the color of these stones was splendid and their quality put East Africa on the map of gem producing countries, right up there with Burma and Sri Lanka. Indeed, some of the rubies from the mine were of such a fine distinctive shade of ruby red, which would later become a standard of quality um, to cut us around the world. The expression of John Saul simply grew to mean very fine red. When it came to describing rubies, it is said that Van Cleef and Opel bought a very large portion of the production of this mine at the same time. And that is what we are bringing you. Adam, show everyone these, these oh. diamond faceted. Wow. Incredible. What, Van Cleef grade? Yes. You know, I mean, John Saul is a very close friend wow. of mine. 
Um, you, we've brought him onto your screens before, certainly next door. Spent a lot of time with him. Um, yeah. we, we had his granddaughter, Nora, here on an internship. Mark you? Saul discovered the Mahenge Spinel. We are, you know, fast friends with, with those guys. They, everything that happens in Tanzania, in Arusha, um, comes through them. And this wonderful opportunity, a one-time opportunity, extremely limited opportunity. How many of these do we have? 151. Okay, 151 opportunities. Top transparency, no heat. Beautiful. I'm going to again take you back to Bonhams if I can. Mm. And they have oh, one here. This, yes. is, this is a fine ruby diamond and platinum ring, okay? It sold for $61,000 in 2009. And again, it's from this mine. And it gives the same write-up, you know, that Bonhams puts with these, you know, comparing them to, to, to you know, the, the Burma material. They say that Van Cleef bought much of this material. Um, mm. And they say this present ring, consisting of a circular cut sugar loaf, unenhanced cabochon ruby, is an excellent example of classic natural material from this famed mine. Purchased by its present owner during the 70s, it has been kept safely hidden since that time. Wow. The stone is fairly large for the species, so it's six carats. So wow. it's back in 2009, this is $10,000 a carat. Uh, and they say the colour is virtually incandescent with a deep inner glow. That's what we're offering you. This ruby, this time frame, this material. I've got 151 opportunities. We've got oh, a minute wow. clock to bring this in. Now, this would work beautifully with, we're going to, yeah, thank you, Adam. Work perfectly with the rubies that we just saw. Of as course. our in house design team have matched them up. Mm. These have that wonderful scintillation, you know, the way they the light really bounces off these, uh, like paparazzi flashes. You can see it here just in the studio twinkling away, like a domino effect of cascading light across the surface of these wonderful rubies. Mm. You've got the opportunity right now to get these. Uh, smaller quantity than the previous one. I know that we're going to go ridiculously low on this. We're going to offer you a sensational deal. It is the perfect red, the perfect red. Textbook, oh, like famed throughout the world. You know, John Saul became an actual term yes. um, for, for, for quality of rubies. Yes, yes. And these came from that legendary deposit in Longida. And in 15 seconds, you're going to have the chance. And I would just recommend multi-buying. I would just recommend multi-buying on this because I know oh, I'm going to do an that. exceptional deal. And I think those earrings there that we just saw, yeah. like, you see them made up like that. That's as, you know, to, to know you've got two distinct locations, East Africa, West Africa, That's old it. mine, new mine. Yes, Top, no yes. heat, natural fluorescent ruby. It's the pride of Africa. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Wow. you're already on the phone lines, well done. We know we have a Loads huge, huge uh, customer base this morning of ruby buyers. Yeah. And for ruby buyers, it doesn't get better than John Saul Ruby from the 1970s, the material that Van Cleef fell in love with. And Easy bought to much of why. this great, absolutely. It takes faceting so beautifully, Each doesn't one it? hand faceted. Yes. That's exactly Okay, Julie, what you're doing exactly what I said. You've just bought three. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Just to let you know as well, we had a couple of um, uh, uh, questions in about the uh, what torch to use with the previous strand of ruby. Um, it's just a, it's just a, a UV light. standard UV light, which you can get off Amazon. I mean, get it you know, wherever. UV black light, yeah. uh, sh short uh, wavelength. That's, you know, the gemologist tall, you know, that's what they use yeah. in Myanmar when they're going through and they're trying to see that fluorescence. Oh Interacts with the chromium and allows the gem to light up mm -hmm. if it is indeed of high quality, of high grade. Absolutely gorgeous. The most beautiful, uh, the most beautiful quality, the most amazing You can see uh, it, you tone. can see it right here. Just showcasing that vivid neon glow. Uh-huh. Sensational. Elaine, really Virginia's multi-bought, Julie's multi-bought. Yeah. This is what the world's best rubies do. Not all rubies do it. Oh, look at that luster. That's incredible, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Wow. So impressive. Okay. A lot of you on the phone lines, almost, yeah. almost a quarter of the stock is already out the door. A lot of you multi-buy. I'm going to recommend that you do multi-buy. I'm going to do something wild on this deal. So interesting. The colour is, so, is, 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 is different to the ruby that we've just bought you. And really, depending on where you get your ruby from, depending on how it forms, depending on the conditions in which it grows, as, as Dave was saying, whether it's grown in uh, marble or whether it's grown um, uh, in, in, your, you know, in your other rock um, uh, formation deposits, you will get a different colour. You will get a different quality. Quality, more yellows, more oranges, more pinks, more purples, uh, higher reds. Um, it really is. It really is absolutely superb. Here, it is deep, rich, 
ruby red, isn't it? It's absolutely incredible. Loads of multi bidders already. This is brilliant. Okay, I'm going to let you know right now, even though in the eyes of the industry, yeah. this is almost a fable right now. It's almost yes, a myth, yes, you know, because yes. it's from the 1970s. Exactly. Okay, the, the Longido doesn't produce that anymore. And he didn't produce it for a very long time. Van Cleef bought much of the production, worked with a lot of that material. We are, you know, very, very grateful that we have such, you know, relationships with, you know, some of the pillars of the gemstone industry <coughs> that allowed us access to this material. Okay. I'm going to let you know right now, I'm not going to mess around. We could go to two grand, three grand. I mean, elsewhere, we could probably sell it for mm. two, three grand in a strand with an 18 karat gold class. I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to go to a rock bottom deal. I'm going to go even lower than the previous material, which is still to find its value in the marketplace because it's brand new. Yeah. You want to um, look at the sparkle, absolutely. Because these are gem. <laughs> yeah, these are gem there. rubies. So to every single one of you, I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to own this ruby, you're going to have to be fast, okay? Because you have no idea how low I'm going to go on this oh deal. Gosh. So I'm going to ask for a minute clock. I want to see 100 of you. Okay, I want to see 100 of you. I have 151 available. I think probably the 51 are gone, but I want to see 100 of you on the phone lines now. I'm going one crash. Oh, I'm going wow. one massive deal. Oh, I'm not going to go yes. 499, 299. I'm going to go right down to double figures. Oh, I'm going to allow you guys to multi-buy. If you trust me, if you know what we're about here at Jewelry Maker, if you trust us, then I'm going to say to all of you right now, my advice, not investment advice, not anything like that, my advice for the Van Cleef Ruby, yes. for the legendary East African lost Longido deposit, then you're going to want to multi-buy. Caroline, you've multi-bought. Yes, Virginia, you've multi-bought. Cheshire, you've multi-bought. Surrey, you've multi-bought. But I am not going to go to this one big crash if I haven't got 100 of you. And, and do you know what, Dave? We've got ge gemstones here which are uh, uh, near, as you say, fables. Now, these are extinct and, as well, Yeah, ones. precisely. And when you think about, you know, original Russian uh, Alexandra, Alexandrite. You Brazilian know, Pariba. I've never seen that before. You Brazilian Pariba. Yep. You know, we're talking about the rarest of the rare. And this is that kind of but near still, No, no, no. I need another minute clock. I want to say 100 people. Yeah, so this, is, is, yeah. this is a game of trust right now. I'm trusting you guys to show me that you're going to be on the phone lines. And I'm telling you I'm going to go to a ridiculous deal. I'm telling yeah. you to multi-buy, but I want to see all of you one foul swoop. Um, but you're right. You know, we talk about Aurelian uh, Alexandra, you know, from the, from the yes. Russian Ural Mountains. We talk about Brazilian prayer, but those are niche gemstones. Extraordinarily rare, beautiful. Yes. This is ruby. Yeah, this is ruby. This is exactly. ruby. It's yeah. the ultimate gemstone. Yeah. Every gem, every gem house in the world has worked with record-breaking rubies, yes. whether it is Cartier, whether it is Tiffany, whether it is Van Cleef, whether it's Boucheron, whether it's Bulgari, even Harry Winston yes. and Lawrence Graff, who are f famed and renowned and synonymous with diamonds. They've all worked with the legendary rubies. Mm. It's the most expensive colored gemstone on the planet yes. throughout history. Absolutely. And we've got a chance right now to bring you one of the most famous rubies that has ever existed. Mm. The legendary, unparalleled, remarkable, pigeon blood red top gem, Longido Tanzanian Ruby from the 1970s, 49.99. Oh, wow. That's your deal. Brilliant. That's your deal. And we're talking about, you know, you know, some of the largest gems from this deposit. Wow. Five, five carats, six carats, $10,000 a carat, oh, wow. you know, 12, 15 years ago. Here's your material, 49.99, one big crash. I told you to trust me. I told you I wouldn't let you wow. down. We've told you we're going to double figures and this is your opportunity right now. 151 collectors are gonna have the opportunity to work with this material. And do you know what, Neary just checked that price five times before he wrote it in there. <laughs> that, that, is, that is unbelievable. This yeah. is the most if, if, I tell you, you'd be lucky to get a strand, but when you do get it, you're gonna say to yourself, why didn't I get three or four? Yes, exactly, yeah when it's £24.99 interest-free yep. split payments. It's not just the colour. It's not just the fluorescence. What Adam's managed to capture here on the left of your screen yes, yes. is the transparency. Yes, absolutely. You know, the, the insane clarity of these neon, pigeon blood red rubies. Mm. Rubies have this tendency to go too dark, too purple. They look yes. like garnets. This material is unmistakably top gem ruby absolutely and every single one of you all of you have the same opportunity before you mm -hmm. right now you have the opportunity to multi-buy on a ruby the, the largest most prestigious jewelry house in paris fell in love with in the 1970s they pretty much bought all the production of this material and because of our contacts because of our relationships yes. with the people in the industry we have one exquisite moment snatched from, from the kind of pages of the history books on your screen right now as part of our coveted collection. This isn't just a ruby strand. 
It isn't just a ruby auction. It isn't just a pretty gemstone. It's the ruby. And we're talking about an opportunity before you right now in double figures and with split payments. Take advantage. Tracy's got five, Judith's got two, Gabrielle's got two, Alison's got two, Maker's got two. The amount of multi bidders is absolutely crackers. It's brilliant. Well done. The luster, the clarity, the providence, the quality, the history, the near mythical kind of location of this incredible gemstone. Uh, uh, this, this, you know, forty nine ninety nine is an absolute joke of a price. You know it, I know it. It's absolutely tremendous. It's yours today. Well done, everyone. All right, so you know what? Fascinated. Apparently. We've still got, what, 60 of these left? What? We're going again. We're going we're gonna to go again. I, I don't even, look, I can ask to see 100 of you on the phone lines, or 60 of you, or however many's left. But what I can do is just give you a price that they're gone for, but you'll never see them again. I asked for a minute clock, and this is it. It's up to you now. It's completely on you. I am going, to, again, I'm bringing you the finest rubies, extremely excited by this. And we have an opportunity. I'm not putting them back in the vault. We could save these for another day. Uh, we could put 60 back in the vault. I don't ever want to do that. Reverse price auction, okay? And sometimes, like I said, we lose. You know, sometimes we do. And today you're going to get the chance right now. And you are going to have in your collection, in your heirloom collection, whether you work with them now or in mm. 10 years, you get them out and you know you've got the Longido rubies, the ones you read about the ones that the auction houses talk about. You know, when we talked about uh, Lotus gemology, mm -hmm. and they said, you know, they're the most notable deposits. In fact, I'll show you. We went to the lab, didn't we, in Bangkok? I am going again in 20 seconds, but I'll, I'll show you right now. Um, so you went to the lab. No, right. Look, when they talk about yes. the legendary locations, go. second to Myanmar, yep. second to Lukian, Mozambique, and Tanzania. This is the Tanzania. And it's not just any Tanzania. It's Longido. Mm. It's the John Saul Ruby. And you've got a, a huge carat weight. You've got transparent gems. Right, you ready? 39.99. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. It's what we do. It's what we do. It's so stupid. It is what we do for every single one of you. Wow. A, a huge, huge, huge congratulations. And just going over what Dave said again, and I've read, I, I've read an Oh my God, get that split pay off the screen. What are we oh, doing? What? We, we're, we're still offering split, split pay. pay. Look. Take advantage. You were waving to John Winspear earlier on up there, yeah, weren't well, you? He's going to come back in a minute and go, yeah. Yeah, that is Ooh, I'll get our, you, I'll get you. He's kind of our head accountant or finance director, I don't know, what is yeah. it? Something like that. He's the guy, he's a bean counter, isn't he? He's a big cheese. And uh, he's yeah. the big cheese and he's not going to be happy with this moment right now. But every single one of you should be. Um, we are empowered here to make these kind of on-the-cuff decisions. Um, we, we are on your screens, we're live. Yes. We're not putting gemstones back in the vault, we're putting them in your collections. And like I said, we, we win and we lose. And right now, you've got this epic, oh my gosh, incredible, incredible ruby opportunity yep. for thirty nine ninety nine. Absolutely. I, I went to uh, a supermarket last night with my daughter mm. um, and we're looking, you know, because I'm a terrible dad. I'd left getting the Halloween oh, don't, outfit don't to the last that. minute. No, no, she told me that. She was like, I can't believe you've left it so last minute. I was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, you know, I thought they're going to have loads. I've seen it all, all week, but I never thought to buy anything. It gone? Went there. And there was some stuff. It didn't fit her perfectly, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got her a little witch's outfit. I uh, got her like the last hat on the shelf, it's all crumpled. The last puppy. And on the to shelf. make it up to her, I was like, right, there's like a concession up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, um, it's Claire's accessories. Um, and <laughs> you just love it, don't you? Well, she loves it. You buy it, all the But it's just right there. She, they get me every time. Box. It's in a supermarket. I walked in. She was like, well, Dad, can you get me some earrings? Oh. And I was like, oh gosh. So I looked at them, silver plated. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I looked at the back of the price. Right. And I was like, what am I doing? This is like madness. I'm, I'm, but I'm doing it. I'm actually going to buy them. because mm. She's got me on the guilt level. Mm, so mm. I'm just going to do it. Mm. And I bought them. And I'm talking to you right now. And I'm offering you Longido Ruby from the famed John Saul mine from the 1970s. No one can get you this material unless it's coming out of a vault. Yes, unless it's coming out of a safe. Whether that's in Geneva or in uh, uh, Bangkok. This is like the ultimate material. We, we saw a ring make its way to Bonhams. And they said the present uh, owner has held this in safekeeping since the 1970s, and it sold for $61,000. Oh. Someone, someone somewhere, has held these rubies for the same amount of time. Yes. And imagine if they just tuned on right now. And like, Those are my rubies. That's Dave. It was yeah. 40 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. It's, it's crazy. It's insane. Makes Dang. zero sense. But I tell you what it does do. It makes the phone lines extremely busy. Of course it extremely does. Extremely busy.
Fantastic. This is absolutely brilliant. Well done to everybody who's coming through. Still got genuine chances remaining. Kelly, you've got four well in your basket in the Orkney Islands. My goodness me, check out your baskets as soon as we can. That is absolutely uh, brilliant. Well done. Just incredible. Have you got time, Dave? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, sorry. I thought you were going to finish the question. No, I've sorry. Got, I've got time. I, just, I, didn't, I didn't know whether they, did they... I mean, are we all right to do... We've got, we've got some Taipei Black Jade out for you. Okay. Are we okay to do these? Yeah. We're, 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 which one do you want to start with? The big rounds? Okay. Okay, this is your opportunity right now to right. acquire uh, a strand of Black Jade out. It's Taipei. It is the, the Imperial Black, and right. you guys know what that means. We're not talking about the chicken skin grade, which is mottled with the yes, greys and the, the whites. Grade. This is that Imperial beautiful uh, uh, gemstone, 100% mm -hmm. natural. We're gonna get the graphics in right now for these. How many do I have, Neri? 70 carats. It's huge, isn't it? 73 okay, well, chances. That is un unbelievable. We've okay, I'm gonna, do you, I'm gonna do you a crazy, crazy deal on this, okay? Because we, we know uh, that's what you want today. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about the two distinct species of Burmese black jade acts, okay? So Burmese black jadeite mm. can really be classified in two different and distinct varieties yes. or indeed species. Okay, the first being the omphacite jadeite, which is what you've got the chance to own right now. And the second being known as burnt chicken skin jadeite. <laughs> okay? They say omphacite jadeite is the far rarer than mm. the burnt chicken skin uh, and exceptionally smoother in a uniform texture and color. That is the material that you've got right now. The yes. opportunity to get yourself the Imperial Omphacite Stop. Taipei Black Jade Eye is, is on your screen right now. You've got 70 carats. Oh. Um, I just need to borrow the clicker. Sorry, Neri. This is, this is exceptional stuff. Look at that. But this is the chicken skin. Yes. That I want is, to show you right really now. It's really lovely. Look, it's not a derogatory term. Mutton fat is, is a pigeon blood. <laughs> These terms are, are kind of just really showcasing. Yeah. What you, what you should be witnessing. Yes. That's, that's the black jade eye we usually get the chance to bring you. Uh -huh. you know, this material oh. here, burnt chicken skin jade eye. But what we're bringing you right now is yeah. this. Is Imperial this. black omphacite jade eye with 70 really carats. And the prices for this material are some of the most expensive in Manaman. For those of you that are tuned in right now, I'm going to be going uh, to uh, Hong Kong. In, in a matter of days. Are you? Yeah, I'm gonna take every single one of you with me. You're gonna see what this material commands in the local marketplace. You're gonna see, you know, what people are willing to pay for this material, because it is so rare, the omphacite, that imperial, unbelievable surface-like finish. You can yes. see it here, nice and close up, showcasing an incredible the return of light. reflection of yeah, the absolutely. light box in there, that's amazing. Uh, and I want you to understand why we talk about the imperial material. Mm. So, imperial, Many of you know this, but I just want to speak to the new collectors. Imperial refers to the texture of the jade eye, mm. okay? That's why we say imperial green and not just imperial. So jade eye, um, GIA says, has a smooth, even texture that makes people want to touch and hold it. Yes. Jade eye's texture can be fine, medium, or coarse, depending on variations in the crystal size and hardness. These texture categories are sometimes called, you know, respectively old mine for the fine material. Uh, relatively old mine for the medium material and new mine then for the coarse material. It's not about a window of when it was mined. It's about the material. I'll show mm. two pictures there. Fine texture or old mine and chicken skin, which is coarse, which the is coarse new mine. Texture, yes. And uh, there's an in-color article to, to the right here that says, there is an old Chinese saying for evaluating jade. Beginners will emphasize color while experts emphasize texture. Mm. The texture has long been considered a crucial factor in the appreciation of jade including jade eye jade since ancient China. A texture reflects the aesthetic value of internal beauty. Lovely. 70 carats, one of the, I think it is the biggest strand in terms of a carat weight we have done of the imperial black jade eye. This is gonna be your opportunity. I'm gonna ask for a minute clock. I'm gonna give you an incredible deal on this. And this is what it is. It's that, it's that dense color, that, that, that completely beautiful, silky, texture that solid fine extra fine texture that you are getting here thinking back to some of the carvings we've done that lovely smoky gray one that double-sided one that we've done that would most definitely i would describe that as a chicken skin kind of coarse quality what you're getting here is that density that beautiful um uh, solid black quality uh that's super super tactile that's super super glossy and beautiful 27 sorry 26 seconds and then we're going to be bringing your price point on screen today. Okay, I'm just going to let you know right now I've got 70 opportunities 
And today, I've done some crazy deals on the rubies, and I'm actually, yep. I'm going to absolutely do a crazy deal on this as well. 70 carats of Imperial Omphysite Jade. If you want this, you want to work with it in your collection, you want to have this unbelievable strand. It's mm. 25 centimeters. You know, you want to put a clasp on it. You want to mix it with the incredible pearls yes, that we see uh, from, from Linda when she brings you those. Then it's going to happen right now. It's going to happen. 70 carats for every single one of you. Ready? It's going to go. You know, you, you've asked me if I had time. You've seen the deals I'm doing. This is on you guys you because I'm going to do it. 49.99 is oh your deal. My gosh, it's your deal. There are 70 it. opportunities. It is a massive no. catway. Yeah, go for it. Multi buy oh. if you want. It's ridiculous. You've seen what I'm doing today, and every single one of you is more than welcome to be a part of it. That it's 49.99. That is crazy. On, on 70 carats of natural type A imperial. Uh, on for site black jade. Right? We've got no more black jade rounds on order. No, 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 no more. No, no. Nothing else. But this is part of the reason I'm going to Hong Kong. You know, we know what's happening in the, the global marketplace. Yes. We know the mines are no longer active. We know that no yeah. one's bringing out this material. And this is one of the rarest varieties, the imperial Taipei black jade right? with that wonderful surface finish. Uh, Cheshire, Cambridgeshire, Fife. We've got Kent, we've got Swansea, Lanarkshire, yeah, County yeah. Durham, Surrey, multi buyers. Absolutely, make it, take advantage of it. 70 counts carrots right now and almost exclusively every single one of you is multi-buying and I don't blame you because I've just taken this to 49.99. Taipei completely natural and a bit like Absolutely. Dave said has, has, has said in previous weeks actually you know we can bring you jadeite if you're happy to get the kind of the type B uh, pieces which are you know going to be either treated or filled but to be able to get your natural type I mean look just just even here even here this is from like a wholesaler yeah. okay uh, who's yeah, based in China they're, they're one of the few websites that translates their offering into English. Yep. You can see on the far left there, um, this exceptionally rare, exceptionally rare bracelet is a thousand dollars wholesale. And each of their pieces is named. That's called Dark Matter. Then you've got the Ring of Eternity, Heaven's Portal, Cosmic Reflections. You've got a massive carrot weight here, 70 carats for every single one of you. Virginia, yeah. you've bought four. Lanarkshire, you've bought two. Uh, Richard, you've bought two. Fife, you're there. Cheshire, well Swansea. Done. Every single one of you is more than welcome to take advantage of these auctions today. Yeah, we are going super low on our deals. Huge congratulations to everybody. You know how uh, rare well this incredible material is. It's just, it's, it's, it's unbelievable quality. Right, wow, one more I deal before you. I leave you. Okay. Um, and, and I know you've got an incredible masterclass coming up. What I'm yes. going to bring you right now. Oh, I can't wait. So there's four of these in the world. There's four. Oh, gosh. It is a is type it A. Yeah. You can <gasps> see it. 150 carats. Bangle. Black jadeite bangle. And you're going to see the quality. I'm going to tell you right now to every single one of you, you've seen the deals I'm doing. I'm going to do an incredible deal on this. Um, I know that I won't have the chance to get you more of this material. Oh my gosh. Like that's one of the reasons I'm going to Hong Kong. Take a look at this exceptional material. It's completely natural. It's oh. four in the world. Wow. Oh and it's that continuation. Gosh. This isn't broken. This isn't sawn into two uh, and hinged. This is one epic bangle. That you get the chance that to noise. own right now. Yeah, that's natural jade, no polymer. If it was polymer, it wouldn't have that pitch. Minute clock, four available. Oh. I'm gonna start the clock right now. You, if you all check out, it's gone. But I'm gonna give you a minute. I'm gonna give you a minute to decide if this is the piece that you wanna own. It is that unbelievable bangle. And I told you, oh. if you've tuned in for any of this morning this and you've seen the deals that we're doing, this is gonna be in the same vein. Okay? What should we be looking at for, for a black jade bangle? Thousands. Especially oh, in the current marketplace. They're only thousands. selling type B and type C right now. But in 35 seconds, mm. I'm taking 150 carats of type A black jade out for you to a ridiculously low price. Like I said, there's more of you on the phone lines than we have yep. available. There are Most only definitely. four, and it is 150 carats. And that's conservative. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this is closer to 200. Uh, 56 to 58 millimetres across. So it's one of the slightly smaller bangles that we do here. Um, uh, but it is absolutely... Well done, Susan. You've got it. There's, oh, yeah, there's well only done, a, a few... Well, there's three opportunities, but there's, yep. I don't know how many people. It goes off my screen queuing for this. Three, two, one. My final deal. Always like to leave you on the best deal for that. Oh, gosh. 299. 299. I said there's more of you on the phone lines than we have in availability. 150 carats. I've got 204 carats here as well, I knew. Dave. I know. That's crazy. Yeah, That's absolutely. absolutely crazy. So what, you're getting like 50 carats and we're not even pricing it. 
Look at that. Yeah, there you Just go. Just incredible. 204.80.797 something carats. Absolutely incredible. Right, take advantage. Oh, wow. Patricia, I can see you're interested as well. Um, uh, this is your opportunity today as well. Well done. Tynan Weir, Hampshire, Greater Manchester, Greater London, um, Durham. So many of you on the phone lines trying to get hold of this. We are at 299 for this sensational bangle. Yeah, we'll sort split pay out for you as well. If you do want to take advantage of that on split payments, um, it will be either two or three split payments that we'll sort out for you. But yeah, no problem. Speak whatsoever. to the contact centre. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Well done. Dave, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so um, much. Lovely. And um, what, what's this? Tomorrow what? You know. No. Right, Adam, Adam, who's directing, myself and Adam, uh, when was it? I don't know, this, before this show. We were both uh, in, in the, the, the room where we have all the gemstones and we're doing the recordings. And I there want to is see this. I've a got huge. It. I don't know, do we actually have it, Adam? Probably don't have it right now, do we? What does he say? Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Again. Oh my God. What do you mean you'll take it? I'm what about this. Why can't I? Um, oh my gosh, Dave. That's obscene. Brazilian natural paraba. Oh my gosh, it's Tomorrow huge. Tomorrow is the ultimate showcase, okay? You have the opportunity tomorrow to acquire this. Um, so what time's the show, Wayne? And 10. 10 a.m., Brazilian Praeba is gonna be available for every single one of you tomorrow. It's gonna be the fastest selling showcase ever. I hope to see you all there. Um, Carol, thank you so much for this. Not morning. at all. Incredible. I know Linda has the amazing uh, masterclass coming up, which is gonna be yeah. sensational. And I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a couple of seconds for our masterclass with Linda. This one's an absolute beauty. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. We're going. We're going. But we're going. We're, we're all going. going. To the Creative Craft Show at the Birmingham NEC from Thursday the 3rd to Sunday the 6th of November. We'll be bringing goodie bags, a tombola, and a chance for you to meet your favourite guests and presenters across all channels. Not to mention the opportunity to shop and to be inspired by some of the best crafting brands around. And because we're going, you can get discounted tickets of up to 40% by using the code BIRMINGHAM40. And logging on to creativecraftshow.co.uk. So, come and meet the family. Between the 3rd and 6th of November at the Birmingham NEC. At the Creative Craft Show. See, See you there. there. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. What a gorgeous masterclass this is going to be today. Um, Linda, we were just chatting about these on the break. This was such a beautiful project that you worked on pre-COVID pre to start off with. Pre-COVID was the first, yeah, in the summer, oh. pre-COVID. I remember, um, was it a DVD that you did? And I filmed it with you. Did we do a DVD? Did we? Yes. I don't know, I really can't remember that. Yes. I ought to remember that, hadn't I? I remember, okay. yes, yeah. it was brilliant. Um, th these are such fun, beautiful pieces. They make wonderful Christmas decorations. They make wonderful things to have around the home. They make wonderful things to accessorize makeup bags with purses. I love what you've done here with this makeup bag, um, Linda. This is just uh, beautiful with the uh, babushka um, uh, face. It's just, it's just gorgeous. It's kind of... Um, Babushka inspired design is just, oh, it's so, it's so, um, it's, it's quite kitsch. Yes. It's really retro. It's just gorgeous. I love I mean, it. A lot of the, um, well, uh, department stores like John Lewis, just to name one, I think Selfridges as well, um, over the past couple of years have really featured Russian type Christmas decorations yes absolutely and um obviously babushka which I oh. think means old lady or it means yes. granny doesn't look it like <laughs> she's it? a bitch she's had a lot of yeah. work done if but, it is yeah um yeah um is along there i mean i do oh. a complete nutcracker tree at christmas yes <laughs> excuse me and when i first did that nutcracker tree I bought some glass babushka ornaments from oh. John Lewis because of the Russian relationship. And do you know what? Um, uh, 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 designs like this, um, I remember going to, um, uh, very luckily, uh, going to Blenheim Palace last Christmas uh, to their light trail and, and you go and visit the house as well and their entire, the entire house is decorated like um, the Nutcracker and it was absolutely beautiful. Um, when you're making these kinds of pieces, the most difficult part to make, obviously, is the face. The most difficult thing to capture is the face. And if you're not necessarily an artist, if you can't, if you're not that confident drawing freehand, it is the most difficult thing to do. Which is why we've got these really awesome cabs. Look at those, aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful little um, uh, nesting dolls. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? One of them's got a little hood on. Isn't that beautiful? So sweet. Now. We've got a cup chain bundle coming up, which is this. We've also got the makeup bags coming up, which is beautiful. They're called little pouches, but they're actually kind of little makeup bags. Well, I'd use it as a makeup bag anyway. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, maybe a little wash bag because it is slightly, it's got like a little waterproof lining in it. So great to be able to use it as a travel wash bag as well. But yeah, really, really gorgeous. Beautiful velvet quality on there. So we've got those kits coming up as well, but let's get cracking with these. Cracking. <laughs> Uh, with these gorgeous kits here. You've got, um, oh, this stuff I haven't seen for years. This is so brilliant. You've got your black beading foundation. Now, this is like a very stiffened felt almost, which is wonderful to stitch and to glue onto. It's about the size of, the a of, of, of an A4 piece of paper, there or thereabouts. You've then got ultra suede, which is in this beautiful dark green color, um, uh, which is absolutely beautiful stuff. It feels like a chamois leather almost. And it's wonderful to go on the back of your beading foundation to hide your stitch work, to really make whatever it is you're wearing nice and comfortable against your skin. It's a really soft kind of almost like a moleskin quality. You're then gonna be getting a strand of shell pearls in silver. You've got a gorgeous cup chain, a meter of cup chain. 
um, in this beautiful um, uh, kind of almost salon red. It's absolutely beautiful, ruby red. That's like a Songhia ruby, isn't it? That's incredible. Uh, red, you've got a meter of that. Then you're gonna be getting your seed beads. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's so festive and beautiful. You've got um, uh, jet black seed beads. You've got galvanized gold. You've got white salon. And then you've got this gorgeous color, which is, it looks like a sea foamy, kind of bluey greeny almost. Can you see those there? They're lovely. These little pots of um, size 11 seed beads. Really lovely colors there. Now, you're also going to be getting one, two, three of these beautiful cabs uh, with the uh, beautiful little face on. Now, that could be a fairy, that could be a ballerina, it could be a, obviously a babushka, it could be what, you know, whatever you want it to be. They're just so beautifully done. That's the hard work taken out of it, in my opinion, anyway. Already loads of people coming through to get this. Love these. These are going to be such fun projects to work on and um, over the next few weeks, over the next few uh, months. Don't forget, we're only kind of a month away from December over the festive um, uh, season. You know, being able to make these for people as little gifts. The little heirlooms as well. You know, they when the totally kids, you know, are. when the kids, when they when they first start school and they go through their school life yeah. and they make Christmas decorations. Yes. Oh, one moment I've still got one. Yeah. Uh, the clog. Yeah. The clog. The clog. That I made Very out of paper mache. It's a dreadful piece, but they've you still know, got but it. No, it's but it, it it's sort of emotional, isn't it? It's of a it lot is. of love that's gone into it. And these can be um, like little hereditary Christmas decks. Yes, absolutely. We're going to take this lower than we should do today, all the way down. Loads of you there. This is great to see, and it's literally endless what you can do with these whatever you want you can add different fabrics on there so they look like they're wearing little fur coats 29.99 so much fun to work with these they are gorgeous and they're going to get you into that festive uh, spirit whether it's autumn whether it's uh you know whether it's going to be whether it's going to be christmas you know whatever it's for i just love the fact you can dress them up in whatever you like whatever seed beads you've got whatever uh kind of colors you want to we've got loads of cup chain coming up as well sharon maker maker in northamptonshire joanne allison maker's got four in the basket well done to you and a great little way of making gifts also because on the back as well they're going to be nice and flat you can write on the back maybe with your sparkly pens maybe with your silver or gold pens a date or kind of who it's for or when it was made or whatever it might be also flat enough to be able to put in an envelope and put you know with a christmas card you yeah know, you could use them in your card craft couldn't yes. you put them on a, on a card as you say you can also put a brooch back on them oh wonderful i like on that a, on a, on a uh, winter coat yeah. most definitely what a lovely idea yeah make them into brooches pam gabrielle maker 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 sharon well done to you northamptonshire carmarthenshire well done to you we've got the same kit but kind of different now um beautiful beautiful kit i love these so much um yeah this is a lovely lovely kit black beading foundation red ultra suede oh that's lovely you've got your three beautiful faces that's nice yeah red for the backing is really nice and that you know you, you know if you do decide to stitch onto that or to draw onto that or to or to or to write on that then that will show it really nicely you've then got your seed beads in gold galvanized gold and um, salon dark uh, opaque red and black these these are so such such, such popular colors you've got kind of your base colors there which are wonderful and red which of course for christmas is incredible you've then got your shell pearls in gold oh that's nice that's not like a nutcracker gold isn't it and then you're also going to be getting this beautiful this beautiful um, uh, kind of almost Bristol glass blue cup chain. The gorgeous thing with this cup chain, as you will see on, on the pieces that Linda's created, is the fact you can articulate it, you can bend it and move it. It's so supple, isn't it, Linda? Mm -hmm, absolutely. And look, you can cut it up as well yeah. as Linda's shown us there as well and demonstrated there beautifully. 29.99 we've got a big cup chain bundle coming up as well, which is absolutely brilliant loving loving the look of these they're just gorgeous and what's so nice is you can go for any color combination you like you can choose just to use the head um like michael's uh, showing us here uh there's a look there's the blue cup chain with it as well and the gold um seed beads doesn't that look gorgeous i love that that's almost kind of like a slightly kind of buddhist little kind of uh, kind of indonesian yeah kind of with the babushkas or matryoshkas whatever you want to call them yes, they do have it. slightly they, they're all jewelled and um, mm. uh, and sort of 
brightly coloured, mm. but there's all lots of different shapes that you can do for the, for the sort of at the head piece. Yes, encrusted with that cup chain. It looks like it's encrusted with jewels, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. Gabrielle Joan, uh, well done to you, Mary Maker. Maker's got four in her basket. Well done to you. Gorgeous, gorgeous kits. Beautiful. Um, now, we've got a cup chain bundle coming up. We've also got these beautiful little kits with multicoloured French wire. Yep. And these bags, and you've also got found. This is incredible. Before we do, any, before we do these in the, and, the, and the demo, we're going to give you the cup chain bundle. This has got to be a star buy. So Cup Chain is an amazing product, uh, which we originally got from, um, we originally got it from um, Swarovski when we used to source Swarovski. Obviously, they don't make things like this anymore. Uh, so we've got crystal here. Uh, and these will be kind of, I, I imagine, Czech crystals or maybe crystal made in China. And you've got them in your Cup Chains. Loving the colours here. Very festive. Um, very festive. Nothing to say that festive colours need to be reds, golds, greens, silvers. Um, Linda, I know you absolutely adore Christmas and kind of go for kind of different colour themes every so often, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I absolutely do. But as far as this cup chain is concerned, I just think these colours are just incredible. Mm. You know, they work so well together and they are so jewel-like. Yes, and that's it, isn't it? Yeah. It's those gemstone jewel saturated tones which you're getting here. I would love a bracelet just made like yeah. that like that i mean that for me would be absolutely perfect you can see and sense can't you how fluid this cup chain is just by how it drapes how it moves how articulated um uh, it is you can easily take this apart by the way the cup chain and, and kind of fit it back together if, you, if you've got the patience of a saint you could take them apart and then connect them back together in a certain kind of order of colors if you really wanted i mean that would take a long time but it would look absolutely sensational now when we first launched cup chain we launched lengths like that okay 50 centimeter lengths for 20 quid and it was launched on christmas day a few years ago um absolutely brilliant so so 50 centimetre length, 20 quid, yeah? Today you are going to be getting one metre, two metres, three and a half metres, three and a half metres of your cup chain. Yeah, so that's about 100 and, 100 and what, sorry? Yeah, about 140 pounds worth, yeah, absolutely. Today, for the most ridiculous price and i did say this morning to niri i said look the 12 o'clock hour we've got the gorgeous kits but I, 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 I said the cup chain bundle has to be a star buy because of the price this is crazy this has got to be some kind of sick joke or mistake because this is nuts wow 29 pounds 79 pence oh my gosh do you know prior to us having this come in to mm. stock yeah um i went to the miniatura um show at the nec up the road um in March, and what show, sorry, miniature because I I'm I create dolls houses. As oh well. wow! And um, I bought I had no cup chain left whatsoever, yes. and I desperately wanted some for a particular. I wanted to make this chandelier in the dolls house. Yes. Oh. And um, wow, I was yeah. I went to one of the um, the dealers there. Mm. It was the only one who'd got any cup chain. Mm. And she said, this is the last I'm going to have because I can't get it. Yes, of course. And um, so I bought her what she'd got left and she charged me a pound an inch. Oh, gosh. I snapped it up because she said, I can't get hold of any more. This is the last of us. <laughs> Well, you, know, you are getting a considerably lower deal than that. I mean, I know it's not Swarovski, but who cares? This is amazing. Linda, Susan, Virginia, Yvonne, Maker, Gabrielle, Joan, Wendy, Margaret, Venetia, Mary, Elizabeth, Maker, Maker, Elizabeth, well done to you. Guess what? We're not done. Just checking, Neri. How many do we have, love? Oh, I've got almost 200 of these. Now... Not that you've done this with it, but, but the cup chain is, 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 is so wonderful. You can sew this onto cushions, sew this onto the edge of curtains, mm, yeah, sew it's... this around, I don't know, napkins, make your own napkin rings with this. I mean, you can literally use it as yeah, an just, edging, can't just you? Just literally, almost. yeah. 
Just sort of do a little bit of research and, um, oh, gosh. you know, have a tennis bracelets. You can create tennis bracelets using these. A cup of is £50, not £20. I gifted it to myself like Christmas. Oh, Wanda, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Alex. Right, so, tell you what, Mr Wanda. How about a Christmas treat for you? All the way down. Oh, yeah, this is ridiculous. All the way down. Can't believe we're doing this. This is absolutely bonkers. Wow. We're going to get in so much trouble. 19.99. Ha! Ah, well done. That is just... Don't you just want to touch it? I oh, know. It's, it's very gorgeous. tactile, isn't it? I mean, imagine you could use it in your jewellery as, as um, tassel drops. Yes! Or just as, you know, earrings. Earrings! Yeah. And it's beautifully made. You can look... It's all claw set. Ooh, earrings. It's beautifully made. Look at all these bab... Oh, yeah. Oh! I know they're a bit pap butcher. Mine are sideburns, Michael. Mine are sideburns. But they are... Bonza, they are gorgeous. <laughs> I know they are a bit much, aren't they? I mean, I kind of, you know, you know, maybe not do quite as much as that. Oh, collar, oh, a choker. There's oh, so much my you can word. do with them. I mean, stitch Goodness it around the, the little makeup bag. You could literally stitch it around, or you could write "Merry Christmas" <laughs> or something on it, couldn't you? Yes, just hiding the COVID chins there. I think as well. What are you are you talking about kind of physically writing? Yeah, this? you can physically write with it because it's so tactile. Um, you could write Noel or whatever oh, Christmas Noelle, thingy yes. onto the onto the, the little velvet bag. Yeah, do you know what? You're absolutely right, mind you. If I try and do this, Linda, I'm going to spell all sorts of things. Do you remember that time we needed them? <laughs> yeah, I do. We needed the word. Yeah, we, 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 we won't go the right there. <laughs> we won't go there. No, that says, I think that's about the limit of my, uh, my writing there. My cup chain. It does say no. Don't you dare say it doesn't say anything. Right. Well done. Uh, gorgeous. Um, flying. Yeah, right. Let's do these other two kits very, very quickly. Um, pink, or blue, pink or blue, which one? Oh, oh, sorry, blue. Yeah, blue. Let's go with blue. Sorry, I'm miles away. She, well, I don't know where she was then. She was back doing that wire writing yeah, demo she did about actually. eight years ago. You're right. What was. have you written? Oh, my gosh, no. <laughs> right, so you've got here a gorgeous black satin uh, cord, which is gorgeous. Um, what's it described? Is this French wire? Describe yeah, I mean... Um, if you do gold work, which is basically oh. doing embroidery, is gold work and white uh, white work. Gold work, you're using the gold um, French chain and that. Um, we got the, it, this in on the uh, on prospect that I would do some gold work on the show, but we, when uh, I got the babushkas again, I just said to the powers that be, look, let's put this French wire in with these because oh it's it's so useful and it, it sort of delineates in between say cup chains and things that you can just use it as extra decoration so if you look at the uh, at the, uh, the beautiful wash bag that um uh, linda's made you can see she's got this kind of little bit of edging it creates a little border doesn't it? it's so sweet yeah i mean you can border. use it at any point at all anywhere yeah. either as a little filler or a, a little um, you could sort of create little holly leaves or something like that on yes, perhaps nice. the dress, you know? What a lovely idea. You've got your, um, you've got your uh, linen square as well, which, of course, you can stitch onto as well. And then you've got your little wash bag, purse, pencil case, whatever you want to use it as, makeup bag, brush bag. Uh, it's slight, it's kind of, can you hear that? It's got like a waterproof kind of quality to it, so it should be, a, you know, like great for a little travel um, uh, bag. Um, I love this. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I love things like this. It's a beautiful black velvet pouch that you're going to be getting here uh, with all of this. OK, price point coming on any second now. This is absolutely uh, gorgeous. It's going to fly. I love this. It's just something a bit different. Enjoy every second of this. Use it with the kits that we've just bought you. They're brilliant. Use it with the gorgeous cup chain as well. My goodness me. Talk about different um, uh, kind of materials and mediums working together. How wonderful. Yours today. Enjoy. Loving these blues and greens. They're just gorgeous. And the jet black. So nice with the silver as well. All the way down, my lovelies. Enjoy. Yeah, gorgeous. Well done. Here we go. Fourteen ninety-nine. There you go. Absolutely stunning. There you go, everyone. Oh eight hundred 
Six triple four, six double five. Go, 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 go. Well done, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. Phone lines going absolutely nuts. Jane, Margaret, Sarah, Elizabeth, Jacqueline, Joan, well done to you, my lovely. Uh, 14 pounds, 99 pence. What get that? And I can just imagine people going, oh, I'm going to put Shibori on that. Oh, I'm going to do this mm. with it. I'm going to do this. It, it gives you the opportunity to use this in so many different ways, doesn't it? Well, and for exactly for what purpose you want it to be. I mean, I would use it as a makeup bag because yes, me it's, too. you know, the lining is white. Yes. I don't know about you, but the lining in my makeup bags, they get so grubby, don't they? They, they yeah. do get really grubby, yes. Yes, so the, a really, really valid point that, and, you know, you know, big enough for a kind of a toothbrush or, you know, just a little overnight bag like that. You could pop a, piece of, uh, uh, pop a couple of pieces of jewellery in there as well, but absolutely brilliant, gorgeous. Or a little sort of grab bag at evening, little you evening know, it's grab a nice bag idea, actually, yeah. especially if you put the babushka, babushka. heads on it as well yeah. and really embellish it. But you can personalise and put people's names on them. Mm -hmm. Great for weddings and things like that. You get these with kind of bride or, or mm -hmm. bridesmaid on them or, you know, whatever. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful, well done. Okay, let's do, let's do the last kit. Um, so exactly the same with your black cord, your little linen um, uh, square. You've got your you've got your little um, uh, velvet pouch, and then you've got your pink. Um, uh, you've got your pink um, French wire, pink, red, gold. Yeah, that's really really nice. Lovely colours, aren't they? If you feed a wire through this, you can plait with it. You can do all sorts with it. You know, you don't have to use it. Um, as a French wire, it's very, very easy to use in your jewellery, but great to create that those kind of borders, that kind of, we had Clasona yesterday, but, you know, great to create those kind of little sections, those compartments in your jewellery. Well done, Sarah Linda, Joan, uh, Maker, Maker, Maker in Wiltshire. Well done, 14 99 gorgeous. Oh, I can't, I've not seen a demo like this for such a long time, Linda. Right. Um, here we go. Let's let let's get right, on with it. It's one of those where you need to start really at the very beginning. I feel mm -hmm. so as you can just see what's come on screen is using the beading foundation. Brilliant. What I've done is I've created. I've just done this while Dave was on. I thought mm. I'd just get in front of myself a little bit. Yeah, so I'll awesome. just sort of talk you through it. It's 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 obvious really. So to draw the babushka, matryoshka, whatever you want, little Russian doll, mm. um, symmetrically, what I've done is I've created an eight centimetre by 12 centimetre rectangle. Mm. So just I've just used a uh, white felt tip um, pen and then and created, like, first of all, just popping and measuring my eight centimetres <coughs> and then again a bit further up <coughs> and then again a bit further up to that, excuse me, and then um, as you can see, I've put eight centimetres there across and then I've gone 12 centimetres down. And yep. then I've drawn a line through the centre, <coughs> OK, which is obviously four centimetres yeah. on the side. The reason for that is, uh, and also I've gone down one centimetre on that middle line and put a little mark. The reason being is the little um, babushka head is what really needs to go on first. More so because it's what creates the rest of it. It creates the outfit because she be just becomes alive. So that little mark there, um, I, on, on one or two that I've done, I should have bought the ones I made previously, but I apologise, I forgot. But just to place her on and then just glue her down, E6000, um, fabric glue, anything really that you've got to hand. Just glue that down, wait for that to cure a bit, probably about half an hour or so. So prep them before you want to start doing the uh, the embroidery. So if I put that little, the face there, and then what I'm gonna do for now is just draw around that. This is just to get the shape right. So I'll put that to one side. Now, what we've got to do first is create the shape of the, the doll that you want to. Um, now, it's entirely up to you. You can look, there's lots of, of pictures of babushka dolls uh, all over the, uh, the net. And it's up to you what shape you want her to be um, and what sort of hairline that you want. So what I decided to do was that sort of pointed one on this. So basically, I'm just drawing that on, on the one side. So I'm just going to go up to the point and then following the circle of the head and then just drawing a line across there and then trying as best as possible 
to do a mirror image over there. That's slightly larger. But what you can do, if you don't trust yourself to do a complete mirror image, don't worry too much because once it's embroidered up, you won't notice anything at all, any difference, but you could always cut it out by folding that middle line, cutting the one side, uh -huh. and then you'll get the mirror image on the other oh, side. Oh, So just from here now, we're just gonna come out in that sort of egg shape. Yes. To about there. And then because the, the stacking dolls, as they're known now, mm. um, stand, then I'll just put a flat base on yeah, okay lovely. so it's as simple as that to get going obviously you're going to glue on um your the, the little face which trust me it's much better to put that on than to leave it till afterwards because you are going to work yes. around it and um also it just it, i don't know you see more sort of it, the inspiration come flows a, a lot better on how yes, to dress absolutely. her. absolutely. So if I just put that to one side... Got the beading board on air. Don't, ignore that. That's where Claire McDonald drew on that. Was it? Sharpie. Yeah, oh, right, OK. OK, OK. She, she's always here. Even when she's not here, she's here. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, yeah. lovely. Right, so this is one I just started. Ooh, this cute. is I just started again. I can talk talk you through it and then add to it a little bit. But what I haven't mentioned is once you've uh, cut out your outline, mm. which do immediately. Don't work on the full piece of uh, beading foundation. Cut it out, and then trace around straight away before you've beaded. Trace around that onto your ultra suede. Ah, yeah. Okay. Um, because if you leave it till after you've beaded up you'll get a much larger uh, image there and then it could just be a little bit difficult to hide that with the beading around when you attach it. Um, so... Make a shoulder strap with the cup Absolutely. Thing, See, it's yes. in it, just, it just, just falls That's into awesome. place, I like doesn't that. it? Yeah. So basically, what, what I did next, I'll just get the... Uh, I'll just get a different colour just to go through it slightly, is I start working on all of them. I start working on around the hair first, the head. So it's just a matter of placing the cup chain, yep. which as Carol said is really malleable, mm. and working it around. Oh, cute. And then you can sort of cut it at a point, or you can cut it at any point with, if you if you see, there's a little bridge yeah. each side of each crystal. Mm -hmm. So just shorten it as a length where you know it will go all the way around. And in this particular design, yeah. I've left a little bit of loose there to sort of emulate um, like earrings yeah, from cute. the headdress. Yeah. So that then, um, if I just take the image of this, excuse me, my chalk back's just fallen out. Um, I'll take the image on the ultra suede that I did. So you then go around the face, mm. which should be there, okay? So just go around. Now, what I can advise you to do, it's entirely up to you, is at this point here, because you want that to be quite tight against the little face, mm. and then just leave this here to sort of move around a little mm. bit as sort of as I say, earrings or, or a jeweled. Uh, headpiece is um, that one there, which is the fourth. Sorry, which is oh, the God. fourth crystal up. Is on the back. You see, it's lovely and flat. Yes, nice. With this gilding, is you can put the tiniest drop of E6000 or um, even super glue if you're really? careful. Put okay. the super glue yeah. onto the back, which I, what I did at home. I put my super glue onto the back of a, a little bobble on the head pin, mm. and then. Just dropped it onto the back. Mm. The reason why I use the super glue or the E6000 is the bonding is quite quick. Yes. And then that just stabilizes. If you glue that down, it then stabilizes the, the, the cup chain and you can then start to stitch. So I'll just move on to this one. So it's just a matter of, I've got some white um, thread here but I advise you, that was, that was just so that you could see it better on, on the screen. What I advise you to do is use, on the black beading thread, use black, mm. uh, a black thread. It doesn't matter what thread, whether it's a normal cotton sewing thread, whether it's fire line, 
um, or whatever thread that you've got to hand, you can use that. You just thread it up. And then because this one's glued down, it's stabilised, I can hold that into place. And then I just come in from the back. Let me just put another piece on somewhere. Let's see where we can go. Let's yeah. see whether this one here will just sort of fit. Yeah, just fit nicely under there. Oh, I hadn't finished stitching that one. Just fit nicely under there as a sort of a little neckline. But what you could also do on that is to have an even longer piece, yeah. but put it on a little bit later when you've done the bodice and leave that dropping quite low. Again, as a little bit of movement, you know, yeah, if it's on lovely. the tree or something. It's entirely up to you. It's like, you know, when we were little, you dress the paper doll. Yeah, that's exactly what it's like, like isn't it? It's dress a doll, really. So you can just go for broke oh. on this because you want to make it as blingy as possible. Well, I do. That's the way. Yeah, definitely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring my thread through from the back. I've got a little knot on the end. I'm not going to glue this one on because it's a very short piece and then I put that into place and then the reason um, why that little I mean it is you really need to get it so that the crystals are uppermost and then as you you need to trap mm. don't forget that even if you do see the thread, don't panic about that because you are going to fill it with seed beads, etc. Of not course, more yeah. Thing. So now I'm just going to pop. There's the little bridge, okay, there in between the two crystals. So I'm just going to go, because I, I came in on the underneath section, I'll go on the top now and then simply, sorry if my hands get in the way, which is why I'm talking so much, is just to push that through and then get the cup chain. I mean, if you wanted to, there's no reason at all why you can't glue that first one on again. Mm. Get the cup chain just to nestle. at the right pig's ear of that one, right by the ear as well. Mm. Is just get that cup chain. If, if I push it down, oh gosh. It's like never work with babushkas or children. <laughs> or animals on yeah. There. So just get that cup Gorgeous chain thing. in place and then pull it into, with, with the thread, just pull in. Once yeah. you've got that first one in, you're fine. Yeah. And then just keep uh, a firm attachment at the back with the hand that you're holding the piece with. And then again, come in onto the next one. Or you, can, you could actually, on the shorter lengths, I'd put a stitch in between each crystal. Yeah. But on the longer lens, you could do every other one, uh, stitch it in okay. and it'll be fine. That one there, I hadn't finished off, as I said, so I need to pop that one back on in a moment. And again, just pop the needle like a stab stitch, just above where it um, appeared from the back. Mm -hmm. And again, you've got some more stability now. Uh, the first stitch is always... Um, the most difficult because yeah. you're trying to stabilise it at the same time. But just bury those um, the thread in between each crystal. If you find, as I probably will do later with this mm. one, that you've got a little bit short on the cup chain, you've cut it and it has gone a little bit short, then you can cut off just a single one and glue the single one on. Yeah. Okay? So, which is what I would do. So what we, I'm using, this is a, um, the tulip needles, mm. which you're, you, we have. I'm sure we've got some of those in stock because I've seen them today. Mm. The tulip needles are great. They've got a little, um, some gold around the, the, the hole eye. of the, the eye of the needle. Hole. The eye of the needle, which um, makes it easier to see to thread. Yeah, lovely. Um, this is a size... 12 this one is which uh -huh. is quite a fine needle um, and that's only because i know i'm going to be using seed beads um you will be fine with a 10 a 12 or a 13. okay um the 10 is probably the easiest one out of all of them there you go thread. here they are on screen for you today so um oh, let's just get that one in and then we can go on to the beading it's just a matter then of painting by numbers really yes. it's in filling um, with the ultra suede, you can also uh, take a pattern before you start beading. Yes. 
Take a pattern from your um, the shape that you have drawn and then cut out. If yeah. you then take a piece of parchment or even tracing paper and trace around that shape that you cut out, that you can then cut a pattern really to it enable you to... See, I could, with the red ultra suede, I could have cut that shape and stitch that oh, in Oh, I see. First. Yes, yes, lovely. And then, um, and then beaded on top, mm. um, which is actually quite a good idea. I wish I'd thought about previously. <laughs> yeah, that's I OK. So I'm just going to stabilise that one, and then we'll look at the seed beads. We've got some scissors here as well, which are absolutely... These are wicked. Really quite diddy scissors that you're going to be getting here with a slight angled mm -hmm. uh, blade on them. They're great for uh, doing your gold work. Um, they're fantastic. I would have thought, I mean, would you use these for your fabric? For small yeah, I tell you, thread, um, maybe? do you know what, though? If, you, if you've bought the, the little velvet pouch kit, mm. then you can make your babushka or whatever. You can make whatever you want to, to sew onto your velvet little pouch bag. Mm. Um, and then I would have it personally as a little sewing kit bag. Oh, wonderful! Perfect idea. with those yes. scissors and your threads and your needles. How gorgeous! A little pair of sewing scissors. Oh, they're gorgeous. Yes, Joanne, Alison, Gabrielle, well done to you. Two ninety nine uh, today for your gorgeous scissors. They are beautiful. And of course, because they've got this slight angle on them, it means that you can use them yeah, like you, that rather yeah. than having to kind of that's right. move your hand down and yeah. kind of you know really that's right. you know it, it, it allows you to work literally like that. So you know that you know the 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 kind of fabric that you're cutting. Sorry. <laughs> go backwards, go forwards. Uh, we'll be kind of uh, nice and straight rather than kind of doing this and, you know, getting a jaggedy edge on it. That's brilliant. Beverly, Pam, Joanne's got three. Uh, well done to you, Carol, Catherine. Well done to you, Maker, Gabrielle, Tracy, Amanda, Francis. Well done to you, gorgeous. Two ninety nine. Right, so now yeah. I'm going back to the headdress. So I've just popped on one of the little gold shell pearl. Let it drop onto the beading foundation. Um, and then take my needle to the top of the pearl and push that through and then pull that into place as a little bit of a feature. I mean, this is very much, um, it will evolve as you sew, really. Yes. Um, you don't have to think it out before you start it, particularly, other than your shape. Um, but it will evolve very much as you go. Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to, because that's exactly what I said, it's going to evolve. So I'm going to put another pearl. Oops, not that one, bites the dust. Is that what that pearl ended up in my shoe? Did it? Yeah, it's just gone down in my oh, shoe. Oh, there you go. What a hit that was, yeah. So I'm now <laughs> going to pop that pearl down next to that one. And then mm. again, a stab stitch. Yes, lovely. Down. And then because I want that part of it, I mean, I'm normally asymmetrical, but I want this to be symmetrical yes and nice I come up the other side of that center shell pearl pop another one on mm. let it drop down make sure it drops they drop down so that you can see that they're more or less in a place where you want it to be because they will yeah. separate slightly when you put your final stitch in it will pull it over slightly mm. and then we've got sort of it's each each maneuver each um, little bit of embellishment that you put on, it just sends you to the next one then. It does, it inspires it? you what to do next. Now, what I will probably do is add another colour, and I'm using bright jewel colours, so I'm reminds, just going to use these gorgeous greens. Do you know, it, remind, it reminds me a little bit of just soutache work, as yeah. well, the layers. Yeah. I really like it. It's just I mean, working so with lovely. sewing with beads, whether they're large beads, whether they're pearls, whatever, mm. it's really relaxing, and yes, it's really quite um, therapeutic. Mm. And as I say, it's a bit like painting, but painting with beads. And you don't have to worry too much about it at all because, as I've just said umpteen times, it just grows. Each stitch uh, then lends you onto the next part of the painting. So I've just popped on two of the little size 11 beads and one has escaped. Gorgeous. Right, and then there's my thread exiting between those two pearls yeah. there. So again, I'll let those drop down, see where they sit, pop my needle 
Oh, you can really see that pop of colour. And gorgeous. see, th yeah, that's that's the thing about using these bright jewel colours. Yeah, it lovely. shrieks Christmas to me. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Do you know what? This is this is something which you can keep on embellishing. You can yeah. add different fabrics, add different mediums to this, add a bit oh, yeah. of faux fur, whatever you want to. Um, and uh, and you, you, you can literally make, you know, one for each of your best friends or your bridesmaids, you know, make them to look like them. You dress it up in your in your particular style. It's just so lovely. Thank you so much. Linda. That's OK. So just quickly with the French again. wire mm. is the French wire comes as French wire comes like such. Yeah. If you and you can pop that on and mold it around uh, anywhere you want to sort of put a little spacer in yes. between layers or you can what is quite effective is pulling it open and then you get um you get plenty of places to stitch into then That's a bit like fantastic. the cup chain so you can <laughs> just open that there and then you can pop that on we've got to go linda i'm really enable sorry it underneath and then just stitch that into place to delineate really you and are also incredible. you can you can write with that as well you could do little uh, little emblems or whatever you could put Noel quite happily oh, there yes, or embroider or it on yes, embroider yeah. initials thank you so yeah. much that's a pleasure we've learned so much today thank you so much for joining us don't go anywhere hobby maker is up next with an amazing jam-packed afternoon